All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. It's time for Songs of Conquest. We're going to be taking a look at this game today, going through all the basics, and then from there, we will be doing some PvP once the dreaded Professor Pwn gets on. So it should be quite a bit of fun. If you guys have played Heroes of Might and Magic 3, this is very much uh, in a similar vein, and I've been having quite a bit of fun. My wife and I have been playing the game and kind of learning the basics, and we might also do a second stream later tonight where uh, once she gets off work, we can jump on and play some, uh, play some matches as well. So should be good. How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. Soon, as soon as we get some folks here, what we're going to be doing is, uh, well, we'll be starting off with the skirmish versus the AI, just to show you the basics. But we'll do a little bit of a poll to decide which faction uh, we want to play, and I can explain the factions and kind of their playstyles and what they're into, and you know all that sort of good stuff. So, okay, I think the sound level should be fine. Let me go ahead and double check here. Oh, that was actually kind of loud. So let me go ahead and turn that down a little bit. So go to sound, go to master volume. And we can turn the music volume down a little bit as well. The music's very powerful, for sure. Sound effects, we can keep where they are. And we'll be good. Okay, hold on. Let me just check this here. Okay, sound. Let's turn down the music a little bit, down to like 40%. And good. I think that's the sweet spot right there. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, new game. So this is... It's very similar to, I mean, there's obviously, this game is completely new, and there's many differences, of course, between it and Heroes of Might and Magic 3, but for these type of games, that's always going to be kind of my point of reference. And uh, in general, as someone who's kind of a diehard Heroes of Might and Magic 3 veteran and really enjoys that play style, this certainly scratches that same itch. And uh, I was having a lot of fun playing with my wife. We've been playing, we played a couple of PvP matches and really got to uh, kind of check out the factions. Haven't heard about this, looking forward to turn and selling it to me, yeah. Yeah, of course, draw your own conclusion. We'll be jumping in, and uh, let's look at the factions real quick. So, uh, there's, a, of course, a full campaign and everything, but again, I'm going to be going straight to kind of the PvP-style stuff. You know how I am. So, we got four factions. So you have uh, Arlian, and I'm just going to give you references that you guys, you know, here on in this community might understand a little bit more. So, Arlian, uh, you can read the lore about them, of course, here by just mousing over or doing their campaign, but they are essentially like Bretonians, like knights mixed with like noble, noble sort of beastmen. It's very interesting. So you have like, you guys know in uh, Magic the Gathering, you have like a Johnny, who's of course this like noble uh, Leonin, like these kind of noble type of beast creature people. Um, so essentially it's like a combination of that. It's like Bretonians, it's like knights mixed in with them. Then you have the Barony of Loth. So you seem to suffer from strategy game fever, says Optimus, yes, good. So you have the Barony of Loth, and these guys are basically, it's like undead and then human necromancers and cultists and scholars who kind of like support them. So the idea behind them is it's like a, it's like sort of like a fallen empire of sorts that's trying to get back to its former glory by using, you know, undead. Then you have Baria, which is my favorite. These guys uh, are kind of like steampunk. It's a combination of like empire. So if you guys are like Sons of Sigmar, you like the empire from Warhammer Fantasy, they have... You know, they have halberds, they have handgunners, and they look very, very similar to like your Warhammer kind of uh, Holy Roman Empire-esque units, which is pretty cool. And they also do have tinkers and like engineers and like steampunk type units, which is pretty rad. So th these guys are my favorite for sure. And then you have Rana. Rana is just wild and they're really fun because they're basically like, they're swamp dwellers and they're lizardmen and toads, basically. The whole faction, it's just like, it's just lizardmen, yeah. So it's pretty cool. Um, and each faction, of course, has nine heroes. So for example, if I select Rana right here, I'm going to be seeing an option for nine heroes to choose from. So again, in Heroes of Might and Magic 3, you have that with Inferno, you have that with Castle. Each of these factions is going to be having a range of different heroes, each of which like specializes and starts with different things, right? So for example, if we go through, this guy gets uh, you know troop, you know bonus to troop movements. This guy gets 15% ranged resistance on his entire army. Uh, this guy gets plus one destruction, which is uh, leaning towards a certain type of magic in the game. This guy gets uh, spell power, so he's going to be hitting a little bit harder as well. So each of them have like special skills that really allow you to customize the army. On top of that, they start with different units, right? Dude, this guy is one of my favorites. Uh, Msugna, I think is his name, who sees beyond it. This guy starts with the Ragnarok Spiders, dude. It is so damn cool for sure. But the Arlian, we could look through some of the heroes. Somebody wanted to see who the closest thing to Kazrak one Eye is. Okay, let's see. Uh, probably this guy, High Chief of the Fey. He starts with Horned Ones. I mean, come on. So he starts with these like giant like Beastmen type characters. That would probably be the closest that you're going to be getting in that regard. 
So yeah, it's pretty rad though. Like each of these characters kind of customizes the way you play. And of course it's similar in Heroes of Mind but Magic 3. You would have a character in Inferno that would have offense. So he'd be really good for the uh, freets. You have characters who specialize in gogs. Like this is very, very similar to that. Loth is pretty rad too. Loth is like a combination of humans and undead, you know, uh, necromancers, evil dukes, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun. And I'm going to be playing a couple games today. We'll probably play like two or three matches in total. I don't know how long they actually take. Against the AI, it shouldn't be too bad, but obviously here it's going to be, uh, it'll be pretty quick. I think I'll beat up the AI pretty fast. So um, let's put it to a vote. So I'm going to put a poll here and you guys can decide who we're going to play. Let me see if the dreaded pwn dog is online. Is he? What's up, dog? I'm about to grab some food with the buddy. I'll be back home. Got it downloading now. Sounds good. So uh, Pwn is going to go uh, do some stuff and then he'll be back. And when he gets on, we'll do a PvP game. We'll do 1v1 and we'll talk some smack. Yeah, there's elves in the game too, I think, or elf type characters. So who to play? You know what? Uh, we'll just do the poll later on. For now, I think I'm going to play the Lizardmen because they're awesome. And I'll play the Sigmarites when... Uh, I'll play Beria when, when Pwn gets on. So we're going to do the Lizardmen, and we're going to be starting with uh, the guy who sees beyond. He's the Lizardman, And for our opponent, we'll put him on the Barony of Loth and just have like a random character, and that should be fine. All right. I love everything Beastmen. You guys are going to get a chance to see the other factions too because they randomly spawn the map. So there are neutral camps. There's all that kind of stuff that you're going to be kind of engaging. Yeah, the art is really, really cool in this game. It's awesome for sure. It's awesome. All right, so let's fire it up. Let's get our first match going, and I will explain everything to you guys. The Sigmarite faction, we're gonna when Pwn gets on, we'll do a PvP game against him and we'll we'll show you guys that then. Yeah, spread of the elves high. I don't know if they're high elves, I'm not sure. Alright, so this is just a skirmish. This isn't the campaign, this is like a basic. So taking a look, right? You have your main town center. This is your camp. Now you have a couple options here. You can hire more wielders, but the capacity is currently one. So for every two levels on your main town center, you can hire additional heroes. So in Heroes of Might and Magic 3, you could instantly hire like 15 heroes and just run around and start grabbing shit. Very common on, at the higher level of play. But in this situation, that is not the case, right? You can only start with one, which I actually like because one of the things I did not like about Heroes 3 and I felt like kind of took away from the, the childhood aspect of the game I liked was when people would have like 15 heroes and be like juggling them about. So in this case, you start with your one hero, and for the most part in the beginning, that's what you have. Next option is to manage your defenses, so you can draft troops for your defenses. You can build towers and ballistas and all that sort of stuff, which is actually very important if you're going to be doing PvP. Because, you know, the map is relatively big, right? We look around, I'm up here, and the enemy AI is down here. That we, spot, you know, start across from one another. But there's, like, big obstructions that keep us from getting to one another, okay? So, in that case... Uh, you're going to want to put some defenders, otherwise you can just get your base, you know, stolen pretty easily by even a very ill-equipped hero. So you can buy walls, and also you can upgrade your camp. Now, it's different from Heroes of Might and Magic 3 in that the building slots for your city are not within the city. You know, I don't click here and see a village. You actually get building slots outside the city. So you have a combination of small, medium, and large building sites. Each of these building sites allows you to, for example, build uh, one of your tier one buildings. You'll notice I don't have the wood for this and some of the prerequisites are being missed here. But in this game, you also uh, can build like resource generation sites. So these are going to be generating stone and wood and you can build one building per turn. So we can also look at the factions units real quick. So you can see here that uh, every single unit, every faction has, I believe, six units or seven units. And each of them can be upgraded to a tier two variant, which I'll be showing you all over the course of this. And if you see here, we have our tier one unit, which is a shaman. And the shaman is kind of a ranged unit that applies poison. This faction is all about like putting dots and poison and damage over time effects. And, you know, basically kiting their opponent. It's very, very strong. So you have the shaman right here. He's pretty sweet. We do also have another unit at tier one, which is the little gremlin, the lean two. And these are just little hunters. At tier two, you have your medium buildings. We have the mud huts, which give us the chungus toads. These, these units are so, so cool. And the toads are like your tanky linebackers. You also have the crawlers, which do a little bit more DPS and are a little bit more hard hitting. You have the beast corral, which gives you ravagers. Ravagers are like these super fast moving, uh, I don't even know, emus here. And they, they get in there and do some work for sure. And then they have the tremors, which are one of the coolest units. These are like these giant beetle arachnoc spider monsters. And they are, uh, they're pretty rad for sure. So you got that bad boy. And then you have the turtle middle linebacker. You got, you got uh, Terry Tate, the office linebacker here. This is Chellin, and uh, yeah, they have range resist, they're really tanky, and they handle business. Then you have a marketplace. This is what you always want to build first, in my opinion. The uh, marketplace just lets you buy any resource you need, and that really is a huge inhibiting factor as to uh, 
moving up. So for your final tier units, you have the Ethdra. Now this is the tier one variant of this unit. They actually turn into dragons later on, okay? They turn, on to dra they turn into fat dragons, which are your end tier units. I'm only showing you tier one at the moment. And then your other two uh, buildings are your research. So uh, this is something that's also unique to this game as well, you, uh, compared to some other you know, Han 3 style games, is you have research. So you can build the dragon pyramid or the birthing pools. Each of these unlock uh, research. So if you go here, you can see that the dragon pyramid unlocks tech that gives you extra HP for your troops, initiative for your troops, you can get melee offense. And you do have capacity limits for your various troops. If you look in the top left, you'll notice that my tremors are three of 10. Well, if I wanted to get more tremors, I would probably go to birthing pools and I would increase the maximum size to my tremors of plus three by spending some resources. So you can increase unit size, unit fighting capacity. You can upgrade your magic here using wielders. You can upgrade your economy. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of different stuff that you can do in that regard, right? So those are more or less the basics here. Now, you're probably wondering how the hell does magic work in this game? Well, magic is done through your creatures. During battle, your wielder or your caster, of course, some are better casters than others due to their natural traits and affiliate, you know, uh, kind of magic affiliations and whatnot. But what you can do is each creature, when I mouse over the tremors here, you guys will notice if you look at the essences down here, uh, he has creation and destruction. So every creature in your army is going to be feeding your caster essences during battle, which allow you to cast different types of spells. So there's a bunch of different types of essences, uh, different schools of magic that depend on the army you build. So looking at all my different creatures, as we were looking at in the small build sites, for example, this little goblin here is going to be giving me creation and destruction. Whereas if you look at the uh, the shaman here, the shaman is going to be giving you uh, arcana and creation. So they each kind of do different things, right? They just do, they all do different things here. And if I'm looking at my interior unit, he's just going to be giving me arcana. And this these guys are going to be giving me creation and destruction. So you can kind of contour your army and you can overload your army based on like destruction, for example, if you want to get like the end game destruction spells and really go kind of ham. The Dread Saurian, you guys will see the Dread Saurian. He'll, he'll come eventually. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna be playing through relatively quickly. If you guys have any questions about the game, uh, that type of thing, just let me know. I've uh, I put you know a couple hours in, so I kind of know the basics right now. So let's go ahead and go to our first building slot and I'm gonna be getting started on, well, okay, I do have stone over here, good. So I'm gonna be getting started on a wood generating site. So this is the gatherers. You build it and it takes one turn to go. So now I'm just gonna go start grabbing shit. We're gonna go for the goodies. And you know, this is very similar to like Heroes of Might Magic 3, how in the beginning you're usually just kind of grabbing resources around your base and just making sure that you can tech. So now I'm out of movement. So pretty standard protocol. Just end turn down here, the AI takes its turn and AI optimization is, in terms of turn time, is really, really fast in this game. So now we can do another building slot. I can build my, uh, my diggers here, which is probably what I'm gonna be doing maybe. Um, part of me is thinking maybe I just actually build my shaman building so I can get a little bit more military action going. So I think I'm going to do that first, which will mean I'm not generating wood, uh, stone, but I think there's plenty of stone laying around. So we're going to go ahead and get the shaman tent and that'll start generating some, uh, some low tier units here for us. So in the meantime, each of these like different buildings here does like different things, right? So we're going to grab this. We're going to grab this chest. Oops, wrong button. Do this. We'll grab this. This should give us a a little bit of an upgrade, so you can see that just gave us permanent power. And just like in Heroes, you have like uh, you have like an item slot, so you have like a whole character slot. Offense is increasing the damage output of your units, defense, movement, and view radius. Honestly, the game is pretty darn quick to learn. I you know feel like I picked it up pretty quick, and I'm sure you guys will too. All right, so to go to the next tier, I need to get what five wood and five stone. That will unlock more building slots, which can take some time because you have to fight some of the initial camps. I haven't played the campaign. I'm not terribly interested in that. I'm more looking forward to playing this with friends in like a 1v1 scenario, right? Okay, so we leveled up. And okay, when you level up in this game, you can choose like to either upgrade one of your main skills or you can choose a new one, right? So channeling is pretty sweet. Your wielder gains 30% spell damage. That would be a new skill. Whereas these other two I currently already have. So we're gonna take channeling right now. Get the chest, grabbing some rare resources around. And cool, so we finished that. We need a little bit more stone and wood, which we're generating. So down here we have some Arlian troops. These guys are actually pretty strong. Um, I'm trying to look for an easy camp, probably over here. And you can see there's also a weapon right here as well. So I think we're gonna go grab that once we recruit some units. So past turn, let's grab some treasure. Grab whatever we can. I'm gonna take the five guards. So sometimes you run into camps and you can like find like uh, yeah, troops that align with your faction there. 
get some shaman as well. So now I got a decent little fighting force. It's not amazing, but we're gonna we're gonna move over here and hopefully be able to win this fight with some uh, some magic. Okay, pass. And now we just need a little bit of stone. So once I get the stone, I should be able to upgrade to the next tier. We're gonna take the resources. Do heroes have upkeep or other limits? Uh, so yes, the way that wielders work in this game is you get one per uh, two tier levels. So when you start off, you're only allowed to have one hero. Once I get tier three at my main settlement, you can see the tier marker right here. Then you can get a second hero. And once you get tier five, you can have a third hero. So really like, it's not like heroes three where you have like annoying millions of AI heroes running around, like just, just you know, capturing your bases. Is 2v2 also a possibility? Yeah, see you can for sure. You can. Is this a new game? Yeah, it just came. It came. It came out like just now. So when we move closer, you can see there's a group of Arlian troops guarding this camp. So I think I'm gonna go grab these first, and I could I could straight up lose this, guys. Nice, we got a level there. So this is a pretty good trait, woodcutter. Nice. So this one lets us get a bonus income of wood. So now we're plus two wood. So there's all sorts of unique traits, and you'll see there's some big chunguses guarding the path. These guys would just kick my butt super hard. We'll move down here, we'll fight. Um, threat level is medium, which means it's likely possible. And now I get to deploy. So you can see where the AI is deploying and I'm gonna kind of drag my dudes down here like so. And now it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the first battle of battles. So let's go ahead and manual battle this bad boy. Yeah, you can do quick battles too. You can like auto resolve these battles if you don't want to fight them. Can troops be moved without a hero? No, you have to have your hero. Although you can garrison your troops in your town center. Yeah. All right, so here comes the AI, and you, they have some musicians here who are gonna be playing some jams. So this is my Arachnorok Spider, and you'll notice my essence is right now, okay? So I have uh, three creation essence because of the creatures I have, and one destruction. At the start of my next round, I'm gonna get essences based on all creatures. So it starts after the second round. Uh, honestly, my wife and I played a PvP game of full one. It took about two hours, but we were taking our sweet time. I think if people get really cutthroat or play on a smaller map, it can go quicker. Now, just like in Heroes 3, you want to always look at the threat range of units, right? Like this guy has uh, three movements, so he's not going to be able to move that far. So I'm going to move my spider like down here. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I feel like I should drag him through the mud a little bit. So I'm going to move you like this. And this guy has a musician ability, which is pretty cool. The dragons roar, so it lowers their defense and initiative. So he roars, it debuffs them. My shaman is out of range currently. I think I'm going to move up and do a little poke and stroke. I need to get a little bit closer. Now, when you move and shoot in this game, guys, it actually um, it actually uh, gives you a range penalty. So when you move and shoot, uh, I'm barely going to do any damage, but this guy's about applying poison. And now the Sausage Toad is just going to sit here. I now have uh, more Essence, so I can cast Insect Swarm. So I'm going to cast that on this bad boy to uh, kill his archers in the back. So now they're being attacked by Insects, and the Toad Chungus is just going to sit here, and we're going to like kind of draw them to us. Ooh, he's able to shoot us from all the way over there. Jeez. Okay. Um, I think I can reach him if I like go up here. Hmm, but then I'm gonna get shot potentially. I think we're okay. So the spider is gonna go for the kill there. And we're gonna kind of try and kite back these characters. Okay, the shaman needs to piece the hell out. He's like, screw this shit, dude. I'm out of here. We just need to kite them. So now I'm gonna cast Insect Swarm on these guys. And uh, we just gotta make sure to like, yeah, hmm, how is this gonna work? The bullfrog can go up here. Dude, I love this faction, they're so cool. Okay, so he ran away and then took, you see he takes a, a penalty to his range attacks when he moves away like that. Um, I could keep chasing him. We do have explosive fungi. Now this is a really cool spell. This one lays like three landmines. So this is a spell that requires a combination of uh, destruction and creation essence, which I have on both my units, right? Now, if you want to look at the entire spell book, you can see he, you have order, you have chaos, you have destruction. Uh, creation and arcana as the primary magic trees and then each there's combination spells as well so if you have both of them you can kind of like design your army to give you different types of magic and there's like end game spells like rupture for example is very similar to um implode in heroes of might magic 3 it just does like a shitload of damage and there's a this one's really good like order has some cool shit this one's order and destruction all friendly ranged troops get to shoot twice this one is so broken when you're playing the empire faction dude it is so broken so um, I'm just gonna, and you can also save up essence. You'll notice I've been casting spells like like right away, right? Um, okay, so these guys are pretty close here. You can see who's gonna be going next based on initiative. So this guy's gonna be, my little shaman guy will be next. So I think I'm gonna just keep nuking this like ranged guy with spells. We'll pull back here, use a little debuff. Um, homeboy's gonna run away. 
And I'm just kind of saving up essence here. So let's go ahead and just keep blasting his archers. And I got to make sure he can't reach me. So a lot of it is like grid control. Yeah, you can see the insects doing damage over time effects. My poor little toad there is kind of getting shreked. I could use explosive fungi. So I could do this. Hmm. Yeah, lay that. And then they'll have to come like down and under, which is going to give me more space. The spider beast is going to start chasing the archer. Okay, yeah, he's just going to run under it, which is fine. That's going to buy me a little bit of time. So I need to make sure I'm out of range. Okay, we have Psychic Spear. Just a very basic DPS spell. Going to run up here with my Lizard Man. And they're all out of range. Because my guy, my Shaman doesn't have, like, super far range, but... Um, Toad Man. Yep. Oh, he actually ran through the Fungi. Okay, cool. Good for me. Insects did a little bit of damage. I did lose one Toad, unfortunately. But for anyone who's played Heroes 3, this is going to be, like, very, very, uh, you know, familiar. Let's cast the Insect Swarm. That should finish him off. The Spider Beast would kill this guy, but I want to make sure that they're nice and softened up. So I'm just going to kind of sit here, play my flute. Um, hmm. Let's get up into the corner. I could shoot here. I got to make sure they can't reach me. I don't think they can. Cool. And the Toad Man's going to hang tight. The Insect Swarm should kill that guy. So let's put it on this one now. Do a little damage over time. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Play the Dragon's Roar. The Loot Men are coming. Nice. Finished him off. And we're going to wait for him to get a little bit closer now. I'm pretty sure my Insect Swarm will kill these guys back here. Yeah, there they go. Okay. So my, this is one of my caster specialties, is casting all these like annoying poke spells. And now it's time for the big chungus. Ready? Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. So I like the battle system a lot. It's very fun. And um, you can all, terrain is more important in this than it is kind of in Heroes of Might Magic 3. There's high ground terrain, there's blocking. Uh, we lost one toad, which is unfortunate, but in the end, we get the stone. And uh, next turn, we're going to be able to upgrade our town center to tier 2. So you guys will start getting to see some good stuff. Okay, so let's grab this. So we just got a weapon, too. You see this? The uh, Polax. It gives us plus 15 offense. So you have your inventory. It auto equips weapons if you don't have anything in that slot. So now we're tier two, we're gonna upgrade our camp and now check this out. When we upgrade, we get two more small building sites to build you know, either income buildings or troop buildings. Um, I'm gonna build the uh, stone building here just so I have like steady income. But also we get a, mid a middle tier building site. Wrecked, absolutely destroyed, dude. I outplayed those AI so hard. Um, so now I can build a mid tier building. So what do I need? I need lumber. I think I wanna go for the beast corral. The Toad guy is cool, but I prefer the big Arachnorok beast. And honestly, the Ravagers are super so uh, cool. These guys hit like trucks. Yeah, they hit really hard. Uh, so I need 10 stone for that, which I'm actually pretty close to getting. And I should be able to get it within a couple turns. So in the meantime, we'll go back and recruit. Uh, get some more of these ranged shaman. And now we can go fight these Arlian troops, which shouldn't be too bad. I think I can take them. Okay. Let's move down here. Maximize my movement. Man, I have a ton of movement. Is the enemy waiting for you during your PvE round? What is he doing? Yeah, so like, if I'm if if I'm playing versus another player, they're gonna be ooh. Actually, maybe we should go up here first and get these. Yeah, that actually feels like a smarter play, so I can get some higher tier units and then I can creep a little bit more effectively. So I'm gonna head up here. Um, we can build another low tier site. The exchange, man. You should usually always get this. It's just so good. Although I do want to kind of get the beast corral going so I can get some of these, but let's actually just go with the exchange. It's a marketplace. It's very, very strong. And we can get a lean to too to get like some low tier gremlin units. Although we don't have enough like slots for them all right now. We'll have to figure it out. All right, so gonna grab these, gonna grab these. I believe I've already done this and now we can head back to the base. Uh, I, I think that you get new troops every single day in a very small capacity. Okay, we're chilling. Let's pass turn. In a 1v1 game, yeah, the enemy's waiting. So, unfortunately, that's my one thing is that I wish they had. It would be simultaneous turns. Um, pretty close to actually getting to the next tier. So, a lean two will give us the little goblins here, the melee guys. Sh I could get another shaman tent. So, unlike HOM 3, you can actually spam the same unit. Like, I could get double shaman tent to double the production of shamans here. And I love shamans. They're actually really cool. Um, you know what? Let's actually do that. Let's get a second shaman tent. Or do we want to get a fungus farm, which is going to give us income? You know, that's probably the smart choice. Yeah, probably the smart choice here is to get that. And there's more cities, guys. So 
So we're going to grab you guys. We got 17 of the Shaman now, and we're going to head down and clean out these guys. So there's a watchtower here, which will kind of reveal some of the map. Uh, threat level is easy. So this is this is like kind of a, one of the, you know, the starter locations here. Um, let's go ahead and manual battle. I could auto-resolve this, but I don't want to lose anything. Oh yeah, don't want to lose anything. Okay, so yeah, this is just swordsmen. These, so these are the tier one units for the Bretonian style faction. These are just like the footmen, and they're actually pretty damn good for a tier one unit. And the reason why is because they have fifty percent spell resist. So if you're doing like, there's a lot of that in this game. Where if you're trying to cheese the AI using like you know that type of funny business, they can just. Oh yeah, and look at this. I have earth block. Yeah, I could create a barrier. If there's like choke points like here, watch this. I'll just do it to show you guys. So I can create a barrier right there, and then the AI is gonna like. Be like, I had a kid, I'm too weak, I can't, I can't fit. So that probably wasn't worth it for the magic, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys. Okay, so we could actually do this. Send in the Arachnoc Spider. Yeah, I like the building slot system for sure. See, so now they're like, screw this shit, this sucks. Uh, let's put the uh, Insect Swarm on you. How far can you get? Let's go ahead and do here and shoot the Dart of Doom. The Toad, the Chungus Toad is there. Ooh, yeah, okay, so now we flee the scene. We have to use the cunning cunning tactics here. Uh, insect Swarm. And then we blast you with this. You see, when I don't move, I do more damage with my shooting. The poison, he got hit by the poison, and this other guy's he's trying to break through the barrier up here. And now we'll use a block. Look at this! Oh, how cool is that, guys? Uh, the game music is turned down a little bit lower. I can turn it up a little bit here. It was just very loud in the menu, so I turned it down. Okay, there you go. Let me know if that's too loud, guys. Dude, I love these, like, haggard barrier things that I have. The Toad Man is just being a chungus. Uh, I'm gonna save up some essence. Let's see if I can get a higher level spell for you guys. Yeah, see, they're still trying to get through. So, what have I unlocked so far? Yeah, you can see I'm getting a little bit further down the trees now. Ethereal Scales is good. This gives you 75% melee resist. So units in this game uh, do... They do retaliate. What do I get here? Miss. Target friendly troop becomes untackable until it attacks or the duration of the spell extent. Oh, that's pretty good. Then Acid Cloud? Ooh. Yeah, we'll just keep casting the Insect Swarm. It's just very cost effective. Okay, let's poison you. Chill. I love how they're trying to get through, dude. Yeah, let's just blast you with that, and then we can do Insect Swarm. You can cast multiple spells too, guys. Aha. This map, like, worked out great for me, dude. I'm stoked on this. Go, my Arachnoroc beast. I think it's like a beetle, actually. It looks more like, like a scarab or something. I would turn it down 10%. Okay. We'll turn it down a little bit for you guys. We'll get it to that sweet spot. The bullfrog wants some, but he's just he's just hanging out. Ugh. The faction reminds me of Fortress. Yeah, the swamp dwellers. Yeah, that's the whole lore of this faction. They're they're the swamp people. They're great. This is my wife's favorite one, I think. When I play a PvP game, so a little bit later in the stream, Professor Phone's gonna jump on, and we're gonna do a one v one. And you guys will get a chance to see the goodness. Okay, so I need 15 wood to do this, and I'm gonna get two wood now, and then we'll get another building slot. So now I have a market too, so I can go here and I can buy any of the primary resources. This is like such a good building because it allows you to kind of get whatever you need. So now we're tier three, guys. Check this out. So I get a medium build site, which of course allows me to get more tier two stuff. And then I also get, um, I get a tier three building slot for the first time. So I can either like get like my end tier unit here, which is pretty cool. But honestly, I think the economic like building is really good. So if I build birthing pools here, what it's gonna unlock is gonna be research. So I can go to the birthing pools and I can upgrade my economy to auto-generate. Uh, I can pay this to get bonus income. I can do this to get simultaneous building so I can build more slots and I can get more magic. So all my wielders gain extra magic essence. It's really cool. Or I can increase the maximum size. So I'll probably go for that to be honest. Um, it's a little bit expensive, but those economic upgrades are pretty sweet. So we're gonna build that. All right, so. We can get another wielder now too, if we want. So we are gonna get another wielder. Who do we wanna get? Cause what I'm gonna do is end up giving the units to my main army anyway, so I'm kinda like, hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys. Let me show you the upgraded versions of all the units. Okay guys, so every unit can be upgraded. So the little like hunters, they become storm guards. Um, 
and they ignore zone of control. So for example, when you attack someone and you're in their hitbox, if you try and flee, they get an attack of opportunity. They get to like swing back and go after you. And these guys ignore it. Uh, the shaman, what do they do? Give troops when it attacks another. Okay, so they like buff. If you have something poisoned, the rest of your units do more damage to it. The bullfrogs can upgrade into protectors, which of course are just like tankier. So units that share a hex with them or are within a hex of them get 25 defense. They have the riders of the swamp, which are one of the coolest units. Check these things out. You get the rider of the swamp. Oh, it's like a little toad riding, uh, riding this beast. That's pretty rad. And then the adult crawler is just scary. The Chelan Elder, he gets 50% range resist. And here's our ultimate. This is the dragon. Yeah, it's just called the dragon. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's quite to the point. It's a dragon. Um, all right, let's get some more of you guys. And I should be upgrading my buildings too. So I can upgrade all my basic buildings. Like the Shaman Tent, I need Glimmer Weave and Ancient Amber to upgrade it to tier two. My Fungus Farm, you can like upgrade all these bad boys. So we probably want to get, buy some, we could buy some Celestial Ore and upgrade that. But I think for now, we'll just kind of, roam out this way and see what we can find all right team let's go uh dagger we'll take the gold since we already have a good melee weapon and pass so i can recruit a second wielder now so that's usually a good idea because you want to be able to grab more treasure so who do we want to get is the question <laughs> the lord of toads this guy comes with like a couple a couple little gremlins i think we'll get this guy yeah because he comes with like our two endgame dragon characters, which is pretty cool. So we'll, we're going to move him over to the other army. And you can exchange units, of course. So what we're going to do is, is put the Chodes in this guy's army. And then we're going to take the elite dragon units. Because like, yeah. That looks fine. Should work. Cool. So now we've done the exchange. Our army is going to be quite a bit stronger now. And we can go fight these, uh, these fairy creatures here. Although we need to get these items first. Source of Riches, we'll take the Glimmer Weave. All right, so these things are actually pretty trolly. I have no idea what's going on. Hey, it's okay, man. We're, we're all learning today. Okay, so yeah, these this is this is one of the Bretonian Knight Pack. And see how they have like Knights and uh, not an easy fight for sure. Um, I think we should just destroy the little gremlins first if we can. Yeah, they get here real quick, man. I, I'm not digging how fast they are. I'm probably going to actually take some casualties here. Oh, how are we going to... Yeah, because if I go in here, let's see. And then that guy can come around. I might lose a couple of my Arachnorocks here for sure. Although my Shaman is next. I think we can pop down the Knight. Okay, let's... let's... I could do an Earth Block. Yeah, they're going to come for my Dragon Man in the back. See how hard those... Th those are Tier 1 units for this action. Oof, dude. This is actually kind of scary. All right, let's 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 put you... Do this. Come on. Come on, Dragon Beast. Survive. Okay, I think my guy should kill him here. So this is actually a hard fight. Um, Psychic Spear. And let's see if we can finish these guys off here. Then we can do Insect Swarm. So I'm gonna lose my Arachnorox here, most likely. Yeah, it's a shame. Damn shame, Jimmy. Okay, let's move back. But I should be able to rebuild them pretty quick. And you know, I have to try and fight out of my starting zone because if I just camp here, it's not gonna be great, obviously, right? Okay, let's blast you. Psychic Spear. And the kill. Take the high ground. I could have taken the high ground, correct, but I think it's more important to create distance. How many factions are there? There's four factions. Yeah, and you can craft your own maps too, guys. 100%. So we lost a couple units, but that was a good amount of experience. Channeling, you gain 60% spell damage power. Ooh, that seems pretty good, but so is... Yeah, we need to get command as well. Command allows us to have more units in our army instead of just a couple. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna have to go back and recruit after that. Is there anything we want to build here? The Beast Corral requires 10 stone and five Glimmer Weave. So what we can do is go to our exchange and buy a stone and buy a Glimmer Weave. And I don't know if we're gonna have enough. Yeah, yeah, I think we're a little tight on gold at the moment. What could we sell? Yeah, nothing to sell here. All right, buddy, you go grab this. So we can use this character to go grab like, oh, that's right, we forgot to get the one of the camps on the other side. 
Yeah, there was a there's a whole camp I could go for over there. Fifteen hunters? Okay, yeah, let's take them. Take little little goblins there. Yeah, there's a there's a big juicy camp over here, so we're gonna go do that with our main character. And then you, buddy, can come down here and just grab all this loot. So now we're gonna decide what tier two units we want. Hmm, do we want to get the Chellen gathering? Sometimes they lend their skill. Let's see. This guy seems pretty chungus. The spiders are rad. Musician, Rana, and a beast. And then we get the Ravagers too. But the Chellen Sanctuary, these guys seem really cool. Let's go get the let's get the Turtle Enforcer guys, dude. Yeah, let's get the Chellen Sanctuary. So Amber is gonna cost a little bit, and then we can get the Chellen Sanctuary. I think, or are we tied on gold? Oh, I accidentally sold one. Shit. I hit the wrong button. Well, probably now I don't have enough to even build it. Yeah, a little bit tight. It's okay. Uh, I think we can sell something. So what do we need? 3,000? So if we go to the exchange and sell some stone, I think that'll do it. Where do we want to sell this? How much do we need? One, two, and three. And four. Weird. Oh, is there something already? Oh, it's because my big tier building is still building. Okay, that's right. So you only get one building uh, slot. Okay, so that should finish soon. All right, team, let's hustle across. So now we have our birthing pools. We can do the Chellen Sanctuary, which is going to give us the Turbo Turtles, the Ninja Turtles of Doom. And uh, we can stop by the base and recruit. I do need to upgrade some of my basic buildings too. Get some more Shaman. And let's head up here. My dragon lizard man, he can go start grabbing goodies on this way down. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I mean, the, uh, the, what I really enjoy in this game is playing with friends. Like, when I was playing with my wife, it's a blast. Okay, and then we're just kind of doing some neutral creeping. So that's like, it's still like Heroes of Might Magic 3 in that having a second hero is just super worth it for, um, for that kind of stuff, right? Okay, so there's a bunch of loot up here. Ooh, enchanted bag of acorns. What does that do? It gives us plus two wood per turn. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Okay. Okay, let's keep creeping. Nice, got level five. Add a baby. Let's get channeling. Oh, this one's really good, Essence Burst. So at the start of a battle, it gives you plus two of each primary magic resource. It's pretty good. But, man, I think I'm going to go with channeling, though, because like getting just the fast spell damage is kind of the direction I'm going here. Okay, so we're almost, see there's a camp over here of Arlian troops, so we're gonna do that. And then we'll, what we'll do is we'll creep around this way. In the meantime, homeboy's just gonna go grab whatever he can. I think we already did this. He feels like chess a little bit? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, let's keep creeping down here. We'll take some shaman, sure, why not? Very good. And now we have some research we can actually do as well at the birthing pools. So I can pay gold to get constant upkeep I can do this to give my wielders permanent magic. All wielders gain essence creation. That's pretty good, because that's the that's the good stuff. That's what I really like. Where are my spells? So this is the creation lore. It gives us insect swarm, but it also gives us acid cloud. This one's super mean. It's super mean. You can see all the end tier spells. So rally is the end tier spell for order. It gives your entire army a buff. This is very common for like the night factions. Um, chain lightning is for chaos, I think. Yeah. Which I'm not really a chaos guy. I'm more of like an essence character. Yeah, we have essence, destruction, and arcana. Arcana, yeah, arcana is pretty good. You get the arcane storm too. So I don't know what research is worth getting. Perhaps. Yeah, we could we could upgrade the the turtle, the ch the chunguses. Okay, let's pass turn. I'm here for the wizards. Yeah, my when I play the PvP game later, you guys are going to see the empire faction. Um, let's just take the gold. We don't really care for those guards too much. Power stone. And hmm, we can't quite see. So this is a medium threat level, which means it's actually kind of challenging. I guess my army isn't that good. Now that I look at it, I'm kind of like, ooh. <laughs> my army actually is kind of shitty right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. The turtle men are coming. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is not going to be easy. He's got like stacks of 20 archers. And so crossbowmen units in this game, they have like a reload time. So what I need to do is just like harass them with magic. This this end tier dragon unit's really cool because you can you can put the uh, ambush ability by clicking this, and when somebody moves into his hitbox, he'll attack them. You get like a free attack of opportunity, sort of. Um, okay, so I got to make sure to stay out of range of his archers, but I also want to shoot here. Yeah, my my range is kind of short until I upgrade these guys. 
Yeah, whatever. I think it's worth applying the poison. He got, he got me. Let's put the poison on these guys. Keep the frog people over here. And stay in ambush. So he's gonna move and see he'll get blasted by my dragon, I think, if he's a little bit closer. Um, this guy's uh, reloading. This will kill six models, okay. No, frog people. <laughs> go for the kill, frogs, go. <laughs> go, my minions. I'm keeping this guy back because I don't want to like lose him, right? So this guy's gonna finish reloading first, I think. So what we'll do is we'll we'll take the high ground Anakin and we'll blast him. Yeah, see how they have to reload. So you kind of want to like time that properly. So if I move into his hitbox, you see how if I try and move out of here, like if I move into this hit zone and I try and move through it, the AI will get an attack of opportunity. Oh, dude, get absolutely shanked, bro. Absolutely shanked. Uh-huh, let's see Psychic Spear, just whatever spells we have, honestly. I'm gonna blast my frog in the face, but the frog's coming for that booty. We're gonna gear him up with some aggression. Okay, no problem, let's just give you. Trying to save my my late tier units. Uh, King Midas, I'm enjoying the game quite a bit. So I'm a multiplayer guy, typically. If you have someone who you could play this with, I think you're gonna have a really good time and it's totally worth it. That's my two cents, I haven't played the campaign. Okay, we're gonna grab a, ooh, an ancient blade, okay. Petrified trees are interesting. You can, it's it's kind of like the old trees in Heroes of Might and Magic where you can pay resources to get a level, which I think is worth it. Um, let's go ahead and do the creation upgrade. I, I kind of want to go with creation magic. All right, great. So now we're gonna head back to the base, do some recruiting. Let's update some of our basic buildings. So we need celestial ore, I think. I want to get my shaman tent upgraded. So I need three ancient amber, okay. So one, two, and three. The shaman tent, we're gonna upgrade it so we can get tier two shamans. And I'll show you guys what the upgrade system looks like right now. All right, so Dragon Man. I'm pretty sure this is like, yeah, I can recruit like a ton of goblins in there. I'm just gonna hang tight on that though. Yeah, I'll take the hunters if they're here, why not? And what is this? This is like a sewer or something? Play campaign, let us see. Um, I'm more interested in just showing you guys the mechanics and doing PvP with, because the PvP is going to be hilarious. When you guys see Pone and I battling, it's going to be quite a riot for sure. All right, so heading back, uh, the Chelan camp, what do we need to upgrade that? Amber and ore, and then we can get Chelan elders, which seem pretty cool. So we need three amber and two celestial ore, which is kind of expensive, let's see. So one, two, one, two, three. That's why that exchange building is so good. Cause like you can just kind of like power check to whatever you want to get. Any RNG and damage? We'll have to take a look actually. Okay, so now I can upgrade troops. I'm gonna upgrade my existing shaman into the uh, sages, which are uh, pretty good. They have more essence and they also uh, give nearby allies ranged and range capabilities and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, and let's go ahead and recruit the big boys and we can upgrade them to the next tier, which actually costs a little bit, but now we have the elders. So let's see, ability, oh, that's pretty sick. So their ability is they can generate magic for you in battle. Generate this unit's essence for the wielder. Ooh, I like that. That is really cool. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have more to recruit, so what you see is what you got. All right, so this is the direction I wanna go, but I'm not quite ready yet. Like those guys are super mega strong, the uh, the band of Arlian troops here. Those guys are, those guys are beasts. So what we're gonna do is go take this little like camp up in the corner here, and then we're gonna we're gonna roll from there. Okay, so let's pull you back. And yep, we're gonna move back this way. Very cool. We need to expand though, because this is your starting zone. This is your starting biome. And to the east, this area is really good because you see this, guys? This is a small settlement. If I take this, I get a new city with more building slots. So I can build more income buildings. Like you can do all that kind of stuff. Um, I do need to upgrade this though. Where's my stone building? So I need two celestial ore for that. Okay, let's just. Is this Celestial Ore? Yeah, it's gonna be 1400 too. Then I don't, I, I should be able to upgrade it next turn. It just costs a little bit. And we can actually sell some wood to get there. So, uh, one, two. Okay, so we just sell some wood. And then we can get this upgraded and we're all good. Dude, I, those turtle guys are pretty cool. Especially if you're playing like a magic style character. All right, so we're gonna hustle over here. And then homeboy's gonna head back to the base. Is the Ancient Blade better than your Halberd? Yeah, good good call, but, but I didn't look. 
Okay, so the Ancient Blade has 9 offense, and this has 15, so the Poleaxe is actually better. There's purple items too, which are like obviously the, the big epic legendary ones. And we have these little bagpipe players here. Alright, let's take them out. So we could auto-resolve this, but I kind of want to try some of my new units. Okay, manual battle. Time to colonize new lands to get more moolah. Exactly, dude, exactly. That's going to be the game plan. No, it's not sponsored. No. Um, okay, so let's pull you back. Here's a little sausages charging at you. What are these, like, the, the Dark Lords of Bagpipes here? Okay. <laughs> Didn't do a whole lot, did it? Okay, let's... These hyenas? Dude, these hyenas are one of my favorite units in the game. They're really good. And the reason why is because they, um... They, uh, that when you move into their hitbox, they attack you right away. Yeah, so there is some range in your damage. So channel essence. Generate this unit's essence for the wielder. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I channel the essence and then I get, I get like more magic essentially. Yeah, I have the mist ability now, right? I kind of want to save up for the final tier one. Well, anyway, so let's go ahead and just put the insect swarm on you. The little toads, uh, we can blast you with this. Keep the toads in the back. Uh, let's do this. See if we can throw some razzle dazzle up at these guys. And now Big Pimpin can come out with his club here. Oh yeah, turtle beatdown, baby. <laughs> the tortoise is super thick, dude. Yeah, he's very thick. That's why we like him. I think he's cool. I was gonna go for the Arachnoc build, but I was kind of like, I don't know. I like the turtle because he's a little seems a little bit better for the magic style that I'm doing. Yes, yeah, ever flowing branch of something. Okay, I assume that gives me. Oh, it gives me one ancient amber per turn. That's actually super good. So there's like neutral uh, farmhouses and like mining camps, just like in Hom Three, that give you constant resource production. Um, two celestial ore. So let's go ahead and buy some of that, and then just update our lumber too. Cool. Okay, where's the lizard man? He's around here somewhere. And yeah, something you can do is you can use the extra heroes to like ferry units around, right? But what I want to do is just clean out this and then I'm going to head back and fight the hard fight. I'm going to go fight the Arlian troops over on the other side. Dude, <laughs> broken in half. Absolutely, dude. The undead faction is super cool too, man. Um, seven shaman. We'll take the gold so we can recruit some more goodies. So I could break, try and break this way. Toxic these are these are Barony of Loth units. So this direction is like undead stuff, yeah. But I think I'm gonna go for the village over this way. Yeah, up here we see like a stone camp. I think that's gonna be pretty sweet. So let's go recruit and then move. Turtle dude gives the enemy shell shock. Exactly, exactly he does. Alright, my minion. Charge forth. Uh-huh. You he's just gonna go like hang out here and wait to like get through. Now, do I want to do anything as it pertains to research? So you can click here to see your like daily income for troops. I'm getting one elder and four, uh, two sages per day. Um, birthing pools. I mean, glimmer weave. This would actually be pretty nice. How much is this? 5,000 gold? Jeez. That's pretty expensive. But the glimmer weave is useful for like upgrading things. No, no. I didn't mean to do that. No. No. <laughs> I just clicked it. I was like trying to unclick it. There's, there should be a way to undo that. Oh, well, I just spent, like, all my money on <laughs> on getting that research. But hey, on the bright side, I'm going to be getting a shitload of Glimmer Weave. <laughs> okay, let's move here. So we can recruit some units now. Okay, so let's get some challenge. Oh, okay, I actually need Glimmer Weave as a primary resource for my big turtles. Okay, I actually feel better about that investment now. So how many Chunguses do I have? I have five of those. That's a worthy fight. So let's hang out for a turn. And then we can... Wait until Optimus Prime shows up. I know, I'm sure he will. Okay, we can get two more turtles here. I can get five more shaman. That will max me out. So now I can't build any more shaman, essentially. And um, what else do we want to do? Let's chill for one more turn. Because I really don't want to lose this fight versus these guys. And I'm telling you guys, I can lose that. Uh, we need a thousand to get homeboy. Okay, so let's do some selling. We got Glimmer Weave for days, it's true. So we can sell some wood for sure. Okay, so we did that. We're gonna buy the big Terminator. So now we got nine Chellen Elders, dude. I think we're ready to break. Let's go, baby. You're about to see the, the Beastmen. So these these are the Beastmen units. Yeah, this is Knights and Horned Ones. These are like two strong-ass units. Um, okay, so we can... 
how do we want to like deploy this? Probably the shaman man, because they're going to be like in my face instantly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little toads as bait, kind of throw them to the dogs a little bit. And hopefully we can get the AI to chase my toads down here and buy me more time to get them with magic. Okay. Just as planned, yes. Glad to see you branching out more after Dune. Love the stream. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying it, dude. I'm having a blast, too. Yeah. Oh, God. This army's scary, man. Uh, these guys are, are absolute beasts, though. Like, the Chalon Elders, they're 40 health on those guys. My Elders have 70. All right. So, we need to, like, lure them. Come, come and attack the Toad. Ambush. God, dude. This is going to suck. I, I could... Dude, I, guys, I could straight up lose this. Oh, God. This whole army is so elite, dude. Hmm. Do I want to... Oh, I actually have an idea. Okay, so let's get... I can't get up on that high ground position. I could use the swarm here. So they're all going to be, like, right in my face next turn. What's the next order? Okay, so the turtle guy can channel, which will give me... How much essence am I going to get? Creation. Will that give me enough for the acid cloud? Acid Cloud is 12. Okay. This is really scary. Oh, God. He's Donatello. So we're gonna... Hmm, they can't reach me, so that's good. Let's channel. Okay, Acid Cloud. Nice. Here we go. That seems pretty good. Let's try it. Oh, okay. So that took out a lot of models, actually. And now we need to like get them to chase me into the Shadow Realm over here. <laughs> uh, let's do the ambush with him. Oh, and the Acid Cloud gets him again. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, good. So th they waste some of them wasted their attacks and went down there. Oh god. They can go up the cliffs though. Dimensional door. Move target friendly unit. Okay, interesting. So this will take out three to five and two to four of you guys. So let's go ahead and do this. Big Chungus is here. Uh, create two barriers on the field. Okay. So we created the barriers of doom. Oh, this is this spell is sweet. Check this shit out. So we're gonna cast this. Watch. And it pushes him back. Oh, that's so rad. Um, and then we can channel again. And let's go ahead and do this. All right, we're building our we're building our wall in the corner. Oh man, dude. Hopefully they. Okay. Okay, they're still not through the barriers. Okay, they got through. Oh god. Oh, the beastmen are taking the high ground. Okay, we need to kill the beastmen up here. Um. Oh, target friendly unit gets seventy five percent melee resist. Let's do that on on the turtles, the ninja turtles. Okay, how long do these things last for? Shit, I don't know. Let's go ahead and channel Essence, and then we can do, um... I don't know if that'll actually kill that unit. Let's get the Beastmen back here. Ambush. Ooh, man, they killed two of my turtles. Okay, uh, three to five knights. Okay, let's do that. Clobberin' time, baby! Uh, hmm. Let's do this, and uh, I guess we could just like block this so they can't like move up that way. Hmm. <laughs> Misha says the mountain drive tactics, yeah, from age last night. Holy shit, that's funny. Be gone, spawns of darkness. Uh huh. Dude, this, this blocking spell is super good. It's super good. Channel Essence. Because now he has to move and, and break through the barrier. And I get like another free shot at him here. I think my Shaman up top will finish him off. These things hit like beasts for sure. Alright, Ninja Turtles. Uh, Looks like there's still blocks everywhere. Okay, we need to make sure he can't get through. Channel Essence, Turtle Man. Oh, and he dies from the poison. Oh god, dude. If you see, if I didn't have if I didn't have that Helms Deep in the corner, dude, I feel like I would have gotten owned. Super hard. Man. 
that that was that was a stressful one, but we we did good. That was some MLG micro for sure. The big plays. So channeling, oh, learning gives us more experience, but channeling 100% spell power, dude, give me that shit. Oh, and okay, so it seems like when you get a certain level two, you also get like a basic army upgrade. So all of dwellings produce 30% more units or your troops gain two HP. Let's go for the, the, the troops. I don't know if that's the right choice, but let's see what the hell happens. Okay. So we have the Glimmer Weave fully pimped out on accident uh not gonna increase we need celestial ore to increase our reina because each faction has two two different like races of units essentially uh fungus farm yeah i need to get some celestial ore so let's get our our lizard men guy to just like follow us in here and then we can go and loot these lands yeah dude i thought i was gonna get wrecked there for sure i thought it was done for uh this is a band of arlian troops so we want to get this building site 100 percent yeah, now you can see there's a crypt up here. There's a stone deposit. So, if I auto-resolve this, I don't know. I might lose a fair amount. Let's see. I think this positioning is fine. Uh, manual battle. Barricade wins, I know. That spell is really good. The the blocking spell. I mean, right here it wouldn't help me. This army's actually pretty good, the one we're fighting. I don't know why it said easy, but I guess we'll just pop these little gremlins real quick. Thankfully, the footmen are slow as hell. Um, so why does it do so little? Jeez. All right, let's just take out the gremlins first. Um, I could do insect swarm channeling. I, I And the turtles are super slow. I can't even get over there. And he's going to be able to reach me no matter where I go. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to take a big hit here, guys. So let's just channel. I mean, I could block, but it's only two barriers. So let's channel this. Please don't hit my squishy. Ugh, I just lost so many. Damn. Oh, well, at least the turtle man's chilling. Uh, all right, so now we actually have... Oh, that's actually pretty prime here, guys. Nice, nice. The big business, baby. Repel. Target troop gets pushed back. Dimensional door. So, like, I could, like, teleport my turtle into combat here, but I think we're just going to waddle back and then just keep blasting with magic. I'm kind of playing, like, a Harry Potter-type build today. Uh-huh. Whatever. Oh, please don't reach me. Okay, seven to nine. We kill a couple here. It seems the closer I am to a unit, the more damage I actually do. You guys ready for the MLG plays? Okay, so he's gonna channel, but firstly, let's go ahead and do Dimensional Door on you. What's his range? Okay, so if I use Dimensional Door on this guy, I can get away from, from the footman, basically. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and channel again. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, it was sloppy. I, I shouldn't have taken that damage. I, I had spells, I could have stopped it, you yeah. know. Alright, we're gonna do Ethereal Scale to give him 75% ward save. Or physical resist. Oh, beat down time, baby. Alright, not bad. Not bad, we're making progress. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are pretty sick. I think they're one of my favorite units. Yeah, we shouldn't have lost anything there, that was stupid. Alright, so the village is now ours. So see, now we get new building slots. And we can upgrade the village to tier two, which obviously is like very, we get another medium building slot. But the coolest thing about these building slots is you can build um, the spawning pool, which allows you to purchase troops from all of, you guys remember in Heroes of Might and Magic 3, how annoying it was to have to go back to your main city to recruit troops? Well, now you can build at your new settlements, you can build uh, rally points or spawning pools, depending on what civ you are. And you can recruit units from anywhere in your empire using this building, dude. It is, uh, it is, a, it is a game changer for sure. It's really, really nice. So what we're gonna do, is go to our shop. We're gonna buy some goodies. And uh, one, two, three. And I don't know if I'll have enough. Yeah, I can build it, great. So now we can build a spawning pool here and like once I'm finished up in this area, I can I can recruit from it, which is nice. Uh, a bunch of knights up there, which is kind of scary as well. Yeah, I played Heroes of Might and Magic 3 a lot. My, it's like my wife, one of my wife and I's favorite games. Um, all right, so let's go down here. I'm out of movement. And we can get our Dragon Master to go grab some stuff. Let's see if we find anything in the old camp. 
Okay, so he's gonna go grab these these shops up here. He's out of movement. And I think we're chilling back here as well. Most of my primary like low tier buildings are upgraded. Yeah, including the turtles. Was that a Wilhelm scream? It might have been one actually. I wasn't paying close attention, but it very well could have been one. Okay, what is in here? Okay, it's just like a crypt. Fair play, we have some celestial ore over here, nice. And what do I want to build as far as other buildings go? I could get more shaman infrastructure, but I always think just like the income building is fine, the fungus farm. Yeah, cool. And we got a whole bunch of knights up here who I don't think I can take, to be honest. Can I get that gold without him, like, killing me? Oh, yeah. You can see when I mouse over him, it says, like, the threat level, so he'd basically just, like, dunk on me. Uh, so we'll send you down here. And then we can go to the spawning pool now, and we can, like, fill up our army. So check this out. You can recruit from any of your cities by clicking on this little tab. And it lets you just get all the goodies. So let's go ahead and get more. See, I'm at, I'm, I'm at capacity for Shaman. Although I could start a second group. I could also go to research, go to the birthing pools, and I could potentially increase the capacity of my Shaman. But it would cost five Celestial Ore to do so. Um, this would give me gold income. That's actually pretty sick how I could do that. I could like spend this. Seems like a good deal. Let's go ahead and spend this twice. And that'll increase my gold income per turn. So now we're going to go ahead and grab you guys and grab more of the turtle chunguses and grab some more shaman as well from our other camp. I love that I don't have to go back. Okay, so this is actually big. The secluded mon monastery is really nice up here if I can get that. I have to like move close and see like how truly strong that camp is. Okay, looks fine. How long till we can upgrade this? We need uh, 6,000 gold and we can upgrade that. Okay, cool. Hmm. So let's head down here. Just keep grabbing the goodies. Ooh, some nice gloves. Gauntlets of Essence. That sounds nice. <sighs> Man, how strong is that camp here? I don't have enough room to take those free units, so. Easy. Oh, okay. So it's only a couple of them then. Okay, sometimes units just flee too if you're really strong. Um, let's go ahead and take the, uh, the creation. Creation tier 3. What does this do? The monks, they share their knowledge. Okay, so I just I just got some knowledge, I guess. I'll take it. Take gold. Head down here. We can recruit some more units from our rally point. I'm really just kind of focusing on these two unit types right now, which you can totally do. Like, you don't have to get all of your different unit types. You can totally focus on just whichever ones tickle your pickle. Um, definitely want to get a smoldering cave soon. It's going to cost eight ancient amber. We can upgrade our main town, so now we get a couple more small building slots. So I am going to get another shaman tent. I wonder if I should. I just like spam shaman. That's what I really like, how it's not like linear necessary in that like, okay, I just have to build my, my base unit. Like you can actually just really, um, do I have another building? A medium build site. I think you get your second build, big build site once you get to the, the max tier. I don't really care for the guard units. The arachnorok spiders are pretty sweet though. Maybe I should get the Arachnorocks, the Tremors, yeah. I don't know, haven't haven't thought about it yet. I don't really care for the Hunters. I have two Shaman Tents already, I think, D don't I? No, I don't. So let's get another Shaman Tent, and we'll upgrade that, and then here we can just get like, I don't know, what does what the Lookout Tower even do? Maximum Garant Size, Hunters and Shamans. Oh, it actually gives you additional, okay, that's pretty good, so we could just get that. Yeah, we definitely should get that next turn. We got a fungus farm here and a medium build site, which we do not know what to do with yet. All right, how do you unlock more spots for units in your army? So um, you go to your research, which is up here, and you need to build the prerequisite building, and then you can just go to this tree. Rana is like the the lizard and toads, and then the beasts are in the beast tree. And you just spend resources, which is going to be celestial ore, which I'm really lacking right now, and you just get these upgrades, and it increases the capacity size of each unit, right? So you can get 15 more. In this unit, you can get three more in your dragon stack, whatever, right? That's that's how you do that. Okay. I just got some sweet gloves. What do they do? 30% spell power. Holy shit. I'm going to be terminating some, some things here. Let's go see what's cracking over here. We can use this guy to scout before we decide. Okay, so now there's a large settlement right here. I definitely want to take that. Hold up. One sec, guys. 
Perfect. Yeah, and we have a bandit's hideout. I actually haven't done the bandit's hideout. Gloves of the Merchant's Guild. What does that do? Uh, oh, 100 income. That's actually a really nice item for that character. Let's go to the bandit's hideout. I've never, I don't think I've done one of those yet in all my playthroughs here. Let's get a lookout tower. A uh, little shaman tent. We can upgrade that so we get extra sages. Fungus farm is fine. The Chungus farm. So we're going to go take this large settlement and then build a rally point there. And I should be able to recruit for my entire kingdom, which will be pretty rad. I do need to get that celestial ore though, man. I'm like really, really in the potato age from that. Okay, buddy. What do we got down here? The bandit slayer. I haven't seen the AI yet. I have no idea what he's doing. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll fight that. Oh shit. It's like some weird deployment where I'm like, I start off ambushed. Um, this obviously looks like a much better spot to start. Probably going to take some unnecessary casualties here because of the way the deployment is. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is like an ambush battle. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm going to lose a bunch of my little range guys. At least they're going for the weaker stack instead of the big one. Yeah, so that you see in this fight, I took, I took like way more casualties than I normally would have. Man, okay, let's just sit here. I don't know if the wolves do anything fancy. The turtle is just going to beat the shit out of those guys. Uh-huh. So this will do 27 damage, which is not a whole lot. Oh, it makes me feel bad, the sounds. Okay, because the reason I'm not attacking with some of the units is because the units get a retaliation in this game. So if I swing and don't finish them, they'll hit me back. Okay. I'm, I'm curious what the bandit camp actually gives you, though. Better be some good shit. Since you get surrounded like that, that's actually pretty rough. Okay, so I lost eight shaman. Oh, okay, I got some experience. Um, crafty spiders gives us glimmer weave. Let's get command so we can get a bigger army. And now we're going to head down this way. What is this, actually? A graveyard? Source of riches? <laughs> I don't think I've done one of these, either. Oh, okay, so it's very similar to... Um, it's very similar to, to Hom. Where when you attack like some sort of a neutral creep site. Alright, let's manual battle this. Ambushed. Sudden ambush, I know. They got me good. Okay, so we got the the rats. Oh dude, these rats are my favorite. When I play the undead, there's a character who specializes in rats and I just spam him. It's the funnest shit ever. Um, okay, so this is three barriers. So as my magic. Holy shit, guys, look. <laughs> I just trapped the undead in their spawn. I love it. All right, Big Chungus, let's get you up here. Yeah, now they have to go the long way around. Oh, that's so funny. Can I keep them from escaping? <laughs> Guys, look at this. Holy shit, they're just getting trapped, bro. That's so funny. And they're all like shitty units, so it's probably gonna take like 45 minutes for them to get out too. All right, these are the tier one units for undead. These are the uh, legionnaires, and and then they also get the risen. So the undead characters, when they um, what does this do? Entangle target enemy troop gets a hundred percent. Oh, so you can entangle units. Oh shit! I think there's more spells than meets the eye. Yeah, look, there's new spells being unlocked in my trees. There's more than I started with. Okay. Um, dude, I can't wait to do this kind of stuff in PvP though, dude. It's gonna be hilarious, and I can even like repel them. Oh, wait, he's trapped in there, so the repel actually didn't do anything. That's really funny. Oh, no, he got out. See, the zombies are too shitty, though, to get out. They, they take their time. And, like, I could technically just, like, trap them like this every turn. I think, because I have enough magic, and they this is, like, the barriers are just so good. Oh, my God, that's brutal. And then he can just channel Essence. Oh, I love that channeling thing, dude, from the Turtle Master. I think that's my favorite way to play this faction. Because these these guys would actually hit really hard if they get into melee with me. Great. All right, let's keep them keep them locked up here, guys. Nice. And then we have the. See, sometimes you, you have more spells than you can see, so you have to look here. I could also just entangle one of them, too. The turtle, I could use dimensional door and teleport him. No, I don't have enough range for that. Okay. Let's put the insect swarm in the channel again. 
Dude, this is such a meme, dude. I love it. I love it. It's so good. Let's see if we can finish off this guy. Not quite. I only have one of those, like, dragon masters. Alright, well, I guess they're not escaping their cage. <laughs> Plants versus zombies, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's basically what's going down, down right here, dude. Oh, man, look at him just get on. Just like the shithouse zombies. Yeah, good, Anakin, good. Yeah, Ryan, it's a lot of fun, dude. I'm, I'm having a blast with this game. And it, it's even more fun when you're playing with friends. Because obviously, I'm going to beat the shit. I'm going to destroy the AI. Wow, that was actually... Glimmer Gloves? So, Glimmer Gloves give me... Spell Damage Resistance. And these ones give me Power and Defense, which is way better. All right. Cool. So we got some serious, serious dough right there. Um, Dragon Man, I think, is around somewhere. Where is he? Okay, Big Pimpin is up here. He can go start grabbing some treasures over here and scouting a little bit. You always want to be scouting with your second hero. All right, so back in the main base. Uh, we can't upgrade yet, but what do I want to do in terms of research? Do I have anything that interests me? Yeah, we're doing all this. This is good. I, I would like to increase the army unit size for my, um, for my Turtle Man. Yeah, but the Celestial Ore is so... I haven't been able to find it. I think it's on the other side. I think this Celestial War is probably... Ooh, here, there's actually one right here. Okay, that's nice. Um, I could always buy some from my shop, of course. All right, so past turn. This is, I think, a pretty easy one. I think they're just going to scatter and run, I would imagine. Oh, shit. Actually, it's a medium threat level. Okay. Let's get down here. Let's see if there's any, like, really cheesy... You got a helmet from the bandit hideout? Okay, I'll double check that. Thank you. Dude, the map editor is really good. Yeah, I, I actually was sitting in it for like half an hour last night making a map. I want to make a map for like a stream where I design one and it's like a PvP map where you have like four little islands. Oh, could I get the acid cloud like right away? Okay, so this knight can basically go wherever. The beastmen are a little bit slower. So I need to just focus down the big man here. Uh-huh. Supply poison to... You guys. So the knight is the problem. Where is he going to go? I, I wish I had enough magic to like repel him. If I move here and channel, I think I can do some cool stuff. Yeah, so I can actually entangle the knight, which means he won't be able to move for the whole round. Or I could get a big fat acid cloud right here, which might be a little bit stronger. Oh, because then the knight's going to get a charge. He'll probably kill a couple of my guys here, but if I entangle him, then I get a whole nother round of shooting on the other guys. The entangle seems pretty strong. Let's go ahead and entangle him so he can't move. Then we'll do the little swarm of Nicholas Gages on those guys. Have you run away. And do the ambush. Yeah, so he's entangled. Oh shit, I didn't think that guy would be able to reach me. Man, my turtles are tanky as hell though. He didn't even kill a model there. Um, okay, so I think we just chain and tangle that guy. Okay, so let's run you back. Just fly poison, whatever. Um, the knight can get pretty far. The beastmen can get far too, but if I run back here... Let's go ahead and do this, this, and this. That'll, like, make their movement a little bit less efficient. Yeah, see, now he's gonna have to go up and around. Dude, I'm loving those blocking spells. Oh, shit. I didn't think he'd quite have the movement for it. That's pretty newbie. Oh, well. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can finish this guy off. It's a pretty big one, though, because it gives me access to another city. Uh-huh. 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 Great. So that should block those guys back for now. Now we just need to slay the beastmen. Hmm. Where is he going to go? How far can the beastmen actually move? So he's next. Unfortunately, my Chungus can't reach him. Okay, let's do this. You should be able to come under here. Let's channel essence, let's see how far you can get. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of my gremlins, it's a shame. They're really fast, those guys. Oh, I should have shot you guys down here, I could still do that. Alright, the turtles can like usually beat them head to head. Do I have the poison cloud yet? I don't have it, okay. Are they actually working on the barriers? It's a little bit hard to tell, to be honest. Alright, so let's blast them. Blasting these guys. And then we should be able to get the big poison cloud once I channel. 
Perfect. So let's get this. Nice. That spell is really good, the Acid Cloud one. Okay, apply poison. More damage over time effects. Channel magic. Oh, look at this. Arcane Storm. Deal 68 damage to any troop within a target hexagon surrounding... Oh, oh, look at that. Holy shit. Oh, it actually destroys my barriers too. Okay, well, good to know for later. Dude, the epic animations here. Uh, no, no, there's no matchmaking. No, it's not It's not like a PvP, like a you know, PvP competitive type thing. Okay, so we got good experience. Um, Essence Leech. Whenever an enemy troop dies, you gain their final charge of Essence once. Hmm, it's kind of cool. We're just going to go for a command, though. Okay, so now we have this new city. We need to get a spawning pool. So we need three of these Celestial Ores, which I just have to keep buying from my marketplace, which is unfortunate. But it's worth it because this gives us a rally point. Okay, so we got a building slot there. Um, we could get the Beast Corral here. Oh, yeah, these guys are pretty good. They are musicians, so they they can like debuff the entire enemy army. Obviously, a large slot we can't really do right now. Can we upgrade the city? So that's a small settlement, so the maximum you can get there is two. And here we need 30 stone and 60 wood, which is a shitload. So that's going to be like a ways off, I think. Let's go ahead and get the Beast Corral in the main base, I guess. I could get more Chelan, but I think getting these guys could be kind of cool, too. Or do I just want to stay with the Chelan? Yeah, the train changes on ba different battles. Okay, let's actually stay with the Big Chungus Turtles. I really like these guys. I'm going to go for, like, a fat Channeler build instead of the Beasts, which I think will be pretty radical. Radical, dude. And then, uh, yeah, the Fungus Farms. I know we can upgrade some of these. So what do we need? Celestial Ore to upgrade those? So let's buy just, like, a whole bunch of Celestial Ore. And we can upgrade our little fungus farms, which will give us a better constant gold income. All right, that feels pretty good. And uh, we can grab some resources here. We're actually pretty close to the AI base. He's around here somewhere. He's very close. Take the glimmer weave. Pone? Uh, Pone will be around soon. He's he's just, uh, he was meeting up with one of his friends. What does this do? A petrified tree? Oh yeah, we don't want that. Not on this character. This guy's just for scavenging. I mean, he has some stuff, which is fine. He could, like, defend a base if he had to. Okay, so we got some item I didn't look at here. So we got the hat. Oh, archer's helmet, plus four defense. That's cool. Yeah, we're going for more turtles, guys. The turtles are the shit. They're so cool, man. So we need to upgrade this Chelan Sanctuary here. Oh, it's not done yet. Okay. Um, There's a ancient sword down here. I think the spawning pool is ready, so we can actually go recruit from there. 21 of these guys, wow, okay. So let's max them out, and then we grab some of the Chunguses. Yeah, dude, our army's getting super thick. It's getting mega, mega thick. So I don't know what the giant sword does, it's kind of cool. Old battlefield source of power. There's a necklace here, Talisman of the Arcana. Let's actually just give it to this guy. I think we can exchange items, too. Uh, what does that do? Two Arcana. Then Glimmer Weave. Yeah, we, like, we can keep some things on this character. It doesn't really matter. So you notice how, like, I can focus on the army I want. Like, I can I can just go for, um... Ooh, a Farseer's Vessel. Okay, that's probably... We're gonna go do the Ancient Sword. I, I don't think I've ever done one before, so I'm gonna go see what that looks like. Um, you gotta watch out for AI backdoors too. Sometimes they'll like creep around and capture your base and you can you can pay the troll toll pretty hard if you're not careful Okay, um, can we actually get down there? Not quite. Okay Hit this little milestone two movement per day. Okay, we get a little bit more movement. That's cool All right, so let's try the ancient sword out here. Uh, I should have checked actually how strong they were um we're just going for shaman and turtles right now. Eventually we'll get a dragon. We'll eventually get a dragon. I, I don't know if we'll get to it in this game, but... Yeah, so this is like a beast... So this is my same faction, but you'll notice these are usually beast units. So a lot of characters are actually better for certain types of like elements of your... Um, hmm, how do we want to... I don't, actually don't know which one's hit with the character. So that poison should do some good work. Are they, are they like immune to poison or something? Huh, interesting. So, let's go ahead and put the Insect Swarm on you. Okay, we can just chill here. 
The turtle, um, I think they can all reach me, honestly. I could do a dimensional door. I don't want to lose a bunch of my tor tortoises. But let's do you and move you like this. And then he should be able to reach and karate chop like these guys. Cool, so we could just do this real quick. Yeah, perfect. Bonk, right in the head. And then this guy can channel back here. And we can go ahead and get the uh, ethereal scales on this guy to give him like a million armor. Which will be pretty cool. So I, I don't think he'll take any damage. Okay, let's go ahead and bonk this guy in the head. Three friendly troops become untackable until they attack. Or Okay, so like, this spell is pretty rad. So if I'm about to like get ganked by something, I can like protect them with that. Okay. Bonk. The Bonk of Doom. Insect Swarm. Uh, <laughs> earth Block. Channel. Entangle. Power combos. Dude. Pretty sweet, dude. Yeah, this game has multiplayer. Yeah, we're gonna play multiplayer too today, guys. This is just like learning the basics. Yeah. It's if you guys have seen me play multiplayer Heroes of Might and Magic 3 a while back, it's it's the, basically the same as that. The turtle stacks, what does this do? The sword of giants? Oh wow. Okay, so it permanently gives you stats. It's pretty rad. There's a little shaman tent down here. Uh, how many shaman can get it? Can I get out of this? Oh, 30 shaman. Okay, sign me up. Seems like a deal. Unfortunately, they're not upgraded. In order to upgrade them, you actually have to have the, the building in the village, so I'll just build it here so I can upgrade them. Why not? Hmm. What do we have here? Some, oh, another small settlement. Wow, okay. Some ore. Let's go gather the goodies. I'm pretty sure I can actually get another hero now. But the AI's base is right here. So I could go in and take him out here, but I don't know. Part of me wants to go back up and do a little bit of magic there as well. Okay, so we're cruising. Let's upgrade that, because now I can upgrade my troops there. We'll head to the rally point. And I need to get the Chellin Sanctuary uh, updated as well. So we need uh, three Ancient Amber, okay. So one, two, three. Those are upgraded, very nice. Hmm. Alright, Sausage Man. <laughs> You're not buying this game. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, dude. I've been having a blast. Hmm, okay. So, you see how we're starting to, like, run out of, like, army capacity now? Like, I'm almost, like, basically maxed on some of these. And I believe I can upgrade some units here as well. So let's go do this. Yeah, we can upgrade the Shaman. Do I not have enough? 8,000. Okay, it's 8,000 Gs for that. That's why. Okay. Um, so we want to get the Shellen from the Rally Point. The Ninja Turtles. There's another neutral Shaman Tent here. So I can just like gather those neutral creatures. And uh, obviously... Oh, what is this? Golden Laurels? Is this like a... Uh, one max troop size. That's actually pretty good. Looks like the AI is already kind of broken free of this area, so I have to watch out. He could he could emerge at any time and start trolling me. An amber excavation site. Oh, these are one of my favorite units, the Tinkers. Those things are rad. Okay, so any research I want to do. Plus one creation, so I can spend 10 Glimmer Weave for that. That's actually pretty heavy duty. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let me cast my bigger spells a little bit faster. Sure, why not? Let's, let's do it. Hmm. We're eyeing the prize. The AI is probably going to come out of here, I would imagine. I'll probably have to leave my dragon man to defend this village. Even if they take the village, though, when you attack somebody's city, you have the option to either raise it to the ground, or you have um, a several turns to like capture it, essentially. I don't know what the obelisk of power does. Okay, it just gives you like, stats. That's fine. And then uh, there's an old camp over here. You can take the shaman. Like This guy's got like actually a decent army for like just fending off like shitty AI stacks. Okay, so this gives us Glimmer Weave and this gives us Amber. So, easy. Yeah, we're getting pretty pretty mean now. I wasn't able to upgrade my other gremlins, which hopefully we'll be able to soon. Spent my early teenage years playing HOM 3 with my mom. Now I live on the other side of the planet. Can't wait to... Yeah, right on, do it. Can we see this game again sometime soon? I'm having a blast. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna do an... I might even do... Whoa, what are these guys? Holy shit, these are like some angry ogre ladies. 
Oh yeah, they they belong to the steampunk faction. So the steampunk has like ogres and yeah, ogre right. So man, they're pretty quick too. They actually close the distance fast. Let's drag them down. The tinkers are actually these are the handgunner units for the steampunks, but these are the tier one variant, so they're not like super upgraded. So we're just gonna try and get the acid cloud if we can. Yeah, we don't have quite enough yet. Uh, you buddy can waddle up. Ugh, yes. I love the sound effects of the hand cannoneers. Acid cloud. Nice. That's that's big damage right there. Oh, oh lord, she's coming. She's getting ready to brawl. Hmm, where do we want to blast next? Now check, you want to see the MLG play of the gods? Can we actually do this? Hold on. Now mist, I could hide all my squishy units. I could click on free, three friendly units and they wouldn't be targetable until I decide I want to attack, which is pretty cool. Um, how do I get to this guy? I actually have another idea for that, okay. Blast you. Okay, just blast this guy. They're really squishy, those hand cannon here, guys. Bonk. And now we can do the dreaded entangle. Move up. Blast him in the face. Yeah, there's reloading, guys. So some units don't need to reload. Like my shamans, they have blow darts. But units with crossbows and guns have to reload because they hit way harder. But there's a cooldown. What are the major differences between... So, Ivan, you'd have to go back and watch. I kind of talked about that quite a bit earlier. Essence Leech. Um, where do I want to get more army size? Honestly, the army size seems pretty good. Let's just do that. And we'll get the Amber. So now I have a constant source of Amber, which is great. And we can go down and take down these Beastmen here. And where, oh, where arch my units? My, my Dragon Master... Here he is. Okay. He is, he is chilling. The shaman tent upgrading in our other village here. I could even just get another Chelan sanctuary. Oh it, oh, it actually requires a shaman tent. Interesting. So it has a tier one prerequisite. This one doesn't. Yeah, I think I think we're 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 okay here. We're not going to build anything. So we just got to save up quite a bit of stone actually to get to the next tier. I could I could probably end the game right now though. I think I think I could just go kill the AI. Okay, so let's upgrade our uh, shaman, shamanistic gatherings. So I'm going to pay five to get bigger shaman capacity, and then I'm going to pay five to get the, the chungus capacity. So now my armies can be a little bit scarier. So we're going to go back after this. Hey, Okoy, this game gives me some... Yeah, I, it's the, I, I believe the guy who did this game, very small team, and he's like a diehard Hom fan. So I think that's really showing through. Um, now, do I go beat up the AI? I think it's time. Solaric Psalm. I played the hell out of some tower in Hom 3. This is making my nethers tingle to watch. So excited. Yeah, dude, I'm having a blast with this. And I'm going to do a PvP stream. I might even have a second stream today against my wife. Because uh, she, she loves these kind of games too. And she's very skilled at them. So we might play this later tonight. Depending on how we're feeling. Or, you know, maybe we would just play on the weekend or something. It depends on. It's up to, totally up to her. Um, so let's go get more stuff. So yeah, you can see the unit sizes are bigger now. Uh, do I have enough to upgrade? We'll buy some more Chunguses. Yeah, so now our, our army is getting pretty pretty mean. And I can recruit from different settlements too. Yeah, so now I'm maxed out on those guys, right? Like in terms of this. But I believe I still have an upgrade spot. So I don't know if I have enough money. Let's see. Uh, next turn we will for sure. All right, where's the dragon at? So the dragon's just like gathering loot around the map. We need a chillin, a chillin sanctuary. Yeah, we do. That's actually a fair amount of loot down here, geez. And a mystic hut. Oh, okay. So it like it teaches you skills, much like in the old Hom Hom Three action. Okay. So turn past. Uh, we haven't seen the AI yet. He probably went to the other side of the map. And we can upgrade our troops here. All right. So we have a mean ass army, guys. We basically are turtles and shamans. Like, we're just spamming those units and really getting that nice synergy of ranged and tankiness. Um, we're not using any of the beast units right now. We could buy stone and actually get to the next age, too, if we wanted to get our dragons before the game's over. Uh, so Lady Turin likes the faction with the, like that have the elk 
in the in those type of units. So let's move down here. Let's hustle a little guy. You can see in the middle there's a different biome. Yeah, there's like an undead biome in the middle. And I think the dragon guy has some movement left. All right, let's get him back up here. He's good for like shuttling units, but I'm going to run him back to the main base now and have him just like kind of creep over here. He's going to go grab some units and creep around. So if I wanted to have like two armies, I could totally have him like, you know, like, oh, oh, hello. Oh, whoa, whoa, they're attacking me. Oh, oh, he's attacking my dragon. Oh, he's attacking my side character. I was like, dude. Okay, well, my side character's dead. <laughs> we'll do as much damage as we can. But now we get some intelligence here. Yeah, so I, I was like, I thought like my main army, look, he's got the horde of rats, dude. He's got the plague rats. Oh no, flee the scene. So this is my this is my side army, dude. This is they're just gonna get crushed. Okay, well, I guess we just pull back and do as much damage as we can. The turtle man can stand on the boulder and looking sweet. Okay, well that didn't last long. So th this is one of the undead units. They have these plague doctors. They're called. They start off as alchemists, but then they become banes. They're really cool. Uh, okay, let's let's do whatever we can. Uh, oh no. Yeah, the undead have some cool shit. Because they're not all undead, right? Dude, there, there's gonna be a reckoning. So the closest faction to Rampart Melody is the uh, is is the is the the Beastmen one, like the Bretonian Beastmen one. They have like they have like Minotaur type units. And like that. Oh, and he takes all my treasure, dude. Oh, you're gonna get it so freaking bad, dude. You have no idea. Okay, can I get through here? Hmm. So if I go down here, take this guy out, I think I'll have enough movement to get down there. My army's super mean now, too. I'm gonna freaking plow those things, man. Vengeance will come. You, Dude, you can go pure rats. If you want to play rats, you can literally just spam all rats. And it's not bad. There's a hero who has a rat specialty. Okay, the beastmen are coming for blood. But I have a lot of shaman now. My army's pretty mean, dude. I'm gonna one-shot most of these guys, I think. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do the earth block here. Do we just pick off the ones that are a little bit closer? How far can these beastmen move? Pretty far, actually. Pretty far. So I'm gonna get several rounds of shooting before they get close, okay. And then I can also get the poison cloud. Which one will kill the most? Three to five, it's pretty much three to five. <laughs> We're going to just apply the poison across the board. And then we're going to channel. And that's going to give us the uh, the big cloud, which unfortunately can only hit two of them. Hmm, that's a shame. Hmm. And let's go ahead and... Which one is very healthy? We can repel this one. We're going to send him back to the shadows. And then we're going to bonk you on the head. <laughs> I think the bonk is my... Yeah, look at the look at the poison clouds getting them. Nice. And let's go ahead and block you. Can we block here? Oh, we can't. I think it's because of the poison. Let's do the insect swarm. Okay, so he's running back all angry. Yep. Get wrecked, beast men. Yes. Love you for covering this game. Found you recently. I've been following you since the reveal at E3. Hey! Glad you're enjoying it. Glad you're enjoying it, man. Okay, so we slayed that force. We have shown them who is truly boss. Now it is it is time for Gotham's Reckoning. We're gonna go get sweet vengeance for earlier. Now my, oh wow, that's, that's a big army, but. My one critique of the AI in this game is that they tend to split, they do the classic Heroes of Might and Magic 3 blunder where they split their armies amongst all their heroes. So what happens is you tend to just pick them off. Which, if you're new, if you're if you're not very like proficient at these type of games, you're a little bit newer. It's fine because it's still going to present a good challenge. But for somebody who's like has played a million Hom games, um, you know, it's you're gonna you're gonna come in here and karate chop. These rats are gonna get it so bad, dude. And plus, I can just entangle them. I think. Yeah. Oh my God. Look, X is gonna give it to the rats for sure. Uh huh. So he can't get. I don't think he can move through those bushes. Okay. So let's do that. Do that, and blast the rats. 
and then uh, I could see I could even use like a dimensional door and then teleport my guy forward so I don't take the penalty. Let's push you to the back of the map so then it can't shoot me. And we can do an insect swarm on uh, on you guys. And channel. Man, I, I really like this this build. Okay, the rats rats normally they hit super hard. That if that group of 100 rats had hit any of my units, it would have just been it would have like one shotted them. They hit incredibly hard. So you got to watch out for the rat pack. Um, Psychic spear. I don't think I could just blast the, the archer lady in the back. Put another insect swarm on her because I believe it stacks. All right, rats, be gone. And uh, oh my god, can we actually do this? Hold on. <laughs> Wait, how many? How many does it create? Three. All right, so watch this, guys. Hold on. <laughs> this is such a meme, dude. Wait, can we creep up here and get you? There we go. <laughs> guys, look at the corner, dude. Look at this. I repelled it to the back, and now I'm just like, I'm just gonna just. Look, we have to we have to expand its cage. Oh, dude, look at this! This is so cool, and I'm just channeling all this magic. Oh, unfortunately, I moved into range, so that kind of like screwed it up. But, um, dude, I love that. Cause like now I could just straight up pull back and just spam magic, and that thing's like never gonna escape. Okay. No problem. And our character just gets so much magic. Unfortunately, I did take a shot on my one guy. I got poisoned. Dude, this is this is the this is the pen. Let's channel. Let's channel. Look at it back there. It's like trying to cut its way out of the bushes. Acid cloud. And then we can just blast it. <laughs> That's pretty good. This trap makes me worried for PvP. No, but like the, every faction can do those ty those type of things, right? Yeah, like there's all kinds of magic. Oh yes, we got all our treasure back. That's what you get. Ooh, crafty spiders. Uh, gives us glimmer weave. Let's actually take the stone one, yeah. Oh, can I reach the other army? Oh wow, this army's pretty fat too. Oathbound, a brumble of banes. Yeah, this is their main army, okay. Uh, I don't have too many great deployment options to be fair. Okay. They can. They hit the wall, but it like takes a while to break out. Okay. So these are some undead units. You can see they have the uh, the bone. These guys are really cool. They have. I think they have like a shit ton of retaliations. Is kind of their thing. Hmm. Should we start? Okay, guys. Do we start building the cage? Despite all their rage, they're just a rat in a cage, dude. We're gonna start building the great wall. Uh huh. This requires Arcana. What kind of magic is the Great Wall? It's creation. Okay, so we're fine on that. We'll we'll, we'll get a ton of creation there. We need to start blasting the rats. Though. Rats are so fast, dude. I I, I think I have to. I, those rats could one shot like any of my units. I think I have to actually entangle them. Mm -hmm. Let's move you guys up. Okay, so that's good. So that kind of screwed them up. Now they're they're coming for me. So the rats are going to get a turn pretty soon here. So we can move one spot. You can still move. It takes one move to do these like special abilities. Let's go ahead and entangle the rats. And then um, now we can move one spot. These ch chunguses are so slow though, dude. They have like two movement. Okay, the rats are entangled. Do this, and you can cast spells multiple times if you have enough arcana for it. Uh huh. Okay, the great wall is 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 placed once again. Despite all my rage, dude, that song is so freaking good. Actually, Smashing Pumpkins really are like an acquired taste, but man, oh man, they're uh, dude, some of this magic is so strong. Like, look at this. Like, be gone, spuns. I could totally repel them if they get close. What I should be killing, actually. <laughs> Dude, they just can't get past the wall. Oh, they just cast some armor breaking spell on me. 
Holy shit! You see that thing? Just sniped me from across the map. Okay, now I know who we need to take out. We need to be blasting this lady. Uh-huh. Let's move Chungus up. Use that. Uh-huh. Let's put an insect swarm on that lady. Good. Okay. Do some nice damage over time. We can do some channeling. Oh, shit. He was able to get through. I was not paying attention. I didn't see the breach there. Oh, the rats! Oh, man. I screwed up. Um, I think we should be able to shut the rats off. So that thing was able to snipe me from across the map. I could do this. It did destroy my barriers though, which is no fun. Uh, acid cloud, it's not really worth it. And we can have her live in her new dormitory back there. Okay, the haggard skeletons are on the way. Getting some work in there. Insect swarm, channel essence. She's trapped in her cage. Think you can escape your cage? No, 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 that's not happening. And insect swarm. Go my gremlins. Blast them. Now we just, we chill out. Yeah, and guys, for the record, anything is going to look good versus, you know, anything is going to look good versus the AI, right? Again, players would have more clever responses, for sure. <laughs> but we're just going to keep caging this character. <laughs> look, the great cage. Uh, is this game... Well, like, you can play on harder difficulties, too, I think. Like, I'm just playing on the... Holy shit! Oh, they have like a huge nuke right there. Okay, I better I better be more careful and spread out. Okay. Yeah, I actually took some L's there, for sure. I love just keeping the units in the cage. It's my favorite. When I play against someone later, I think I'm going to try this tactic. Although you guys want to see the Sigmar faction, I think. Okay, dimensional door. Insects. <laughs> just... Yeah, good. We'll let the Haggard Poison get them. Use that tactic against Pwn, dude. It'd be so funny. Just trapped in the corner, and then you just started just using the big AoE poison clouds on them. Yeah, the dragon guy, he tried. He tried. <laughs> we lost a lot. We lost a fair amount there. Ooh, crossbow gives us 15 ranged. Can we equip that shit? Oh, man, that's nasty for my army. That's really nasty. Okay, Glimmer Weave. Uh, initiative and troop size. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. And then, um, okay, so the AI got its butt, butt kicked pretty good there. We're gonna go back and recruit, and then we're gonna go for like a death a death push on the AI here and see if we can finish him off. They killed my my second summoner guy, the dragon. So it's a little bit of a little bit of a shame. When I play the undead, I usually go for the the. They have necromancers too. They have the they have really cool characters. Okay, I want to get the end tier units for you guys. That's going to take a while, though. It's going to take a while. What is it, 30 to get here? So I need just to buy a little bit. Okay, let's try and get the end tier units just so I can show you guys what they look like. Okay, so now we have another large build site. So we can build the, uh, the smoldering grave. So I just need a little bit of that. Okay. Should be able to do that next turn. The nation calls? Yeah, Sigmar is coming next game. Don't worry. So the AI has been sent back to the Shadow Realm. Um, let's get the dragon building, and then I believe that will take a couple turns to build. So what we'll do in the meantime is we'll just kind of creep a little bit. Okay. The annoying thing is if you leave for too long, the AI will often come and just start, like, stealing your bases. Hmm. I could always... Oh. See? Right as I say that, they're already, like, on their way over here. Wow, they actually have a big army. Jesus. How's AI? Is it cheating? Hmm. Look at this. Magnolia Silver Link. This looks better than Warhammer 3. Yeah, in its current state. Certainly fair. Uh, 20 cultists. 20... Oh, shit. That's actually not a bad army. I, I, I'll I win for sure, but that's uh, that's not terrible. Okay, at least the AI is still putting up a fight. That's good. Um, this large settlement we could upgrade here. I don't think there's any point. 
We need to go crump the AI again. So I could manual battle this, but I think it's more fun. Oh, I can actually show you the end tier units for these guys. Sweet. You guys get to see the ultimate unit for the undead. Hey, Professor Pone, how you doing, man? Are you ready for a game? Let me go ahead and check my uh, messages for me. So this is the one of the late game units for the undead. So attacks in a sweeping arc dealing damage to targets next to the initial one. So these are the tier one necromancers. Um, and when they attack, when they shoot you with their beam, the unit can't retaliate. So if he like shoots one of my units, then my units can't fight back when they get attacked, which is pretty cool. But um, anyways, yes. It begins. The great, the great Cajuning. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The rats are coming. Dude, they're so fast, too. Okay, guys. We have to... <laughs> we have to create the Great Wall here. Oh, uh, and these are their cultists. Yeah. You're home now, sweet bone. We'll, we'll get some, we'll get some games soon, dude. Okay. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Pone, is, Pone is about, he's seeing the fate that's gonna befall him. Oh, that was a good play from the AI though. It actually freed up its archer unit. That was an MLG play right there, dude. Uh, all right, so let's blast you guys. Blast you guys. Arcane Storm. Ooh, that actually has a huge ass radius. Holy shit, what other spells can I cast? Yeah, not quite enough yet to get the um, channeling. Let's get the Acid Cloud. Then we can move you guys up. Shoot you with this, finish you off. So when you kill enemy units, you get momentum as well. Uh, no, darling, no, no. We're still gonna do it later too. <laughs> Unless you don't want to. Um, all right. Hmm. So who's next? His scholar? Yeah, that guy's got his like big shield, dude. Do you have a hero? Yeah, he's up here. He's he's here. The hero is lurking. And uh, let's go ahead and repel you back to the Shadow Realm. Channel some magic. And then he has, he walks back through the Acid Cloud again. Oh no. Hmm. Maybe we just entangle this guy. Huh? And then we just blast him into oblivion. You guys ready for the steel chair play? Here it comes. Dimensional door. Wait, whose turn is it right now? Okay. Dimensional door. Oh, teleporting turtles. Bonk. And then we just clean up. And insect form again. My guy has a bonus for creation magic. That's kind of why I'm spamming all these like wall spells so well. And let's get you with the magic missile. See, so I can like do a fancy MLG play like that, like teleport him up using that, which is great. All right, guys, we have done it. We have smashed them, but that faction's really cool. That's the Barony of Loth. They have some great spells too. I did lose both guys, but that's pretty much it. Um, uh, ooh, cunning melee defense, but it's only for the first couple rounds. Okay, let's just take the let's just take the uh, command to get like a maximum size army. Then we can come back and recruit. I think the dragon building will finish and then we have to upgrade it. So it's not quite like an automatic process. The Terminator turtle deep strikes. Exactly, dude. Dude, the AI just is relentless for sacrificing itself. Dude, how are they mustering so many armies? Jesus, dude, you seen this shit? And these are like not bad. That's a lot of stuff. Maybe the AI cheats. Cause it has a lot of stuff, or maybe I'm just like a noob. I don't know. I think it's probably the noob. How do you win? Uh, I just gotta go attack. So I'll just go end the game real quick so you guys can see. So I'm just gonna march down there with the doomstack of, of Terminator Turtles. Uh-huh, we need to go to the rally site, get the upgraded Chunguses. And now it's pretty much Gotham's Reckoning. Okay, so let's move down here. I think they'll probably just run from me. Although, hold up. I think we can reach him. You guys want to see what a quick battle looks like? Um, he's got some specters, cultists, and plague rats. Okay, one sec. 
Let's see what the quick battle looks like. Like, I would lose nothing against this, I don't think. But with a quick battle, what do I lose? Okay, I actually didn't lose anything. That's good. So it, it actually gave a pretty fair shake at that. Okay, now the AI. This is the classic AI troll. He's going to, like, go and snake your buildings. But what I would do is I would just go back to the main city. I could recruit a wielder here. So let's just go ahead and get, like, I don't know. We can get anyone, really. This guy's got some turtles. The Great Hermit. Um, upgrade troops. And then he can go ahead and uh, recruit from the rally point, too. I think he can get some of the basic ones. Yeah, now we have the dragon building, too, which is sweet. Okay. Okay, let's go here. I think we can manage the defense, and we can defend with the wielder. So now my character has jumped into the city, and he's defending it. So, like, he'll be behind the walls and stuff. So this is the enemy's land down here. This is their main base. So I can just go take this out and it's basically GG. Um, let's look around. They'll have time to capture it back and the AI probably has more cities. So, okay, they're actually attacking me here. I don't know if I'll actually be able to win this. Probably not. Let's manual battle and see if we can. Yeah, the auto resolve is pretty good. It's It's been, it's been solid. Hey, how's it going? Oh yeah. Oh wow, man, this this army is like super elite. Jesus, look at this. Like, I would be actually. This is this is a like a small settlement. Scene. Yeah. Okay. I should I should have just brought my main army. Uh huh. Insect swarm, sure. Man. Fight the rats. You see, that was an attack of opportunity right there. The rats moved out of my hitbox. Man, he's tanking like a champ. Dude. Oh god. Yeah, this is the undead have some really cool units. That's I think that's who Pwn's gonna play in this game we're doing, so. Oh Anakin. I am too weak. I am too weak. Alright, so. They've taken that, and it looks like they're going to be going up towards the main base. But now what we're going to do is take their main city, which I would imagine is going to be barely defended. Okay, they're fleeing. You do kind of have to play whack-a-mole a little bit with AI here, for sure. So we'll just fight this army, and then we'll do a quick battle. Just do an auto-resolve. Let's see if I lose anything. I shouldn't. I, usually when it's easy... Holy shit, yeah. See, that time the auto-resolve wasn't so grateful to us. We lost quite a bit. Like, I wouldn't have lost any of that in if I were fighting. Okay, so they don't have anybody here, so check this out. I can either occupy the town, which gives me all this goodness. I can raise it, or I can convert it. Um, occupying is instant, and all dwellings produce one unit. Interesting. Convert it, place the wielder inside, and start the process of converting this town to your faction. Oh, interesting. So if I occupy it, I don't get like the benefit of all the buildings, but if I convert it, I do, and it takes five rounds. So if I occupy it here... Oh. Can I actually, like, recruit their units? No. But it is it is occupied. And I'm gaining all their resources. So, guys, look at my income now. I'm gaining, like, 13,000. So, uh, what I'll do since Pwn is already waiting is we'll get a game going right now. And, uh, yeah, this is... It's pretty much over because I would just recruit, like, a big army back at home. Uh, deal with the little rats. And I have to go clear this last small settlement out. So, you can, like, make comebacks from small settlements and things like that. But... At this point, I have their main city. They're not going to be recruiting any more good units. And uh, he might have another city here because each map, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven settlements on it. So they weren't defending it. And uh, now I have this occupied. I'm getting all these resources. And uh, I could choose to raise it to the ground or any number of things like that. So uh, so that's, that's basically a karate chop there. Yeah. So you can't have different town types? No, you can't. No. That's one thing that's different from the heroes. All right, so let me go ahead and get this all set up. We're going to do a PvP game now. So if any of you guys want to see what that's like, you're going to get a chance. One sec. Hold up. I'm trying to get my damn headphones to plug in here. Curse the baggins, dude. Couldn't get that to go. All right, so... Let me get this cracking. Give you a ring. And here we are. Yeah, the undead are pretty cool. Hang on a sec. I'm going to go see if uh, 
I'm going to go check with Anna real quick as well to see if she uh, maybe could join us. All right, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. Uh, let's see here. Looks like the settings are all good. Let's give Pwn Dog a ring. What's up, Doc? Hey, what's cracking, man? You ready to party? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna host the game. I think you have to set it on US West, by the way, when you go to the multiplayer thing. It's like regional, so you can like look up games in different regions. Uh old Warcraft style, eh? Yeah. Uh, it might why is my default Europe? Yeah, I know that was for me. I don't know. I don't know. So who do you feel like playing? What faction? You could do totally do the undead man if you want it, to. Apparently you can give me a code because there's join with game code oh yeah there is okay so invite friend and they stole that from warhammer 3 they stole it they saw how, how good it was <laughs> they're, they're like ah oh, the masterminds at see <laughs> they have figured out the most glorious advanced multiplayer technology okay there you go yeah you know uh i i mean i know that they just saw the undead in action so if chat wants uh to see like the other faction i i'll, I'll play them yeah okay yeah. sounds good like the bretonia boys are yeah, so Arleon is the knights. They have, like, knights and beastmen. It's kind of a strange one. Um, and they have, like, fairies and things like that. And then the barony of Loth is the undead. Um, right. Let's uh, see. If I do play Arleon, you have to call me the fairy king. All right, sounds good. We'll do it. <laughs> I'm going to play the empire one, the empire mercenaries with the steampunk stuff. Is this game new? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, this game's brand new. It just came out today. Um, uh, Who do I want to play? This guy uses pikemen, musketeers... This lady is like the musketeer queen. I think that could be pretty cool. Let's actually do that. So we'll go with the musketeer lady. She has a specialty for ranged offense, which I feel like is pretty good. So don't forget to select your lord too. Are you able to do that? Uh, I haven't. I was just looking at chat, seeing if uh, people want to see undead or if they want to see fairies. So do we want to do like, yeah, Melody, uh, Pwn is playing that faction. So I want elk. Okay. Do we want it? We could do a really small map, too. Yeah, so they have maps for a bunch of players, I think. You could do four-player maps. It looks like mostly four-player maps, but I would imagine there might be bigger ones as well. Um, but we'll do a two-player one, so... Okay, hey, so... What up, dog? What What is chaos, do you know? Yeah, so chaos is a type of magic. So basically, okay. that, that guy's better at casting chaos magic. Like, the, it, it's the lore. So if you start with, like, plus one chaos on something or plus one, whatever, like, you get a bonus point to that spell, like, type when you're in the game. Yeah, there's a campaign. There is. Yeah. There is indeed. So what else do we have? This guy gets... Oh, I get, the, I get the minstrels in my faction? Yeah, every faction has, like, a type of musician character, I think. Like, the undead have, like, cultists who, like, sing a song, and the uh, the lizard people have the arachnoc beast, which does, like, a roar. Like, everyone kind of has that. Oh, this guy actually has... Plus two. A bad moon to rise here. Basically, yeah. They'll they'll be singing some Credence Clearwater Revival, dude. And you'll be you'll be good to go. Why is there a one player map? Uh, it's just to learn the game. So like you, you you can play against the 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 countryside. Like you don't have to play against a computer. So if you're brand new, I would highly recommend playing one of those maps, like the the one player map. You know, and you can even queue up. You can do any map without an AI. Like you can just battle. Yeah. Is channeling one of the magic types uh channeling as a skit is a skill it says channel oh channeling means that you do bonus damage with your spells okay so that character like will do oh there's a six player map here yeah so this one you could do six players okay 
There's uh I mean they already have community maps and I, I just clicked on that for a second. There's all sorts of ones. I saw like three player ones, four player ones. Dude, this yeah. map, Feud Island, is the biggest meme. It's it's this map is literally you're within like two moves of the other player. Dude, I'm gonna be Naw, High Chief of Bay. <laughs> the high Chief of Bay. As far as I can tell, this is like the fairy version of Crack uh Crag Hack. Yeah, is it Crag Hack? He's coming for you. I'll have to take a look in a second. Um, the plateau. An enemy lurks near your kingdom. Defeat them before they conquer your lands. Okay, we'll do this map. We haven't played this one yet. You're gonna have to reselect your faction, I think. Oh, because I switched the map. Sorry. So we're gonna go for Aaliyah. I, I, I'm locked. I cannot not be Baraya. Oh, I think this. I think that map might have like a special condition or something. Yeah, like the uh, you know those like those old Hom maps that like lock you into certain factions. Yeah. How about here? Well, I guess we'll just play the same map we did. I know there's community maps already, but we'll just we'll just do this one. Are you able to select here or no? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. So this dude, this dude has has 15 starting offense and zero defense. A turn. <laughs> Which guy is that? Is that the undead guy, the the big titan? No, or? no, no. No, no, this is Naw, High Chief of Fae. Duel, a fast I'm, I'm, I'm for... coming at you with the, the fairy, boys. What about, oh, so I just switched one more time? Oh, but it locks us in. That's that's a shame. Yeah, it, it forces me to play this faction, and then you play, who are you, Barony of Loth? Okay. So why can we not pick other factions here? Maybe map settings? Let's see. Wielder cap. Oh, you can. There's actually in the settings. Do you want to make it so we can only have one champion, or do you want to play with multiple? That's fine with me. We can just we can do the do a mono the, e mono. Okay, guys, we're setting a setting so it can only be one lord. Yeah. <laughs> you have to change the map again. Yeah. Yeah. Let's you, see. Uh, Plateau. Might make you have to re re choose it. Portal bridges. A uh, many paths are available through this rich area. How about this one? Are you able to pick here? Yeah. Okay. Yes. It looks it looks like you're free here to pick. Yeah. This uh, this one I messed messed around with a little bit. So we're playing with only mono lords. So that's going to keep us from like being annoying and snaking cities. That's for sure. Because we'll we'll know. Are melee heroes mm -hmm. viable? Yeah. They're they're good. They're good for sure. All right, dude. I'm ready when you are. are you good? Yeah. Uh, I will set to ready. <laughs> okay. Now, why can I not start the game? Hold up. Are you set to ready? Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like I, I've selected my character here. Maybe it has something to do with the map. Is it just like a one-person map? Portal bridges? No. Okay. Let's, uh, take a look at your screen. Uh, click set ready to the left of your start game. Oh, to my... Where it says set ready. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I actually have to click that too. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, no, we I do. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> By the way, Italian Spartacus is streaming this as well. Uh, so I already asked him if he wanted to do PvP, and he, he didn't seem interested. So, alas, it was not meant to be. So I have to click Start Ready too, even if I'm the host. That makes sense. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you got it, Pum. Okay, so it is turn-based. I'll be pretty quick here. So, um, oh, this this map's actually a little bit better. Wow. Okay, so Stone Pit. Oh, you start with like almost no resources on this map compared to the other one. Okay, so let's go ahead and build the Dreeth Den cost 2,000. Okay. Let's do this, this. Go grab as many resources as we can. Well, a boar spear. Okay, and we can upgrade it to tier 2 already, although I don't know if that's really a good idea considering we're so tight on resources. So, ah, you know what? It does give us bonus income, so let's do it. So now it's Pwn's turn here. My turn. Yeah. And once... Is what, go ahead. Wielders is where I uh, like build things, right? Wielders is... Uh, so you, you have building slots outside your city. So you actually... It's not like Hom where you go to okay, okay. your city. Yeah. So you just build the building slots. And you upgrade it. Upgrading it is similar because it gives you more spots and more income and things like that. And unlike Hom 3, in Hom 3 you get units every week. And this you get it every day. But it's a smaller amount. So you get like... It comes out to be more or less the same thing, but... You can get reinforcements quicker. So, is there a random map generator? I'm not sure. Actually, maybe you can build your own maps. I know that for sure. Yeah, this map seems a little bit less easy because on the other one, you st I started with like twenty thousand gold or something crazy like that. Yeah. See, these are 
These are crossbow units. Like, range units are much harder to fight in this game, of course. Oh, the, the Golden Goose. Here's the Golden Goose right here, guys. And custom campaigns by the community. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can only build one building at a time. Yeah, one building per uh, per day. So, like, tom tomorrow it'll finish and you'll be able to do another one. And then you'll be, you'll be chilling. Okay, so this is what I want, guys. The mercenary quarters. So I need to get some wood and some gold. So we're going to hustle over here and grab this. And then we're going to grab this. And now I should be able to get the mercenary quarters, which will let me get my two primary units I want to build around. Which are the musketeer and the pikes, the pikemen. Or pike ladies, I should say. All right. Grab that. Cool. And then next turn, we build a sawmill and call it a day. All right. Oh, hey, it's my turn. It is. The I'll, Chad's turn. Oh, you, you are the Chad. I'm going to go this way. Take out these skeletons next. I just need to go recruit some units. Are you afraid of... Uh, I'm afraid of the... Oh, wait, you're Na, not the Lord of... High Chief of Bay. His, his name is Na? What does he look like? Is he like a beastman? Yeah, he's a beastman. Okay. He, he looks like... Uh, what was this thing? Well, my favorite my favorite character in the game is, um, is, is actually on the Barony of Loth. He's one of the undead guys, and he's the Lord of Rats. He gets a yeah, bonus rat. to rats, so you just build mass rat buildings, and you just recruit like a thousand rats and swarm people. It is the funniest shit. Uh, okay, so do you, do you think that stone is more important or lumber? So what I always do is I look around my base and I see what I have nearby and I just, whichever one I, is more plentiful, I just build the other one. Cool. But I, I, I pretty much always end up building both. Like turn one, I'll build one and turn two, I'll build the other, you know, or like as quickly as possible, really. Because it lets you kind of tech and whatnot. Uh, Pwn's not streaming, no. Now, what I'll do, guys, next time is I'll get some sort of a technology that allows me to get Professor Pwn's feed um, if we're playing a game. And my wife and I will try and do it when we stream tonight as well, because we're going to be doing some PvP games later tonight. And um, and then you guys could like see the perspective. Okay, so there's a medium threat there, so we could probably take this. Let's go grab this. I didn't want to steal all of Turn's viewers, so... Yeah, that's true. I would be doomed. <laughs> Okay, so that's still building right now. This is a medium threat, but my, I know my starting army isn't that good. The like the hand cannoneers are they do a lot of damage, but they uh, they have to reload, so it's like it's pretty scary. Um, so this will be done next turn, the mercenary quarters, and that'll be good. So I'm just gonna keep grabbing goodies for now. Yep, looks good. But yeah, I will I will get technology that allows for a split perspective because when I was uh, casting with the Age of Empires like Pro League with EGC TV, they had something that could get my screen perspective. So I'm gonna find out what that is. No, there's no there's not ranked PvP. This is yeah, definitely just play with your friends and I'm sure there'll be a competitive scene developing, you know, like a small group of people. Like Heroes of Might Magic 3 has really competitive, you know, play, so. Yeah, so you can see what these units are. Like, I'm starting to learn what the different units are. The undead guys here should be pretty easy. Scouting provided by Stone Pit. Oh, my Stone Pit is scouting. Okay, nice. That's pretty funny. And though not team view, there's like something that's much easier that integrates with OBS where I can basically um, just just click it and it'll it'll do the trick. The one thing that'd be cool is if I could see his battles. Like, I wonder if I'm playing with Anna, for example, and like I can I can see. Like, if we're on a team, if I can see what she's doing. Yeah, that would be pretty neat for sure. I think if you're on a team, you should be able to see everything that they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Like, I wonder if I could actually, like, jump into your battles as well. Oh, okay, here's here's text box. Guys, it's already more advanced than Total War Warhammer. We have a chat feature. See? Look at this. Hello. Look, and it didn't censor me either. Guys, they've done it. 2022, we got chat in the game. <laughs> Y'all laughed at me. I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. Yeah, so we got a couple ideas. Over here is looking pretty good, although there's some upgraded knights here. These guys are the tier one footmen, and they have these guys wreck my army super hard because they have 50% range resistance. A gold mine looks pretty sweet too. Here's an upgraded, uh, an upgraded banjo player. Yeah, here's the tier one. My best unit is called the Fey Queen. You have a Fey Queen? Oh, that's the tier one. I like, I don't have one. No, that's the, that's my Giga Chad unit. Oh, okay. Upgraded. Got it. You bet. You don't want to see the Fey Queen. I don't. I'm I'm afraid of it, dude. Uh, let's go ahead and build the sawmill, and then uh, I want to recruit some units. Let's get some more hand cannoneers. I do need to get a Dreeth sand. These guys are really good. The hyenas. They are uh, and they're really really strong. Um, 
Let's go fight over here now. I should be able to win this with my Sigmarite hand cannoneers. Although, honestly, I feel like this is a little bit scary. Like, my army is weird because they have to reload. I know, guys, there's chat. Raise it up. Like, I kind of feel like this is a hard fight. Although there's not very many of them. Okay. Okay. Um, so I want to wait for them to come into range. So we're just going to pass. And I have Quicken, which gives me troop movement. Like, the magic I noticed for these guys isn't as good as the lizard people. Okay. Yeah, thankfully they're pretty slow. Oh, the sound of just powder is so great. But now I have to reload for a whole turn, which is kind of scary. So does he, though. And you can move back and reload also. So we're going to move back. And good. And then we're going to move back and reload. All right, time to, time to give them the Fury of Sigmar. Steel Faith and Gunpowder. That's <laughs> so rad, dude. Okay, so let's go ahead and just uh, lower this guy's damage. Because he's going to catch me eventually here. I, I can't. We'll give some defense. I'm going to lose one guy. So he comes in and gets pistol whipped there. There you go. Yeah, Pwn is on the other team right now. Yeah, hey. I am actually trying to kill Turin. He's coming for me, dude. <laughs> he is. Sorry, I just had a fight there, so... Pwn's probably stream sniping to see what I'm doing. I'm not. <laughs> just staring at the chat. Alright, you're up, brother. Good luck. Muskets are just kind of fire magic made. Yeah, user friendly for peasants. Yeah, yeah. It's a great way of looking at it. I need to update this, because if I don't upgrade this building, I can't get the upgraded pikemen. I, I should have done it that turn, actually. I could have done it, probably. Hmm. Yeah, this faction is all about, like, there's a couple ways to play it. I'll show you guys the units when I get the chance, but you can go powder-based, or you can go with, o like, ogres. There's also a tinker unit at tier 2, which is awesome. Get out of my swamp. Yeah, the tinker is rad. Yeah, opponent, uh, I'm playing against someone right now. Yeah, so if you guys are just joining, we played uh, we played uh, just versus the AI to show you guys the basics of the game, but this one is versus a player, so it's uh, it's going to be a duel of fates. And Anna, the wife and I are going to play tonight as well. The pressure is on. We're going to have another stream. <laughs> he doesn't need to stream snipe since you're narrating all your moves. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> it's like last night when we were... Uh playing D Dawn of War, you'd be like, all right, let's gather up. I guess they know we're coming now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were playing some 2v2 Dawn of War last night, yeah, and we're, it was me and uh, me and Pwn and Indy and uh, Gojira playing, and yeah, we basically just narrate all our moves, which was really funny. No, the creeps yeah. are not player controlled. They're controlled by AI. Yeah. Ooh, I don't want to... Do I risk the fight? Dude, next time we play, though, guys, it's going to be just a huge, huge... Rat battle. I'm gonna play the Lord of Rats and just <laughs> only spam rats. You're a monster. It's gonna be great, dude. He gets a bonus to the plague rats. All right, let's grab this. So this farmhouse gives us gold per turn. We're gonna get a Dreeth Den. This gives us the hyenas, which are one of my favorite units. They're super good. And then, yeah. what, what do we need to? No melody. This? I'm not controlling the creeps. Um, so this is a deadly fight. I can't win that one. There's some ancient amber up there. I guess we just go through this way. We can only have one champion based on the current setting, so. Yeah, I can't get the pikeman yet because I don't have enough wood for the upgrade. To upgrade uh, this one, yeah. I need a little bit more wood, and that's what she said. All right, so let's move over here. Can I actually take these skeletons? If I get like right next to it, medium. Okay, Oathbound, Risen, and Rats. Oh, that's kind of hard. Maybe I should wait for the Hyenas before I do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna play it safe, guys. Cause the with, Hyenas, bro? The Hyenas are so good. When you uh, when you attack the Hyenas, they always strike first. So they, they'll like nibble at you. It's great. Uh, original well, just sounds OP. Original Sim says you guys have many issues with the dreaded bug in Dawn of War 2. Yeah, we had we had a sound bug yes like once yesterday, I think, right? Uh 
I think we did. I don't. Last night, I I don't know if we did. Yeah, maybe maybe it wasn't too bad. Uh, there. No, I don't know if we did last. Night. We played a couple of games uh before we met up with Indy and Goji, so maybe we might have had one during that. I don't know if I can take these crossbows up here. Let's go see if we can. We do run into it every so often. So militia and minstrels, hmm, medium threat level. Oh man, it's stressful. Uh, let's wait till next turn and be safe. I don't want to get wiped like this early. Story of my life right now. Yeah. Well, safe is better, dude. Yeah. So to recruit troops, do I go to the actual building? You can go to your. You can go to your uh, your town center, like the town. You can do it. And if you manage to get a second city pwn, you can build what's called a rally point, and you can recruit troops from any of your bases there. So, which is really nice. So you don't have to like run your hero all the way back to your main base to get a get your new new army and whatnot, right? Yeah. Then you then you're chilling. Dude, look at the captain mustache up here. Was that instant? You can also auto resolve too if you want to pwn. Like sometimes it's worth doing if it's like uh, okay. So there's a lumber camp over here. And then over here, there's like, this is some heavy treasure. That scythe is like a rare item, so it's going to be guarded by something really strong. Gold mine is super strong. You want the gold mine. Give me the combats. Yeah, what are you fighting right now? A band of, <laughs> air, uh, I guess, my troops. <laughs> You're fighting, I, yeah. Well, I don't want to butcher. You're fighting your own guys, yeah. Yeah, the spawns are kind of random. Like these are Arlian troops. These are Barony of Loth troops. Like it's it, it's just kind of like random mishmash of units. It, but it's not like Hom where in Hom you have like like it'll be like some imps and you just are only fighting imps, right? That's like the whole thing. Hey, thank you for the donation, by the way, Sir Solaric Solomon Melody. Really appreciate that. All right, looks good. Can you have several cities in this game? Yeah, you can. So you have like your major settlement, which is your starting base, which is large, and then there's medium and small settlements. So the large one can go to tier five and get a bunch of building slots and, you know, the other ones kind of do something similar. Hey, Benedicts, we are playing Songs of Conquest, very similar to Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Um, it's, I'd have to gather my thoughts more, size. Yeah, I, I'm having a lot of fun with it, though, for sure. It almost just feels like a new Hom game, yeah, which is great. Which is definitely great. Okay, so next we go here. There's a large camp. What is this up here? Like a giant sword or something? I think I need to get that lumber camp. Oh, see, right here is a small settlement, guys. So if I can get this, I can get a second base, essentially, which is going to be very, very strong. So got to do that. This faction is like shooting a defensive. Uh, we're knee deep in PvP ter territory. Yeah, Misha's, Misha's giving you guys the, uh, the breakdown there. Pwns in the dead I, south, I think. I think we just start in like the north and south. Beastmen's just whopping people. Your beastmen. Do you have the Do you have the giant like horned one, guys? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta that's get that. Like, that's what I started with. I gotta get that. Yeah. So some some heroes start with the final tier units. You can start with like a couple of them. It's just like a smaller oh, well, army. I'm not those. <laughs> this is just like their the horned one. The horned ones, like, right? Yeah. 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 The horned ones. Yeah. We fought those in the last last uh, stream right there. Simultaneous turns would be nice, and I bet you there will eventually be a mod or something that allows you to do it. Like, HOM3 figured it out, so... I, well, not the developers, obviously, but the uh, the mod community figured out a way to do that. I like the Rock Crane sprite animation, dropping a boulder into the Crusher thingy. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's rad, man. And you can upgrade all these buildings to produce, like, two of the said resource. Hey, oh. <laughs> Don't you like the screen where it gives you, like, the... I do. Yeah. It's very satisfying. Yeah, it's very satisfying. Uh, Raka, honestly, you'd learn the game pretty quick, dude. I played for maybe, like, two or three hours, and I felt like I had a pretty good mastery over the basics. Like, one or two playthroughs, and it's really, really not too too tricky. So right now it's Pwn's turn. He's, he's obviously in a pretty heated fight, I would imagine. Just ended. Nice, dude. So uh, we will now need to lick our wounds. Yeah, you take a little bit of a beating. So I can upgrade. I did. Ooh, I can upgrade my Dreeth then, guys. I can get the, the upgraded Houndos. Do this. Let's get some more hyenas, some more handgunners. Uh, let's go fight these guys. Hmm. So Sigmarite handgunners, manual battle. Yeah, perfect. All right, we should be able to win this, I think. Being very careful. I don't want to get my army wiped. 
It happened to me the first time I played. I got when I was learning what everything did. I got wiped quite a bit. I Misha, I'm not. I'm not like a dark scourge. I'm more of a the fairy king. <laughs> he is the fairy king, dude. Hmm. Okay, so let's move a little bit closer so I can pop these guys. And these guys are coming here. Yeah, those crossbows are gonna do a bunch of work. Later on. She home? Yeah, yeah, she's working though, unfortunately. Oh, oh, she worked from home. Yeah. Sorry. I was like, she like literally just told me she didn't work. Okay. Here comes the team. Time to unleash the Sigmarite powder. Man, I wish I could reach the ones with 12 models back there. I could move the game and- game is not- Go ahead. Sorry. No, I was just telling some of your chat, the game is not complex. Yeah, it's pretty, not. Pretty basic. Like, like, this is basically your first time playing, right? Yes. I mean, I've, I've had years of HOM experience, but- Yeah, yeah. I would say this is slightly easier than HOM. Even. Yeah, for sure. It has like a lot of the, you know, elements of like a modern game that make it okay so this guy's it's just, reloading it's just so we move up here can he reach there he can so we'll move like this mm, the hyenas can get in there we have fury we can give defense this fight doesn't feel great for the hyenas i might lose them so we'll just chill back for now okay reloading and now let's blast this guy Let's Shadow Realm. Now we need to go attack. I'm gonna lose a couple hyenas here, but it's better than losing my hand cannoners. See how they retaliate first? Really nice. Alright, not bad. You do get bonuses from the high ground, yeah, you do. You get like a defensive bonus. I'll show you, uh I'll show you next time. Obi Wan, me, bro. Dude, you're gonna have the high ground. I know it. <laughs> I was born on the high ground. Ooh, wielder gains plus one movement. That's actually pretty good. Or archery, which I start with. I, uh, I like the music in this game. Yeah, it's good. Oh, I don't have enough money for it. Oh. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, hold on. Four. No, I do. Oh. I just had to click on him. Oh man, just got a bunch of hyenas, bro. You're in trouble now. Uh, that's not good. The hyenas are coming for you. I, I got some militia. How does that make you feel? Militia are really good against me because they have 50% range resist. So, oh, my settlement maxes out at tier three here. Oh, shit. Maybe I have to find a bigger city. Oh, so we might not be able to get like the super massive. I mean, you're going to be able to get one end tier oh. building. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, bro, you're already tier three. No, 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 I'm tier. I'm tier potato. Hmm, which way do we go? Let's move this way and scout. Don't own me, bro. You're good. A worthy opponent. What is this? Ooh, no, we're not going to fight that. That's bad. Oh, my turn. Now you're in trouble. I am, I am in danger, dude. This was the last thing you wanted to have him. So, militia and minstrels. Okay, so... Oh, I cannot... Wait. No... Oh, no. Troop slots available. Okay, that makes sense. So how do you get how do you get more troop slots? So um, just, uh, yeah, there's when you level up, there's an ability called command, and if you get that, it gives you an additional army slot. Yeah. So guys, we're playing on a map that has a different starting base size. Interesting. It, it must be meant for quicker games because the the other map that we did, like the bases could go to tier five. This one can only go to tier three. Um, there must be, but all you need to do is get tier three to get your end tier unit. So. You just don't get as many upgrades and things like that. Yeah. Oh god, the dreaded lawnmower man's outside. <laughs> he just like waits for me to stream and he's like, yes, it is time. You fool. <laughs> Assemble the lawnmower. <laughs> you have fallen into my lawnmower trap. I guess we go to the other side, guys. I don't know if we can break through these footmen. Like, footmen have 50% range resist, so my hand cannons do like nothing to them. Oh god, it's the rats! Dude, you're gonna get ratted, bro. Try. The rats are coming. Squeak. <laughs> are you facing Queekhead Taker over there? He might be. The the character who specializes in rats for the undead is so awesome. He's just like he's just he actually looks like a rat, but he's a human. It's it's just it's the best. <laughs> did did you ever play? Hmm. Uh... Yeah, we want this. We want this, guys. Uh, I, I guess a stronghold. 
You ever play the Stronghold game? Um, let's see. I don't think I did. I think that was one of those kind of games that I, I never got around to playing. So there was a uh, there was like this Lord guy who. Uh, so like the AI all had like little cinematic interactions like yeah, yeah. as you play. Okay. And you know they're all named like the lion, the wolf, the rat. You know like the lions like this the Chad King guy. Of course. And then uh, <laughs> the, they're the like the the and they were kind of like different difficulties. Like the AI specialized in different stuff, but uh, the the rat guy was like this hag <laughs> haggard dude. And, you know, he's always, like, all scared. Like, ah, ah. <laughs> and his, like, helmet would always fall down. That's pretty funny, dude. No, I never played it. I never did. That, that's, that was, like, an early 2000s game, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, some people in chat remember. It was interesting. And, like, I, in terms of AI, that was really cool how they had, like, the little center. Like, they'd pop up in, the, like, the right corner of your screen as you're, like, playing. Like, you know, like, oh, I'm going to come kill you. <laughs> you know, and then insult you or... They make oh god, don't attack me. It's kind of like in the Dune game how like the uh how the characters will randomly send you messages and talk smack. But yeah, I mean obviously back then it was probably a little bit more fun with those those kind of vintage games. I, I mean it was like literal uh like a little cinematic of them just up in the right corner. Cause like it did you didn't have to stop your player or nothing. They'd yeah. just be up in the corner like talking to you. Did it have good multiplayer that game? In your experience? <laughs> Hell I, I don't but this this was before the time of me having internet access yeah, to uh, yeah. play with other people. Did you ever have dial-up internet, dude? Where like, remember, yeah. remember how like if somebody if somebody called your house, remember how it was like if they answered the phone, it like interrupted the internet. Yeah, that that was <laughs> why my my parents didn't want me to uh, to get it to like have online because well even after we so we got uh, oh my god I'm getting all these cool bonuses Let's just keep getting dude phones just like terminating and I'm just like trapped in my starting area. <laughs> oh like, dude, I I'm like just breaking out like I. There's no way that your army's not bigger than mine. I haven't no lost much, but I'm being very conservative with my movements, like very cautious. I want the second town, but these toxicologists tier guys, they hit like trucks. Like they would flatten my army. Like if you built a tier one unit building, I did not. I, I waited till tier two. <laughs> yeah, I built two two unit buildings just to get yeah, the, so I, the, the wheels got rolling. just the troops flowing right now. Yeah. Can I take this guy? It says worthy, which means actually like it's really difficult. I only have nine. Well, that's I think that was Stronghold Crusader, right, guys? That I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's saying, yeah, it's, it seems like you got it right. Okay, let's just take these easy guys real quick. Okay, let's fight this. And then we can grab that amber, get a little bit of experience. What type of game is this? It's a strategy game, turn based with uh, he hex uh, yeah. strategy. Sigmar! Handgunners! Dude, I hope I can get my endgame unit. The cannons, dude, they're so sweet. Yeah, they're awesome. Ah, man. Okay, let's get in position to, like, strike here with the hyenas. Hmm. The problem is they're gonna... Let's see, so if I'm right here, they're gonna have to move and take a damage penalty to hit me. Build up in a game that did base castle building in a more fun way than Stronghold. Yeah, you could, like... So, you like, you would build your, like, castle, and you could, like... You know the AI would be like trying to march in, and you'd have like moats, and you could build like the uh, like the oil pits and stuff on top of your castle walls and stuff. So like, cause you would place them, and you could like place like your fire arrow spots and stuff. So like, as you're as they're coming in, you like use your units to pour the oil and stuff on them. That this sounds is really. It's pretty advanced for an early game. Sounds really fun, dude. Especially considering what we get now. Yeah, we get a lot of potato games. Did you ever play Shogun, by the way? I did. I, I have uh, I have the f fall of the samurai. Dude, you remember how uh, good it was with the, the like when the assassins or ninjas would go and like try and try and like attack and things like that. Like how fun it was, man. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Okay, so we're the hyenas feasting like the heathen kings here. Is Where? there more than human faction to play though? Yes, mine's like half human, half beastman. There's undead and there is uh. The swamp people. Yeah. Or they're technically like the fortress if you know um. Yep. They're awesome too. They got like dragons and stuff. Oh, there's like another secret passage up here that I can actually find some treasure. Sweet. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. Oh yeah, I just got a ton of treasure. I just got an item, let's see what it is. Uh I got some pole arm for offense, the boar hunting stick. 
The boar. The boar. The Strelbora are coming. Ah, oh, this gold mine's guarded by elite tier one units from uh these these are the units from Professor Pone's faction actually, and they they'll just like dunk on me if I'm not careful. Dude, I'm surrounded by units from my faction. <laughs> yeah, you're just living it up, huh? Okay, I don't know if it's worth upgrading any of those at the moment, but we just found a bunch of goodies over here, guys. Yeah, did that guy just get smacked by the buttock of the weapon? Yes, he did. Yeah, because if you're in melee shooting units, they'll whack you with their weapon instead. Yeah. Dude, the Shogun animations were great. Like, I remember just sitting there as, like, when I was, like, I don't know. What year would that have been? I think I was in high school. And when you would sound like a ninja and you're, like, the animation, you're, like, oh, God, oh, God, please don't get caught. And then you would, like, get caught by, like, the, the Shogun and you're, like, no. No. <laughs> it was so fun, dude. It was so fun. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great game. Can I beat this man? It says challenging, so... Challenging's hard, dude. I'm yeah, telling I'm you, I lose those most of the time. <laughs> so be careful there, dude. Be careful. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm wimping out. I only ever take medium. Like, I find that worthy. I often lose as well. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm like, let's just go medium and below. Sometimes I'll do worthy if, if the army comps are good. But, you know, I don't know enough about units yet, so... Okay, so at lumber camp. Uh, we got some stone here. Some celestial ore in a village. Mm. I don't know. I've, I know I can beat this. I think it's just a matter of how many losses do I take. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I hate sitting here for too long. I've taken some. I else. feel like you're getting so far ahead. I'm not. I'm not far ahead, dude. Don't worry. I've, He's ahead. I've literally just been trying to escape, and I found. Yar! I found an, an avenue to escape. That's it. Uh, so is this game you're playing Songs of Conquest? Yeah, it's the game. Mm -hmm. Uh, do riflemen have to reload to do a melee attack? So no. If somebody attacks my rifleman while they're reloading, they'll they'll still retaliate with a melee attack. Yeah. Dude, imagine Warhammer 3 with agent animations. Dude. That, that would take a shit ton of work from them, but imagine how cool it would be a Skaven one. Where you have like a Skaven going into like a Dwarven Keep or something. Or, yeah. Oh. Shogun had pretty good multiplayer battles. Although Warhammer 2, I think for me, takes the cake for multiplayer battles at its peak. But, um, you know, Warhammer 2 obviously has issues Yo, with my, attacking rules. My haggard-ass human can't, cl can't climb this raised stuff? Yeah, I, there, you have to, like, if it's a really high raised ground, you have to go to the ascending step. You can't just, like, teleport to the top. Well, like, my, my beastman dude just, like, ran up this like it was no problem. So I oh. guess he must have an ability. Like, but this dude's just, this human guy's just like, oh, that's pretty high up there. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. You're just getting getting trolled over there. That, that could end up being bad for me. We'll stay tuned. There's, this is actually a cool map, though. I like this one. It's, it's definitely a little bit more like into the action quickly. Anna, um, Anna actually likes the faction you're playing. That's her favorite as well. She likes the, the Beastmen. Okay. So, the beast. next we go for the fairies here, and then we take the village, I think is the plan. <clears throat> Get that, bruh. What's going on, dude? You, Smash you, him! You cheating over there? Dude, this beat, just watch, there's something so satisfying about watching my beastman dude just like, bring his club down on these guys. And they can get critical strikes in this game too. Like there's a chance, I don't know what it is, but like, I, sometimes you'll see like the numbers in bold and they, they get like bonus damage. Yeah, which is pretty crazy. Uh, these militia hit decently hard, but they're they're re that they reload after every shot. Yeah, it's the same as my hand cannoneers. Like that's my whole army is the can hand I, cannons. It's scary. Can I move and shoot? So you can move and shoot, but you take a. 50 I, I'm sorry, m move and reload. Yes, you can. That's what okay. you always want to do. When you're reloading, you just like run away, and they'll like keep doing it. Just had to make sure. <laughs> so maroon, there are a total of nine factions, or excuse me, four factions, each of which have nine heroes. And the heroes you pick vastly change the way you play. Like, vastly. It is a it is a whole different game. Yeah, it's a whole different game. Because, like, each faction has two subsets of characters within it. You can mix them, but it'll have, like, humans and gnomes or uh, or, be or fairies and, and wild creatures mixed with Bretonians, sort of. Uh, so, And you can get characters that only want to build a certain type, or you can mix and match combos. There's a lot of ways to sort of play for sure. Okay, this turn's gonna be like mega fast for me. Okay, I think I can. Ooh, can I actually take this? Shit, that's a scary ass army there. Mega fast. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually take this. Okay, we combine those units just to one shot things. Um, 
A few knights and a few horned ones. I need to take this. It says it's a medium threat, so I think I can get it, but... Okay, I can upgrade this now to get the pikemen, so we're gonna do that. All right, let's grab this. Grab this. Let's grab the small town before we die. So now I can build at the small town. I need to get the gold income building, so we'll build a shop next. Um, do I want to take this? Yeah, let's let's take a little bit of a challenging fight. Sure, why not? We'll take the high ground here in the corner. Ooh, this is stressful, guys. This is a stressful one. I don't know if we can win this. The Horned Ones are Fey Troops. Yeah, so this this is what Professor Pwn's army looks like right now. It has these guys. Okay, it's a pretty small contingent of them, at least. What's really good about the hyenas, too... It's not Gnaw. No, it's not the dreaded Gnaw Craven Tail or whatever your guy's name is. Is that is that who it is? Uh, I, I think it's like Gnaw the Fey King or something. Two to three, I could one-shot them. But these fairies are going to just rip me up if I'm not careful. The hyenas are going to go for the knights, I think, here. We'll take out the beastmen in the back. Unfortunately, we didn't get them. Hmm. Let's move into melee. Um, attack. Oh, man, those knights hurt. Oh, oh, I'm dying. Pwn. My army, my empire. I, I'm tempted to, like, watch your army die. Oh. I, I don't want to have any tactical advantage, other than what you tell me. Oh god, dude. Oh man, it's so close. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh no! Guide? <laughs> yeah, dude. I got wiped by that army, dude. My hyenas got destroyed. Okay, that, that'll give me a bit of an advantage. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, not like this. <laughs> and they took back my to loot! Sonic. Okay, my loot's back here. At least I can. So how it oh, works... Guys, is now that I'm dead, this is great because now now I get the opportunity to. I should have camped further back. I could have. Oh, you're saying your next turn is going to be pretty good. Cool. Yeah, my next couple turns because eventually your hero becomes your hero comes back for free, dude. Ugh. At least the kills oh, I got remain. Yeah, it takes a couple turns to re-recruit your hero for free. I can recruit them instantly for gold, but otherwise it takes a couple turns. Dude, I got karate chopped so hard, bro. I thought my I, just, I thought my hyenas would wait. do it. Yeah, but they didn't. Oh, I'm gonna offer myself to the Fey Forest. What's happening? Plus, uh, for a thousand gold, I gain plus three offense, plus three defense. Oh, that's pretty good. That's for sure worth. I think. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah, we'll find out. Can I go down this path? Ooh, just a cool ass accent over here. So I can re-recruit my hero guys instantly, but it costs a lot of money. But if I wait like two turns, it's free. So that's usually what you want to do. Yeah, the stack should have been separated for sure, guys. It was, it was, it was, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. But, you know, hey, we're learning. Um, so the town here. Oh, these, these guys here, guys, the, the, the tinkers, these are the coolest unit in my faction at tier two. They're so rad. They have a flamethrower and they also can lay landmines. Yeah, he can, he can lay landmines. This is the man. That sounds OP. Dude, you know it's OP, the fact that I don't have an army. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get this for some golds. And uh, okay. uh, does it still, so when you die, does it show the AI hitting you with the KO screen? No, no, it's, wait, it might have actually, <laughs> it might have shamed me. I could even okay. just, I could even just get a new hero, just be like, screw this old one, yeah. Uh, now, I know that you used to play League of Legends a lot when you were a bit younger. Do you remember back during the days when if you died to a jungle creep, it like announced it to the whole game and the game would literally go humiliation. No, it's, I don't remember it doing that. Didn't it just say executed? Like executed. No. No. Uh, no. It, back in the day, it would go humiliation. <laughs> and like everybody in the whole game would know that you died to a jungle creep. See, that's very much like a 2010 and 11 thing because now like games will go out. Of, I mean, unless it's like a Dark Souls game, they'll go out of their way to like make you not feel bad. <laughs> but, yeah. Now, now if you die to a jungle jungle creep in league you're like your opponent doesn't know unless they just like check the scoreboard and they're like oh he died somehow yeah yeah it's it's definitely much more friendly now they, they, they no longer shame you dude we'll be back guys don't worry the pwn could pwn couldn't get to me yet it'd be a little bit too hard because you have to like break through these like big yeah. chungus ladies there's in like middle. creeps and stuff in the way and yeah they're yeah. gonna beat me up dude. <laughs> my <laughs> army is not good it's it, but it is an army more than turn <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I, I said, <laughs> look at my hyenas in the cave, dude. I thought the hyenas would be able to hold a little longer there, but that was a mistake. I is there a mining I, thing for the other resources? Do you know? Yeah, there is. So one. every resource has a mining somewhere. Well, or can, like, can I build one at my base? Uh, no. At your base, you can only build wood and stone. Okay. Yeah. And a gold mine, evidently. Correct. Brother. Unless that's just me. Yeah. yeah no. No. You can't. <laughs> but like, I have a gold mine. You can upgrade it too. So wood. So next turn, I think we can recruit this. Yeah. See, it can be revived for three and three rounds. Honestly, I probably just wait for that since gold is super tight and. I'll just do some basic economic stuff while while I'm kind of chilling. Um, okay, we need some wood for this. Probably go tier two here and get a marketplace, I would imagine, is the play. Yeah, we don't have, like, really too many options. We do have a lot to recruit, though. Upgrade stone pit. Doesn't seem worth it. The Dreeth's end we could do, but I don't know if I really have the money for it. And now we're going to get pikemen, too, when we come back, so let's just fast. Okay. So every hero is actually a spellcaster in this game. Yes. It's based on the essence, but... Different heroes have different affinities for magic, so you can get bonuses to chaos, uh, all this sort of good stuff, but also um, you can get skills, which make you naturally, you can cast higher level versions of certain types of spells. So if you get like a bonus to creation magic as one of your level up skills, you can cast level two versions of the spells, which like have bigger radiuses, they do more damage, like all that kind of stuff, you know? So hopefully that explains it to you. Dude, these fairies are just laughing at me. They're like, yes, your treasure belongs to us. <laughs> Tee. I almost want to just get like a different character, but like I get that one back for free eventually. So it's worth it for me to just wait, I think. Uh, we need a little bit more wood to tech that up. So let's just wait a couple turns. Make shame great again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting shamed right now, bro. <laughs> so, so now it's a thousand gold to get this character back, which I think I still want to wait because the ranged offense is really good. Um, by the way, so here's here's all my troops. I'll show you guys this real quick. I have I have a halfling musician, halberdiers, oh. handgunners, hyenas, ogre ladies with maces, the tinker who becomes an artificer. I have assassins. These guys are awesome, but I'm not going to probably build, be able to build them. And then you have a, a great cannon, the Hellbreath. This thing is like, reaches the whole map and it just like thumps on people. It's it's great for sure. All right. So it is now that time. call it Thumper? Dude, if I can. Oh, thanks. They just gave me three stone. Dude, you're just getting free did you, shit. Did you get, oh, you, did, you didn't you did actually. Bro, get I didn't get free. anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was about. It was like, oh, something about the empire. Well, maybe. I wonder if that's like a faction ability or something. Maybe I'm, I'm supposed to be like part of the old empire or whatever. Yeah, I don't. Your faction is like the closest to the good guys. My guys are like, like a, neutral. Yeah. You're like, yo, bro, here's that three free stone you wanted. <laughs> Dude, I'm just getting owned so hard over here. Uh, I'm starting to see why you think the marketplace is a good investment. Yeah, I'm gonna get one in my next settlement. Um, I, think I, I need to ditch this farm. Oh, David, the game's great. This, oh, the marketplace, though, has to be built in a middle uh, middle size building slot. Medium? Yeah, so you can't... The shop is a whole different thing, and the farms, too. I, I don't know if this plus 150 gold is worth... It is, trust me. Not have, Is it over yeah. having just, like, me getting more militia troops? Depends on how you want to build your army, but gold is really tight, so, like... I see that. Like, yeah. I'm like, ooh, I want to build these units, but man. Well, this map is... Act if we had played the map I, I showcased earlier in my first game... You would have noticed that it was um, there was more gold all over the map. This one is a more resource resource scarce for sure. Yeah. So. Uh, I think I build a couple of units here. Uh, yeah, David, you battle in a separate window. Yeah, I you actually just tuned in right as I died. I lost my whole army, so I'm I'm just waiting for my hero to come back. So I'll probably just buy her this turn for like 500 gold, and then I'm gonna buy some troops. And um, are there Dowie in this game? You know, the yeah. The some of my troops basically are dwarves. They they're kind of they're not like halflings, but they look dwarvish, but they don't have beards. Halfling, find the halfling. Dude, I, I I am the lord of halflings. Yeah. You, do do you just have a minstrel army? No, I actually didn't go for them. I'm playing hand cannoneers, pikemen, and uh, tinkers. That's gonna be my army comp. Which oh is, my god, I might be in trouble. Yes, suffer the suffer. <laughs> I might be joining you here on death. <laughs> oh my god. It was like, you know, the picture's just like this pet like my tier two like melee dude, and all yeah. of a sudden there's just this fat fairy army with them too, and it just <clears throat> what ran up and one shot my beastman guy. Dude, get Yeah, dude, the fairies are strong as hell, bro. I had like five of them literally goon like my hyenas. It killed like ten of them. I was like, oh Jesus. God. 
Okay. I'm di there's no way I win this. Tone's dying too. All right, good. Now it's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I I had to join you in the suffering, bro. Yeah, you'll have a couple fast turns where you just like build a building and auto pass. That's that's basically what's going on here. Yeah. Oh, I should have shot that one. <laughs> uh, we just... I, I might have actually stood somewhat of a chance if I yeah. was targeted that better. Well, I could have uh... won my fight too, but I just played shitty because I thought it was going to be easy. It's just like, yeah. K O. <laughs> Is your army dead? Oh yeah, they're dead. Look. Time I'm, to save money, I guess. I'm I'm typing you a message, bro. Check it out when you're ready. Uh, you better have answered my. Oh man, he stole all my <laughs> items. <laughs> no, the items will drop on the ground next to the camp, and you can go get them back. Oh good. Yeah. Did you pass turn? Not yet. Okay. Uh, it, my screen changed. So I thought I thought you did for a second. I think it was like, oh yeah, there's not. I think there's day and night in this game too, and it like actually matters for some units. Day and night. Where, yeah. Where? That was that's an old school song. Okay, so it's only 500 to recruit my hero now. Wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get the 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 pikemen here, and then we'll move a little bit for the hand cannoneers, and then we'll get some movement, and then next turn we'll just grab the rest of them. Okay. Yeah, I can't get to the goose. Pwn's just going to be passing turn like instantly because he just lost his nope. army too, I think. I'm, I'm going to stall. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was typing. Okay, so now we got some pikemen and we should be able to defeat this army. So we're going to hustle over here and get our vengeance. Do you, keep in mind, these fairies are not the cute fairies that you would think of. These things are like... Evil, yeah. Abomination fairies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh. yeah, I'm looking at some right now on my screen. <laughs> so your hero will become free after a couple turns. Yeah, so... Uh, okay, so another question now. Yeah. I have the resources to, to go to tier 3. Could be worth. You'll get two more building slots, so like you could it start building some... It doesn't let me. Uh, you're missing something then. It... Looking here, I'm not missing anything. When you pass back to my turn, I'll be able to tell you because I can't. I can't check right now. So here, let me look. Do you have? Do you have? Um, Pwn got three stone. Turn got three. Do you have gold? Ah. You probably don't have enough gold. I had the gold. I was at two thousand seven hundred. It cost two thousand five hundred. Oh, it's because you're probably building something in one of your other slots. Nope. No. Interesting. No. 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 I wonder. I wonder if you have to. Up do I have to like maybe upgrade all my building tiers or something? No, no, no. I'll see if I run into the same problem. All right, guys. It is time. I'm seeking vengeance. I'm probably going to die again, but I do have the pikemen now. The pike. Are we just we just got to get slaughtered by this AI. Like this <laughs> we just wall. can't escape, dude. <laughs> just sending wave after wave. No after escape. Two. Drums, drums in the deep. Oh man, these friggin' fairies are just the Terminators, dude. Uh, so I'm gonna pull back a spot and then blast these guys. There you go. Then the knights won't be able to reach if I move here. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so we're reloading. Please, for the love of God, knights don't attack me. Let's go ahead and put the uh, debuff on them. And pikemen can attack from two spots. They have like two range. So I'm gonna move here. And uh, hmm. if I attack, I kill one, most likely. God, those knights are mean, dude. Oh, God, dude. Another L? No, no, no. I'm not losing to those guys again. <laughs> the beardless dwarves, that's a grudge. Oh, man. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, give me the, all the resources. Oh. Okay, Pwn. Let's see. I don't have enough gold to actually even upgrade, so let's just upgrade this settlement. Okay, so now we got some more building slots here, which is nice. I think we got to go to tier three? No, I, I have a second city. Oh. So I... Oh, Mr. Macho Man. Over dude, I definitely Macho. These are the guys I want. Tinkers. They are the shit. Hmm, but I also need a bazaar to... Although I don't have any gold on this map, so maybe I just get the tinkers. Yeah, I have the sound bug. We have to restart. <laughs> <laughs> you want to restart? No. That would be funny, dude. Okay, so we got a shop here. Rally point's really nice because I can recruit units from the rest of my empire. So maybe I just do this. But it does take it's a lot of my... Good. Your, 
you're going on doing bigger, better things, and I'm just over here in the pit. Bro, that was me for like four turns. <laughs> I was yeah, just but dying. You have, you have two towns. I do. I found a small settlement, which is nice. So now I can recruit from here too without having to go back. Oh, well, looks like I can click this button. Once this finishes, guys, I can recruit my hyenas and hand cannoneers from the main base. Yes. Large settlement. Yeah, you text now, right? Maybe the I don't know why you wouldn't have been allowed to. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Okay, so Chris, you say pikemen attack from two spots away and then proceeds to move right next to him. So the reason why I moved close to them, Chris, is because if I didn't get within the hitbox of that knight, uh, the knight would have moved past me and attacked my hand cannoneer and one shot of them. So I would have lost all my guns. So I was more willing to sacrifice my guy's spears instead of letting them... Because the pikemen can attack from two tiles away, so your opponent doesn't retaliate, yes. But more importantly, uh, I wanted to protect my other units. Oh, man, I just like I'm losing resources. I'm getting like events where it's just like, hey, buddy, how about we, we take this away from you here? Oh, hell yeah. that you're winning. It knows. Dude, it, it gave me the plague earlier. Um, okay, so I can't afford both of these. I feel like the hyenas are just better. Let's get the hyenas. Yeah, okay. So now can I take these guys? It's challenging. Oh, God. The bandits are probably going to kick my ass, too. Okay, let's just creep over here and see what I can grab. Can I get over here? Okay. So I want to get the workshop here. It's going to take a little bit of gold. No teching up here. We're just too tight on money. All right, Pwn Dog, it's your turn. Yeah, the Swamp Faction's really strong, but so is this faction. I just made some big mistakes. The, uh, honestly, I think this faction's late game is insane. Like, all the hand cannoneers. But I'm also only playing, like, the human units. Uh, <laughs> wrecked him, damn near killed him. As I'll show you guys the uh, the different unit variety. Yeah, You can go, like, ogres and mercenaries with this faction, but I like to play tinkers with landmines. So you lay down landmines, and then you have your guns behind the landmines. It's really strong. But the reason why the Swamp also seems stronger based on what you guys saw before is because that map I started with more resources. This one is a little bit more uh, tight in that regard. So we got some... Toy, like a toyger. Yeah. Okay, game save. Nice. Okay, let's go grab this. Give me the gold. Yeah, gold please. Can I grab these? Oh, those are actually like up on a high ground. Yeah, those guys are challenging, so they would just destroy me. Uh, I think I visited this. Gloves of the Hunt. Uh, gold, please. Now, let's go ahead and build the workshop here. Get the Tinkers flowing. Tinkers are really good. Doing some tinking? Yeah, I got a Tinker. Tinker unit coming. I'm just, like, scrounging whatever treasure I can in the middle. But we have, like, some really powerful-ass units separating us. So Professor Pwn is, like, down here. And I would have to get through these like big chunguses to get to him. So it would I'm just- I'm to your north. Yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, I just like looked at the map and I'm like, no. Okay, let's upgrade this to get our gold income a little bit better. Uh, we can upgrade our wood and looking good. Okay. And we said it, so there's only one hero right now. Uh, do you know if the items in the map are random? I think they're random every game. I've noticed that they're different in between games, yeah. So, okay, there's like this pathway in the middle, and there's also portals, which I think would teleport, yeah, me over here. Pwn's, ter Pwn's territory is right down here. So there's like a middle buffer zone between us, and then there's like his his action there. <clears throat> Naw has arrived once Your hero's more. back, dude? The sound from the deep. Troubadours and sappers. Oh, shit, that is a 99 sapper units. Yeah, that army would absolutely destroy me. Hmm. Tribute to order. There's some gold over here. So we'll do this. We'll go back and recruit and then we'll try and like <clears throat> Like fight one of these camps here. What the hell are Queen's Guard? Are those one of your units, bro? Uh, let me take a look. I think they are. Yeah. Queen's Guard. Uh, is that gonna be... It's probably an upgraded version of one of your units. Yeah, that's what I'm... Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like it. No, no? Okay. Not, not high. Per... Maybe it's an, yeah. your upgraded guardsmen, or those, those. What are those called? Footmen. They're called uh, Shield of Order. Because I'm looking at Arlian troops, and there's a few Queen's Guard units. Oh, Queen's Guard are your upgraded fairies, I think. Is the multiplayer purely no, PvP? They're called, they're called the Fey Rager. Oh, okay, got it. 
Um, Doom Drum, yeah. So Pwn and I could play versus AI, 100%. Yeah, you can you can co-op. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, so this is guarded, and I'd have to go through these these troops here, which would probably give me the dirty. I'd like to break through these guys, so then I have a good path between my bases. So I think that's going to be the play. So we're going to head back and recruit now. And uh, the workshop should be done soon. We need Glimmer Weave. Unfortunately, I don't have a marketplace, so I can't buy it. But gold is so tight that I feel like the marketplace isn't very good here. <clears throat> so we're just going to have unupgraded handgunners. Good. For now. I'm glad I also don't have a marketplace. Yeah, I wanted to get one, but like I'm just so tight on money, dude. I just can't can't afford it. The gold mine here too, guys. We need that. It's a hell here. Yeah, we're we're in hell right now, dude. We're in purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> just getting wrecked so bad, dude. Maybe maybe try and fight something else this time. So creep armies do grow over time. Yeah, they get stronger like every so often. Which is like really rough if you get set behind early because then they're just like getting stronger and you're like Ugh. But yeah, you can eventually always beat them. So um oh, Okay, hopefully I can win this one. Pone's doing it. Um I think I have some friends who really like this game but they don't really like PvP. Yeah, you can totally play uh, co op. Mm-hmm. And you can also make your own maps. Like, I'm going to make a map sometime in the next few days. I'm going to sit down, get a coffee, and just make, like, a fun PvP map. And how it's going to work is I'm going to have four islands. I'll have one in each corner. And then there's going to be, like, water separating us. And then there's going to be a ramp to the middle. So what players can do is, like, have a Thunderdome in the middle. Like, you creep your starting area, and then it's just, like, straight-up Thunderdome fighting in the middle. Which is going to be really fun. So I'm going to make that. The, the editor is really great. And I'm thinking about laying... Before I finish the stream today, I'll make sure to show you guys. Yeah, it's going to be super fun. We could do a Thunderdome. We'll get we'll get my wife, we'll get uh, Pwn here, myself, and uh, maybe we'll be able to finally lure Sparty in. That would be pretty fun for sure. Yeah, this is, a, this is actually a really hard map. This map is way more difficult than the other one. A platoon of Barrio troops. Yeah, there's a gate. Dude, this this would be nice to get up here, man. There's all kinds of loot. And riding boots are great, too. They make you run faster. We'll make the Thunderdome, baby. Oh, I, you know, I like the little quick menu here on the side of your screen that shows you, like, what all you can afford. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice, dude. Yeah, yeah, editor. Yeah, you can make your own maps. Like, it's super, super uh, detailed, too. It's fun. How are you finding the game? I think it's worth a buy, yeah. I, I love Hom 3-style games, though. And this is like, this is right in that vein. And, you know, I can see myself playing this. Like, here's the thing, guys. If you like, like, campaigns and these type of games, it's definitely going to be great. I personally only care about multiplayer, but I do enjoy the multiplayer experience. <clears throat> yeah, no, I know he's live right now, Jonathan. I asked Sparty if he wanted to do PvP, and he didn't, he didn't want to do it today. He just wanted to play against AI, so. Unfortunately, uh, he was not interested today. Okay. I have gained some momentum. You have? Hmm. Yeah, on the map you can see unclaimed buildings are, yeah, they're in they're, they're in the beige color, right? So I need to... That gold mine is going to be sweet, if I can get that. But there's upgraded shieldmen there, and they have missile resist, like, super hard, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. What the hell does the mechanical bird do? There needs to be like a wiki page that tells me everything. Dude, this camp is just so good. Look how much loot is back here. If I can get to oh this. My gosh. Oh. I got I got like a bloodlust ability. What are Queen's Guard? Oh yeah, yeah. Berserk. Uh what are the let's see if there's something about the the Yeah, there's not like a wiki page that has all the units yet. I was like trying to look up what the Queen's Guard are. But there's there's no page yet for them, yeah. Honestly, Daniel, like, this game feels pretty, uh, like, it doesn't feel incomplete at all. Like, it has pretty much every feature I expected in it, and I haven't encountered a single crash yet, or, like, bug, or anything like that, so I'm I'm honestly pretty happy with it. I have more losses, but I, I beat the foul beams. <laughs> did you be, did you get revenge for the for the guys that took no, you down? No, not that. Not that. I I wasn't <laughs> ready to fight the, the dreaded fairies yet. Dude, the fairies are mean, dude. They they like get to you so quick. You can't like They're hide here too. Yeah. Art so artificers, veteran musketeers, and scarred brutes in that platoon there. Then I can get the mechanical bird. Yeah, there's not much out there yet. Turn. Uh, there'll a hot dog stream and he'll he'll be there. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
The hot dog streams are always glorious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Queen's Guard's probably the upgraded knight unit. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what it is, Katron. Good call, brother. Good call. Good awareness. Like my, like my knights? Yeah. I'm almost certain that it wasn't the... It must be, dude. And then 50 of the shield order guys. Oh, God. it could. It's 26 to 50. And if it's, if it's like 50, I'm just like dead, okay. you know? I, I, found, I found another settlement. Did you have to fight anything? Yeah, there was a camp in front of it. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. I, I think I just beat that game. Oh, and look I, at this. I wasn't sure if, like, if I moved into it, I would have to fight something. I, was like, I don't know. No, I'm no, no. Gonna... Not an actual city. Like, it's just a camp outside sometimes. Yeah. Turn, you can, can you recruit AI armies into your own? Uh. Oh, like, you're talking about with diplomacy? diplomacy? Hang on. Where you recruit the, uh, the neutral guys? Tier 3 here. I could go Tier 3, but there doesn't really feel to be much of a point. I kind of want to get an army. So that's dangerous, which means I'm almost strong enough to take that. Um, so let's just recruit from the rally point to the point where I can actually clear some stuff out. Let's get the spear ladies, uh, max out on hyenas, and then get some Sigmarite handgunners. Now my army is actually pretty good. So I can probably go over here and take this next turn. And then we'll also go to tier three after that. Okay. So we're going to get the golden goose, which gives us gold per turn. Um, Jonathan says, can we get a hot dog tournament for the launch of Immortal Empires? Absolutely possible. You down for that, Pwn? <laughs> what, what is it? A hot dog tournament? Oh, God, dude. You know you want it. You just want that fat sausage with, with the with the chili cheese and... <laughs> Are you able to... You're not, still not able to eat bread, right? Like, you don't eat bread, really? Uh, I can eat bread, though. Okay, so you, you, you could eat the dog with the buns? It's a matter of would I want to eat this. <laughs> uh, would you recommend this or Dune Spice Wars? Honestly, they're both good, but like, here's the thing. Dune What's Spice Wars right? is amazing. I love it, but there's no multiplayer yet. So it's like, for me, I'm a multiplayer guy. So my answer is always going to be, this is probably more interesting to me because I can play against players. Like Dune Spice Wars, once you do like three playthroughs, it's like, okay, I, I, I know how to play most of the factions. Um, I'm ready to play with some friends. Because where Dune Spice Wars is going to be freaking awesome is when we get live PvP and there's political shenanigans and all that kind of stuff. But it's not in the game now, and this game has pretty much every feature right away. So, um, yeah. Okay, so now we go here. Let's, yeah, I don't have enough room to split up units, unfortunately. I should be able to win this. Dude, I got, like, anxiety now. I'm just like... Dude, the hyenas are sweet. Once you get hyenas in a lot, big numbers, dude, they're brutal. Brutal. Okay. I'm just, I'm just like, my confidence is gone. I, I would say if you want a more chillax game, go with this because it's turn-based. Yeah. yeah, it's not, a, it's not an RTS. I, yeah. I mean, you can constantly pause Dune Spice Wars if you want, but it is there's still that level of micro. The knights are there. The fairies of doom are coming. The footmen are very slow. Okay, let's I'm just. Sorry, man. I, I'm not streaming right now. Hmm. Okay, we should be able to pop the knight pretty good here. The footies are coming. I'll move up into the corner. So we're gonna corner camp a little bit. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> the dreaded corner camping, dude. You just got your army of Dowie in the corner. Can attack them from a distance. These footmen can almost reach me, though, is the problem. So I can go here, but then that guy will reach me. So how far is their movement? Their movement is three, so one, two, three. Yeah, they can get pretty far. So I'm reloading. The knight's going to get to move. I probably should finish the knight off. See, I can shank him from a distance. And he can't fight back, which is great. Hyena. A hot sauce tournament? I like hot sauce. <laughs> Let's debuff his damage and then pull back here. Like so. Uh, Dude, I'm finally about to get my bards. Are you scared? Hopefully the spear lady can endure. The bards? Oh, the, the, the musicians? Yeah, they're called minstrels. Yeah, they're pretty cool. <laughs> he bravely ran away. <laughs> Bravely ran away, away. They're pretty good. They they give like an army wide buff, I think. Yeah. 
I've been fighting a lot of them. <laughs> so. so they've been coming for you, huh? Let's get the high ground. Oh yeah. Okay, the spear ladies took the beating, but it's worth it. The treasure here is good. See, when they attack the hyena guys, he uh, he swings first. So what we're gonna do is move here. You guys ready for the MLG plays? And then we're gonna use Chaos Step to move him up there. Oh, look at that, the plays. I love it. And then the hyenas are gonna cackle and run away. <laughs> are, you, are you doing OP shit over there? Dude? Yeah, dude, I just teleported my guns. It was pretty sweet play. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, would you rather do a hot sauce tournament, dude? Like where we eat hot sauce? It's like I'm more inclined to do something like that, but the matter is us getting the same hot sauces. Yeah, hot sauce would be brutal. Okay, march, your troops gain melee offense, command. Probably going to take command so I can get more units. Oh, I got two levels, nice. And then archery. Yeah, let's get archery. We have the golden goose! Ooh, 2,500 gold! Damn, that was worth it. Alright, let's update that. So... What does the Golden Goose do? 250 gold per turn? Okay, that's pretty nice. So we get another medium. Let's get a Bazaar here. And uh, now we can just come back and recruit for a turn, I suppose. That was that was a big one for us. We really needed that. So now we can maybe take these guys after we recruit next turn. Yeah, we don't have any recruiting in the pool right now, but... Unfortunately, the Tinkers are over here. <laughs> Dude, the big hacks, dude. Yeah, that was, that was the play of plays. So now we need to decide where to go next. I would like to get this big trove in here, but this is... Yeah, man, that's a lot of shield boys. It's like all these cool, nice items, and I'm like... You can't, oh, can I beat this? And like, <laughs> you just can't no. get it. The game's basically just like, no, you don't want to do that. It's like, Yeah, it says suicidal if you try. Dude, I would get wrecked so bad by hot sauce. I cannot handle it. You guys, I would literally have tears in my eyes. I mean, I guess that's what you guys are here for. I, <laughs> I would be like weeping like, oh. Dude. Can you handle hot food? Yes. Yeah, see, Pone, Pone would probably be fine. Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm. My, I mean, I have my limits, but. Yeah. yeah. You would probably handle it fine, though. I would like start coughing and just dying like right away, you know? I can eat three light pounds in the little chicken wing so good. Yeah, I would probably get wrecked, dude. Okay. Hey, I finally got a little bit of extra gold. Nice. So can't upgrade those guys. Final building slot. We're probably going to get Sigmar's cannons eventually, but that's that's a ways off. Um, we got a bazaar coming up. The Tinkers, I want to upgrade bizarre. that. Yeah. Oh, I need a stone pit in this city. Okay. So I can't upgrade this without, mm, without a stone pit. And this is city is maxed out? Yeah, okay. Oh, so we're gonna sell that, unfortunately, and build a stone pit here. Otherwise, I can't upgrade my tinkers. Cool. So I'll be able to do that next turn. And let's buy. Um, get the hounds maxed out, and we're gonna save a spot for those right now. Can we actually take these guys? Where do we go next? Worthy, uh, worthy. Worthy is hard, but if we get upgraded tinkers over here, we should be pretty good. Let's go see if we can take this and get the gold mine. So we're going to split our guns into two units of 10 because they punch have really good punch. I think that's probably a lot smarter. All right, let's move close and scout though before we do this. Medium, okay. Attack! What are sappers? Are sappers one of your units? Do you have sappers? I, uh, I don't think so. Uh, Piper is, is and then... Not is there not like neutral units in this game? Is there might be literally... neutral. Yeah, there are. There's like bandits and wolves and stuff, but usually it says Arlian troops. Medium threat level? I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna you die. You die! All right, we've got the high ground and the corner here. See, this faction doesn't have OP magic, so I'm like, when I was playing the swamp people, I feel like I could win hard fights because my magic was so dirty. But with this, it's like. Oh, sappers are upgraded archers. Okay. Okay, they'll be in range soon. Okay, let's just get in position. Hi, Aria Street. 
That doesn't sound good. Oh, this is actually not good. Okay, we gotta like speed over there with our hyena. Face cam for hot sauce punishment? Oh, obviously. We had the face cam bone for the hot dog tournament. Yeah, that was pretty fun, dude. If you guys ever want to go back and watch us suffer for that. Yeah, you were definitely not enjoying the hot dogs. Me turn Goji and uh, Sp <laughs> Sparty in his glorious uh, hot dog costume. <laughs> it was pretty magical, dude. <laughs> the poor man, the only one of <laughs> you didn't win a game and had to eat the maximum <laughs> amount of hot dogs. Ryan had to eat like so, so many wieners that stream, dude. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and put defense on you. Go, my doggos. Dude, this is actually a hard fight. Shit, I almost died. The hyenas carried, for sure. I need to upgrade them as a reward for their... Dude, the hyenas are so good. The fact that they retaliate like that... Oh, bur this one. Burning blood. Oh, that's like a damage over time spell. Nice. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, we'll do the. I think hot sauce would be a lot of fun. What would we put it on? I guess like the classic is just like hot wings, right? Dude, that was actually a hard fight. But I get a gold mine now, so it was worth. Okay. All right, looks fine. That's being demolished. Um, I want to upgrade my doggos. I need Glimmer Weave. Do I have a bazaar yet? I do. I am the dog, the big bad dog. <laughs> oh, dude. You like the bagpipes? Yeah, the musicians are funny. Yeah, they're pretty hilarious. Dude, I don't know what schemes Pwn has got down there, dude. I'm not, I'm not l looking forward to it. <clears throat> Pwn's just gonna appear with like a dragon in my base right now. I am not the dragon faction. I know, but you'll find You a, know this. You will find a way, dude. <laughs> oh, I forgot to upgrade my smuggler's workshop, damn. I think I can do that all oh. in the same turn. Okay, yeah, the upgraded horned ones are the queen's good. Yeah, okay, the horned ones got it. I knew it was one of your units. No. Dude. I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. I'm just getting karate chopped, dude. Just lost so many units. Dude, my army. Oh, so dude. Bad. Chat has the best idea. Corey, Corey says, hot sauce, hot dogs. Yes, dude. You and Optimus had the same idea. That, that's what we're doing. That's the, that's the game. Just disgusting. So nasty. <laughs> disgusting. Disgusting ass hot dogs with the hot sauce on them, dude. Yes. I would go on the Hot One show. I don't think they would have me, though. I think they only have, like... <laughs> like, like famous people. Movie on stars. Yeah, like stuff. movie stars and shit. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Uh, They'd that, be like, who the fuck is this guy? That's a great guy? show. Yeah. Turin. What the hell? I would just be there with like a white t-shirt with like food stains on it and just like my jeans. Be like, oh, hey guys. I play video games. <laughs> maybe you could get on there for uh, for your dad's legacy. Yeah, yeah. I could maybe do that. Maybe. I'm here to answer for my father. I will answer for him. And then you could use it as free advertising. I could. I could. Yeah. Although, Tell like, everybody in the world what you got going on. Catch my streams. <laughs> I don't think... Oh, yeah, Artificers. Hell yeah. Those are, like, the one of the best units on the whole roster, by the way, guys. But I, I don't think that, like, even if I got on such a show, I don't think it would help me because, like, most people wouldn't be, like, interested in the subject matter. Like, like Total War, or these kind of niche games, like, it's definitely not, like, man, I need to get through those Mainstream. guys. Yeah, exactly. So we got the mine. We got the stone pit. I have Artificers now, guys, which are super cool. You're going to see the... One of my favorite units in the game, aside from the rats, of course. What am I planning? I am currently building the building so I can start building my fey units. I'm going to get my fairies and my, my horned ones. I have to go try and redeem myself on these guys, but I know that they have like this stack of fairies that just slaughtered me last time. So <laughs> I'm just here in the pits, just waiting for my building to finish and me to recruit some good troops finally. How long will Ponanize game go? We don't know. A couple hours, probably. It's not too bad. Like, the yeah. wife and I played a game on a huge map the other night, and I think it took, like, three hours. And it, we were, like, both learning and taking it really slow, too, so... Yeah, it, it's not it's not too... God, why did I... Dude, I just had 500 gold taken from me, dude. I just got jacked. All right, so let's go here. Billy dog hot sauce madness. See, like, I... During the hot dog stream, I covered mine in, like, a jalapeno nacho cheese, and I threw fried jalapenos on them. Because I hate hot dogs, so I was trying to mask the taste of hot dogs. Chili is another good way 
to help, like, mask a hot dog. <laughs> you just trying to survive the wrath of the wieners, dude? <laughs> I, th I thought, after I won the first game, I thought everything was going to be smooth sailing, and then I proceeded to lose the rest, but... <laughs> Yeah, no. I think I got punished. I had to eat a dog, the hot dog, the first game. I think. Yeah, and then the yeah, I, I won the very first one. I think you won two. Yeah, and I think Goji won one. I won two of the four. I think Sparty lost all of them. Yeah, Sparty lost them all. I won. I think it went one, you two, and then Goji might have ended with a yeah. Win. Like I think the first game I brought like a funny build. I was like, oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be great, and then I had to eat them, and I was like, oh, all right, all right. <laughs> let's let's get real now. Let's get real. Uh, I, I came in with the uh, uh, what are those things? Oh, five glim weaver. Oh, come on, man! I only got four. <laughs> come on, man! Do you have a marketplace? Can you like buy? I don't. No, let's just get right. Looking at to upgrade. My, I'm upgrading my small settlement. Oh, now I can't afford the marketplace. <laughs> GG, dog. GG. Ugh. I know, I'm trying to get to the hordes of gold. I got a gold mine, which is good. That's pretty big. Sorry, the fair the fairies come. I, I'm recruiting my fairy. You, soon you'll be like, dude, is that the fairy king? And I'll be like, yeah, it is. Isn't that the name? Isn't that the... Oh, oh God, what's the name of that? David Bowie. Doesn't he play the fairy king in the, that old 80s movie? <laughs> I don't know. What I, think, I think he does. Remember. Okay, rally point is right here. Let's get some more handgunners. Hyenas are max. So I now have my upgraded artificers, guys, and these guys are absolute monsters. Great fighters, and they also have a really good ability. So let's drag you guys over and like split them a little bit. Yeah, great. Lord G Goggle suggests that you should use hot ones to link up with Henry Canv uh, Henry <laughs> Campbell <laughs> and, and, and get a uh, spot on the Witcher. So yeah. if you got, if they're like, dude, I would, turn. I would do. What it. do you want to do on the Witcher? What I would, would be, you want to do? On The Witcher? Oh, man, I don't know. I'd probably end up, like, you know, obviously a long-term commitment to filming. I'd probably just want to be some, like, haggard peasant who just gets killed by a monster. Right. It's just, like, well, super stupid. They're, they're going to be like, dude, you're, you're town guard. I have, oh, he's the Goblin yeah. King. He was the Goblin King. Yeah, sorry, I got it backwards, guys. Um, can I actually beat these guys? Let's see. Medium. Get, you mix up Goblin King and Fairy King, bro. I I have a pretty sweet long hair right now though. I got like I got like okay, this is a medium threat. Down, down the goblin tone. I think I could take this. You know, you could be the guy who's like, what was that noise? I'll go check it out. <laughs> just just like, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's oh, what I would want to do. I'd be so like, down. The, the dreaded griffin comes swooping down from the sky and just like eats you and shits you out. I was in a TV episode when I was a kid of uh of uh Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Okay. Child labor laws. Yes. Um, so <laughs> you guys ready for this? Oh man, but he's got too many archers. I actually have to advance on him. So I can set landmines with these guys and they just like dunk on stuff. But honestly, um, this is mostly a ranged army, so I have to go fight them, it looks like. Is that what your tinkers do? Yeah, dude, it's so good for corner camping. That's if you're playing cool. a melee faction, you just like lay landmines and just sit in the corner. But <laughs> the problem is you can get like blasted by... Um... Okay, so we need to make sure we're not within their like primary hitbox. And that's fine. Do I want to lay a landmine? Probably not, honestly. We can do this. We can lay one down here. See, so he lays one. Oh! Let's go ahead and blast the musicians. Okay, the hyenas will the hyenas will feast tonight. All friendly troops get plus one damage. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh! My faction's like, what about over there? What's that? Like, that's the bad land, son. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's we don't, the, go, over we there. don't go there, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so let's go. How much movement? It takes one movement. I could go blast these guys or give them the proper hammering. You guys ready to see the flamethrower? Oh yeah. And it does AOE too, so like I can I can uh Let's finish this guy off. Hell yeah, dude. Um, I'm reloading. Justice will kill one enemy troop. Just get in position to shoot. Ah, I actually have a lot of crazy spells. Aggression will lower the defense of all my units. Hmm, let's just do this. Let's buff the hyenas. Oh shit, I moved through his hitbox. So now he gets the whack, like, hit me. I need to shut down this archer though, I'm gonna do it. Ugh. 
Okay, let's get the flamethrower. Hell yeah, dude. Iron Drakes. Oh, that guy. How did he shoot me? He got some weird ambush ability. Let's see the blood boil on him. Alright, let's blast you. Those archers are pretty good, actually. Jeez. Yes. Get get back and tell me the story. Okay, it's it's not that good of a story. Sorry, I, I got focused on combat. Yeah, I'll tell you guys about it in a second. All right, one sec. Wait, what story do they want? The, when oh, I was here. on the Haggard, honey, I shrunk the kids as a child. Um, learning. Let's do March. I hope the story's like it's not even that good. You just like standing in the background. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Yeah, I didn't have any speaking lines or anything. Oh. Yeah, it was like it was it was. Well, that lowered my defense. Oh, that sucks for just one battle. Okay. Let's grab that gold. And uh, we need to come back and recruit some goodies. I need to upgrade my hand cannoneer tech, but glimmer weave. I just have none of it, dude. How much is glimmer weave to buy? I think I have a bazaar up here. 700, so yeah, it'd literally take like all my gold to do it. All right, we're gonna go back and buy and just keep trying to clear out these like places near us. So yeah, basically I was on, there's a scene where like two evil clowns like raid a diner in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Like these evil clown henchmen guys like raid a diner in this like cafe and I'm like literally like a nine year old sitting in the cafe and they, they told me to just act really scared. So like I had like a smoothie, I had like a, like a sundae, like a, you know, one of those things from the classic American diners and I like, when they come in, I'm supposed to s spill it and act scared. And yeah, that, that was my, my moment in the sun when I was at the peak of my fame. <laughs> I think I shrunk the kids. Yeah, that was, that was fun. All right, let's look around here. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was so haggard, dude. All right, it's <laughs> round two, baby. <laughs> You're going for it, man? I It's finally time to redeem myself. If this goes wrong, this is going to be so bad. <laughs> you're just... uh, but I, I feel I feel confident this time. Yeah, you're feeling good? Okay. Pwn, Pwn's getting his mojo back. No longer will he cower before the foes. The dread. No, it, it wasn't the movie. It wasn't the movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It was the TV show. I should have specified. Yeah, right, yeah. You did You did say the show. I did say the TV show? Okay. Because my dad was, um, he was a television actor and he was, he was, he was one of the actors on Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the TV show. Someone find the scene, dude, it's going to be hard to find. I mean, you'd have to dig through probably like, what, five or six seasons of that show and find it? Yeah. I, like, you literally see me for like half a second. What a glorious No, it, it's not the movie with Rick Moranis, it's the TV show, yeah. Can you use abilities after you move? Yeah, but you, abilities take one movement. So if you use your maximum movement, you cannot. But if you do less, and then you can activate it. <clears throat> yeah. So there was a TV show on Disney Channel that ran for like four or five years. Yeah. Did not know there was a TV show. Yeah, it was on Disney Channel in like from 1995 like five to 98 or something, 96, something like oh, that. Man. It slaughtered my fairies. Dude, get Rex, bro. I'm coming. I'm coming with flamethrowers to uh, to show you what's up. Yeah, they might not have showed it in France, Ludwig. Maybe though. If you had Disney Channel, it was probably on. My wife saw it when she was when she was growing up in Poland. They had it on TV there, so it's very possible. It's very very possible. I actually kind of like the slower start on this map. Like it's a little bit more challenging, and you don't just get your like end tier units right away. Yeah, you could just find it. You can just find it. A lot of the episodes are on YouTube, by the way. Yeah. So my my dad plays Wayne Zielinski on that show. He plays the uh, he plays the the dad that um, in the movie is played by Rick Moranis. <clears throat> yeah, it was, it was it was a fun one. Hey, Abba. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, dude. If you if you ever want to play, let us know. I'd happily jump in a game with you, bud. It's um, it's like Heroes of Might Magic Three. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. How does it even work? Are the kids shrunk the entire time? They get shrunk like a couple times. It's not super common. Yeah, it, it's not super common. Okay. So next we go after these Arlian troops and we try and get all the loot in here. We're gonna have to use landmines here. Redemption. <laughs> did you did you defeat the AI creeps that slayed you? I, I got vengeance I on mine. You did? Okay, good. I get like all these artifacts and stuff that I had earlier. 
Yeah, the, the the old Heroes of Mind Magic Three soundtracks, or just the, all the Hom soundtracks, are really good. There's this there's a Polish website that has uh, they they like remastered the soundtracks and put them on like a vinyl, and I, I wanted to get get that for Anna as soon as I could. Oh, best deck of gold. Yeah, Bad White Wolf, you have that show as well. Cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> Lady turned 20 years ago. I'm going to marry the guy who disappeared for half a second. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? She saw me. Yeah, many years ago. Oh, did she? She actually saw you? Well, not me, but she saw my dad on that show. But I, she did. If she was watching the show regularly, I was in an episode. So maybe she saw, she did see me in like 1996. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Or 97. Oh my gosh. She's been stalking you all this time. <laughs> no, I was... Oh I was, my god. It all makes sense. I was the hunter for sure. Yeah, I was the hunter there. You are not fooling me, Anna. You are not. I'm on to you. <laughs> we have caught it. So yeah, I was uh, basically my. So my dad was on that show, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and I used to. Uh, my parents th split up when I was like seven years old. So he was in Canada filming that show, like ever. And I used to go stay with him, like during the summers. Oh, look at that! I got some free troops. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Dang it. Uh. Great. Awesome, I just got what? some free dog units. If you start Honey, I Shrunk the Kid's turn guest appearance, will it appear? <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> <I'll>... Featuring turn. <laughs> yeah, turn. <laughs> that would be really funny, dude. Okay, let's go here. Get some more of these guys. They're just such a good unit. And then we need to go get some Sigmarite handgunners. I also need to upgrade them, because I'm just getting like the potato tier ones. Hyenas also need to be updated as well. I'm just so tight on money at the this moment. Alright, uh, let's get the handgunners. Nice, and get the hyenas. So now we have a full brick of a couple good units. I think we can take this. Alright, we're gonna do the dreaded corner camp strategy. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Alright. Come on. Oh, man. Those guys are chunky, dude. I don't, I don't suppose you were rocking a mullet back then, were you? No, I didn't have a mullet, no. <laughs> I mean, I might have had, like, one of those 90s, like, haircuts that kids got. Just, like, the nasty <laughs> rat's nest things. Did you have some sweet 90s clothes on? Like, oh, probably, yeah. Was really bright. Oh, like, horrible. Squares. <laughs> With some, like, Janko jeans or something. 100%. Okay, so we're laying ambushes and landmines right now, guys. They won't be able to get there. I should be able to get a couple layers of landmines. I love this faction is so fun, dude. Oh god, they're so fast. Uh I can only kill two of those. Man, those guys are meaty as hell. How how uh How tough is like a bandit hideout? Uh the, the only hard part about the bandit hideouts? Apocalypse! I have a spell called Apocalypse, which damages every unit on the map. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Well, Armageddon. Actually. Yeah, yeah, it's like Armageddon. Oh shit. Okay. I need to get the order. Yo -ho -ho -la. <laughs> Yo -ho -la -la. Is it PVP? No. Well, I'm I'm battling AI. <laughs> we will fight each other eventually. Yeah, it's coming to my landmines. Okay, so we need to blast these guys into the shadow realm. Oh, this guy might actually be able to get through here. I need to lay another landmine. So what good spells do I have here? Um, all friendly troops get plus one damage. That's probably not that useful, to be honest. So Justice just straight up kills one unit model. So for like elite units, it's actually pretty good. Um, I could come finish off these guys with the hyenas, but I want to like wait to strike. Um, Is there an animation for you setting mines? Yeah, yeah, he like, you, you would see it. Like the mines are visible. Yeah, but then this guy, can he reach me? I think he can. Are you sure that they're visible for me? Like, uh... I'm not actually you remember sure. the landmine spell from... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah! You just ran through or, it, dude. Oh, sorry, not to interrupt you, but... Holy shit, that no, was cool. Yeah. Like, like their moats and stuff. I'm, like, you couldn't technically see the tower's landmine sitting there. I don't think. I'm pretty sure you can see it, but I could be wrong. I would think I might be able to see you do the animation. Reload. Okay, how you know, so you need to move over here and swap yeah. these guys. The music's good. It's it's not as good as Home 3, but it it's uh you know there's I have no complaints about the music. The nostalgia factors. Like it's pretty hard to beat nostalgia too. 
<laughs> the power of nostalgia. Okay. So we can go here. Can I lay double landmines here? I don't know. I might have found baby. Wow, there are clown terrorists in this episode. Is oh, there a clown dude. Terrorist? In your episode? Yeah, I think that's who it is. Like, it's like, I don't. Th keep in mind, this was a long time ago. This is actually a hard fight. We just barely got it, though. Yes! Yeah, did you take some losses? I did. I lost a bunch of my good units, but it, it was an important fight because it was guarding a shit ton of treasure, which I think the progression is probably worth it. You know? Treasure. Dude, those landmines are so cool. Holy shit. Okay, march, scouting. Yeah, scouting sucks. Let's go ahead and just get the command ability so we can get more units. And then archery upgrade. Hell yeah, dude. For when we get more Sigmarite handgunners. Uh, take the Ancient Amber, take the gold. Dude, that was a ton of loot back here. Oh, value city, brother. Okay, this is what? 15 of the Celestial Ore? Jesus, that's that's expensive. Um, Glimmer Weave. Let's go ahead and just buy some Glimmer Weave. So, one, two, three. I think that should be enough. Then we can upgrade this. And it requires a shop in the town. Okay, so I gotta get a shop somewhere. So, what do we not need, really? The wood mill, I think wood is like, we're more than okay on wood. So I'll sell the sawmill and then next turn and get a shop. So then we should be able to upgrade them once the shop is here, cool. So we'll grab the treasure and go back to the main city and just upgrade everything now. What's on Total Tavern? Yeah, you can go to the Discord link and get it. Mm -hmm. You definitely can. Dude, look at all the loot we got, guys. We're, we're rolling in it right now. I don't know what Pwn is up to. So we're gonna go up here next and take these camps out. Like, we're gonna sweep up this direction. <clears throat> yeah, Pwn would have to get through the Arlian troops here to get to us. Oh, Elemental. I wish I knew how much this costed to know which one was more gold efficient. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll get there in time. What faction am I playing? Yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing like the steampunk faction, but like a lot of the, uh, a lot of the in influence of this faction is kind of like Central European as well, like kind of like Holy Roman Empire-esque. If you look at the clothing that the Tinkers as well as the, uh, the hand cannoneers are wearing, they're wearing like the, you know, the Germanic Lonsnecht, uh, kind of gear, which is pretty cool. But you have Tinkers, you have, you have, um, cannons, you have like pikemen. And the pikemen upgraded version are really cool. They have a unit uh, ability called spear wall that when somebody moves in with within range of them, within two tiles, they they shank them before they get close. And then they get another retaliation after that. So like, it's very much like a defensive shooting faction, but you can also play it aggressive by going with the ogres because they have some ogre mercenary type units. This is like the closest you'll get to empire for sure. <clears throat> for sure. Hmm. Dude, Pwn, what are you battling down there? Uh, I just found another town, so I'm just... Nice, yeah. Yeah, there's there should be a town to the east and west of you. Like, I think that's kind yes. of how it's, like, laid out, yeah. <laughs> Carousel, that's pretty funny, dude. Yeah, it's preventing you from taking a screenshot. Yeah, you're gonna have to use, like, a snipping tool or something. Yeah. Oh my god, that was so long ago, dude. Yeah, I wasn't really in anything else, though, surprisingly. That was the only thing I ever did. I Well, I mean, never work for free, right? <laughs> dude, extras get... it's Dude, it's it's really grim, like, how badly extras get paid and often treated on movie sets. It's like, dude... Like, you're there for, like, a whole day. Like, your whole day, and they just barely pay you anything. They put you in like a tent with like a bunch of other. I'm, I mean, I'm sure it's better now, but like back in the day, it was like horrible. Um, all right, let's grab some tinkers here while we're here, so we can basically just join these units into one big blob. Very good. Head over. See, look, I'm rolling in the riches now, guys. Pwn's in some danger. Yeah, and we're gonna upgrade everything, and we're gonna have like a mean army here in a minute. Let's get the stone upgrades, looks good. All right, cool. 
Uh, pretty fast turn though, man. We just grabbed some treasures and now we're moving on. Uh, Carrot oh. Shell. Carrot Shell, if you send me that. I just got free 800 gold. Yeah, Carrot Shell, if you send me that, I can tell you if it's me or not. Send it to me in Discord. Um, Melody says, I was a PA on a New York City cop show. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, ABBA, for sure, man. Let me know when you if you want to play later, too. The wife and I are going to be playing a lot. I'm sure Pwn will. We could do some 2v2s as well, which would be really fun. It was like 16 hours of work. Yeah, yeah. That's brutal, dude. So we upgraded all of our buildings now. So we're gonna go get the uh, upgraded pikemen and the uh, and the doggos. Damn! Look how quick Misha slayed those bots. Jesus. <laughs> that was like literally a second. I saw them appear and it was just gone. I got 800 gold there too. So clearly, uh, clearly it's uh, it's coming around. Okay, so these guys are easy. So I could probably get an auto resolve on these to just make it quick. Um. I'll come down here later, though. I want to prioritize going up this direction. All right, so now we can upgrade our troops. Boom and boom. So our handgunners are upgraded, and our dogs are now dire dreets. And the um, veteran musketeers have an ability called uh, aim, where I can like delay them, and they do more damage and uh, get more range, which is really cool. Fine. All you got to do is just hide, hide the bots. You don't have to delete the individual messages. Once you hide them, it'll. Your pwns, your pwn knows. Good Not deal. extraordinary. Yeah, you're doing great, dude. How much more movement do I have? I think that's probably enough for now. We could probably move and take yeah. this. The bot, like, title was here. here girls want everyone, even you. <laughs> <laughs> even you, I love it. Appealing to the internet crowd, I love it. All right, let's just do an auto resolve. Oh my gosh, me! All right, well I'm in. <laughs> okay, let's give me that glimmer weave. Oh, there's an epic item here, the beak of the beast, dude. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys some of the new units now. Let's hide you guys up north. Uh. Let's see here. Yeah, I had super blonde hair as a kid for sure. I did, yeah. Okay, so now we can set a landmine here. And we're gonna use the, the good old Sigmarite pike and shot. Although they might already be in range, let's see. So I can use the spear wall. So if anybody comes close, they'll get popped. Um, take aim, cost one movement and ends the turn, but it gives me range and damage, which is really good. But we'll just go ahead and pop the big, the big chungus for now. Um, what's really good about the upgraded hyenas is they can wait and strike after your opponent moves, which is awesome. Um, but we're just going to move back anyways. The beastmen are the only big problem. Okay, and you're just going to move in the corner because we don't want to get you gooned here. Yeah, you can up, you can, in research, you can, uh, oh no. Ready? Spear wall! How cool is that? So good. I love it. Uh, in the tech tree, you can you can update how many units are in each stack. Yeah, you totally can. Uh, I don't know if we want to spear wall this though. This seems a little bit scary. I mean, yeah, these guys are upgraded tier one, but there's a shit ton of them. So, um, I could move back here. The handgunners are reloading. I think I'm gonna move like this so that my tinkers can get up and fight. Unfortunately. Use Chaos Step. Man, I don't think I can actually get away here. This is bad. I guess we just go back and take aim. The Hyenas could go, like, take it like a champ. But I would lose a lot of them, probably, because they're going to get Circle Beaten. But it's probably better than losing my higher tier units. So, hmm, all friendly troops get plus one damage. Because now my Tinker's going to get a turn. So he's going to be able to move here and lay a landmine. And the Hyena... How can we buff him? Just give him some defense, I guess. <laughs> the defense against the Dark Arts. He'll only kill three to six, though. He's not like a world beater. <laughs> Neither of those guys, I guess. Yeah, so I can move through the landmines, guys, but it'll... Oh, check this out. This will actually do some good damage. 
give him aggression. And yeah, this will. Oh, it has to be like right behind him. Okay. We can go use the blood boil. Go get a halberd attack. Yeah, these guys are so tanky, man. Go, my hyenas. Alright, we got you down. Dude, the hyenas feast. The hyenas are feasting like the Nurglings in the, the Let rally. The hyenas feast. <laughs> Ooh, that was actually kind of a hard fight. Jeez. I always like to think of, uh, I think it's the first, I think, Dark Knight, when, uh, or, you know, maybe it is the second one, but there's like Ooh. the, it is the second one, with the mobster guy, and, uh, that it's like right before all the, uh, like, haggard Batman guys with their hockey pads, like, try to ambush them, <laughs> yeah. and the dude, the dude's just like, my dogs are hungry! <laughs> dude, I remember the, the old 90s villains with the, the hockey gear on, and... Dude, I think, who had the most haggard henchmen of the 90s, like, cartoons and TV shows? Like, even, like, Power Rangers. It was probably Power Rangers. Yeah, I, probably Power Rangers. Although, yeah. I mean, you could argue anybody from, uh, uh like, James Bond. <laughs> like, those, talk about useless guys. <laughs> yeah, James Bond henchmen. Let's see. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's me in the corner with that picture. With the, the, the blonde hair. Yeah. I can't believe you guys found that. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's amazing what you can do with the internet. Dude, he actually found it. You found the clown bit, bro. I can't believe that. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're about to get the beak up in the north here. Oh, the helmet of the arena. What does that do? So many cool items. And that's one of the fun things about Hom is, like, all the itemization. Pone and I will probably just like meet in the middle at some point and have like a ceremonial duel <laughs> with our armies. I gotta, I just like upgrade some troops. So I'm, I'm in no I rush, feel, bro. Take I'm, your time. I feel pretty spooky right I, now. You don't have any, you don't have a hot date or anything later, do you? I don't. You got some time, sweet, dude. Sweet. I'm having a blast. I'm just looking, looking for my next victim right now, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 looking to get this amber tech here, this uh this ancient amber excavation. There's a lot of stuff going on over here, I feel. I feel like I might be able to beat this. Dude, are you just gonna get, get closer for some scouting? I'm glad that the AI creep is like still kinda hard. And we're not just like steamrolling everything, you know? Oh absolutely not. <laughs> That's like a very promising. Not steamroll right now. Okay, beak of the beast. This thing gives me plus fourteen. Plus 14 offense and 100% more gold when pillaging. Wow, that's cool. Hell yeah, dude. Give me that. Take this. Take this town. Uh, so rally point. Probably just get a shop here. And then we can update this. This guy's got, a dot, got the episode. Season 2, episode 21. Honey, I'm not just clowning around. Almost 19 <laughs> yeah, minutes. That was it, episode. that was it, dude. It, like, like, narrowed down there. <laughs> That was my moment in the sun. <laughs> oh, Sigmar's cannons. I just need gold. I can't I can believe Anna married a, a, a TV star. I know. <laughs> okay, uh, many horn ones, several footmen. I think we're gonna fight this because I don't want to get like screwed on the auto resolve. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of play it safe. <clears throat> All right, it is time. Just clowning around. You can see my my. You can see Dude, that is such such a '90s title, by the way. I know. <laughs> it was it was a it was a magical time to be to be around, you know. I love puns. Oh, here I could actually get the flamethrower and hit both units, but then these guys are going to kind of get shrekt a little bit. Although I think going for the alpha strike is good. Did your dad have good lines like Arnold Schwarzenegger and as Mr. Freeze? Uh, I don't know if he had and, and lines he quite like that. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. <laughs> yeah, it was chill, chill out. It was more of like a kids show, so not as much. Okay, let's do this. All the more reason if you ask me. Dude, those tankers are beasts, dude. Although I'm losing a shitload of them with shucks. I was in the Righteous Gemstones. Is that a TV show? I I don't know it, but I'm assuming if you're gonna say that. 
that it was. But... Losing so many tinkers. Back. Hey, but progress is being made, guys. I don't know if my flamethrower actually does friendly fire damage either. Comedy series. That's cool. Oh right, man, that's some big actors in this too. John Goodman, St. Louis native, hometown of me. Adam Devine. I love that man. Who is he? Why does that name sound familiar? Adam Devine. Yeah, what does he play? Uh, he was in Workaholics. Mm, okay. Kind of like the front man of that. Or if you're like me, you would at first come to experience this man's glory in uh, Pitch Perfect. <laughs> I don't know. If, yeah. I don't know if I've seen him. Hmm. I, 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 oh, he's great. Um, Danny McBride. Dude, that's cool. Yeah, I'm, I know Danny McBride. He was in Eastbound and Down, I think, was the show where he plays like a washed up like baseball player. Yeah. That one's pretty fun. That Ooh, one's pretty fun. Worthy. Ooh, wow, that's got some spooky stuff. I'm going to go grab He's guarding all the super cool loot, but I don't know if I can take that. Dude, bro, you can take it. BRB. No, I'm not falling for that. Get water. <laughs> don't be too naughty. All right, chat. He's gone. Quick. Say, the mods are asleep. Man, I just need, I just need gold, boys. Ugh. Okay, guys, I have a pretty. Sp sp I am from St. Louis. I have a pretty spooky army. I know somebody asked about this earlier. I don't remember if turn answered, but I attacked some guys. It says as the army approaches, it becomes clear to the hostile troops that this battle they cannot win. They turn and flee. So I just got experience. I didn't have to fight them. Uh, I know somebody asked if they could join, so I don't know about that, but they do flee at the very least. Out of movement. Oh no. All right, I'm back. All right, all right, guys. He's back. Quit talking about him. Dude, have you won yet? Have you been cheating? Uh, almost. Okay, what did I miss? Got some more treasure. We have a secluded monastery over here. Yeah, talk. Marketplace OP. Marketplaces are so good, dude. It's definitely one of the first things you what want to I get. Build over here? Oh, yeah. Hey, Eric Zephyr, seeing how hard you are pushing your graphics card and your CPU, wanted to send you some money. Thank you, man. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, dude. The computer endures. Okay, so we got some resources. Adam Devine did not fall off Goji, you liar. You liar. Is Goji spreading poison? Turns dad the lead in the show? Yeah, yeah. Was your dad was. the lead? He was, yeah. All right, so uh, the, the big cannon is going to... Yeah, you know what? Sigmar's cannon has to come. Screw the technology, although then I'm not going to be able to get any tech stuff. I think the cannon has to happen, though. So we're going to get that. I know it's probably stupid, <laughs> but... Um, rally point, we need three of that. So let's go to the bazaar. Uh, one, two, three. And then we can build a rally point here. So we oh, can... bro, you got you got a donation. It's also pretty funny. Yeah, I saw it from Arid. And then Alex, happy birthday. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, man. <laughs> it's not my birthday. How the hell do I get to this place, by the way? It was barbecue's bomb. Yeah, that's why we're known. Dill dipping sauce. Wait, is that is that like a pickle dipping sauce? Because pickles are nasty. <laughs> Dude, how do you, you don't like pickles? Oh, dude, no, I, I can't. Like when I was a food server, man, and like the two worst things that I would have, like when I carry out the tray of food and the, like the plates, like right there near the edge, the two worst things I could possibly have was hot sauce. I love hot sauce, but it sucks to like smell. <laughs> <laughs> and, and pickles, having like a thing of pickles right there next to my face was just miserable. Dude, pickles are so good, bro. Oh, that's heresy, dude. I love it. <laughs> Only if you like gross stuff, I guess. Oh, man. Giant, dude, I just found a giant mushroom. A giant one? What did it do? Plus one damage, plus one movement, minus 25 defense. Oh, that doesn't seem very good. For oh, wait, wait, battle. is it for one battle? I was going to say it's like a one constant battle, buff. Yeah. Like, that would, doesn't seem like it would be very helpful. I was kind of like, ooh. I don't know about that. I'm all, all in on just mailing people. Dude, it. I used to just like buy jar like a jar of pickles when I was a kid and just like, uh, yeah, it was so great. Like I, I love vinegar. Like I love like that kind of food. That's why I love Polish food. Cause like in Poland, that's like a big thing. 
all right, I'm finally versing something that's not my faction. <laughs> I'm versing your boys now. Yeah, you're fa you're facing oh my the, gosh. the steampunk. He's, he's got like three guys way up on this cliff with guns. Is it the musketeers? I, I'm assu it, it is musketeer guys, but I'm assuming that the guys up there on the cliff are going to be the gun guys. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right. So we got some buckler shield. I think I have to get that. Clear out. We'll clear out this. I don't really know. I guess the stone deposit. I might as well get that too. That'll be my next thank, turn. Thank you for having common sense, Jonathan. Oh my gosh, there's some fat ogre women here and three musketeers up on the cliffs. Melody says, "I will eat a whole jar of pickles if not stopped." Yeah, we're playing one v one. So like, I'm on the top side of the map here. Pone is like doing shit down here, and like the middle is where we will probably meet. Like where this like big grim reaper. And, oh, that knight is so cool. Dude, look at that knight. He's got like a helm with antlers on it and a giant battle axe. Oh, that's sick. I think that's one of oh, Pwn's cool units. Ability. Yeah, dude, your upgraded knights look so cool. Yeah, um, or, oh, okay, the knights, never mind. Dude, they're rad, man. <laughs> the pickles ambrosia of the gods. Don't people use, a lot of people use pickles as like chasers too, right? When they're like drinking like- Oh, my fairies just died. All of oh, them? Oh, you're- these musket guys are insane. <laughs> yeah, the musketeers hit like trucks, bro, but they're super squishy. Oh. <laughs> Pone's just getting wrecked by, by some AI down there. Yeah. I need a battle charge these boys. Jesus. Yeah, good times. All right, looking around. We have the factory coming. Sigmar's cannons will rain holy fire on Pone's head eventually. I'm so excited. Yeah, I feel like my faction's magic isn't like as cool as the swamp people though. Like creation magic is way cooler. Like the big AoEs and all This that. thing said easy, by the way. I just want to point out. <laughs> well they He's have like, oh yeah, this is gonna be easy peasy for you. They have a whole turn to reload, by the way. So take it as you will, dude. Doing damage to fruit randomly, I guess. This game just came out today, for anyone uh, is asking. Oh, I see. How do we see whose units are whose? I thought those units we see are... Were, yeah, these are PvE. So all these like neutral camps around the map are controlled by AI, but Pwn's army is... His army is down here, and we're playing a special game mode where there's only one hero per faction. You can normally have like three to five, or like, or excuse me, one to three. But we're playing just single hero just to make it a little bit more like, you know, streamlined and quicker and stuff, so... But unlike Com 3, you can build buildings that let you recruit from your entire empire. So normally, like, I'd, in, in Hom, you'd have to run all the way back to your base or daisy chain heroes around to get, like, reinforcements. But here I can build a rally point in my bases and just, like, recruit. It's it's a massive quality of life improvement. I really like what the developer did with that. So, um, this building here is big big priority. Celestial Orb. Yeah, I lost some troops, but I won. <laughs> what do you, how many fairies did you lose? <laughs> My oh, oh dude, my fairies got one shot like right off the gate. How many did you have? Not not a whole lot. Got it. Oh, uh, how many? Did, I had six. Yeah. There was like, tw there was a stack of twenty musketeers, a stack of thirteen musketeers, and a stack of ten musketeers, and then they had some ogres and some tinkers. They need to. They need to. If they could get simultaneous turns in this dude, oh my god, that would just be glorious. Like, I don't, I don't mind just sitting and kind of, this, you know, these type of turn-based games are pretty cool for just, like, you know, catching up with friends and stuff. But, like, when you get, like, four people, it could take a long time, for sure. Unless you're playing on, like, a really yeah. small map, yeah. Hmm. So, we'll take out these guys. Oh, that's a portal. I thought that I got to all these resources. I do not. I just... Wait, oh, just you, you went through a portal? I might be able to see you now. No, I, I, didn't, I didn't take it, but... You did, you did not take it. I Sounds have, good, Abba. Locked the potential to go through a portal. We sit here waiting to claim with our mighty banner some giant ogre ladies. And that portal, I assume, goes over here. Takes me, like, towards Pone's lands, which I don't know if I'm ready to go party over there yet. Party on, Garth. Do you have any epic items yourself? Epic items? Yeah, no. like the purple ones? No, I think I, I just have a blue rare. Okay, so I can recruit the tankers from here. Damn, they're expensive. That's not good. You got all the super shit. I'm just down here in the pit, <laughs> getting blown away by musketeers. Dude, the musketeers are so cool. There. Um. Okay, so let's get mercenary quarters. I could get more units. We have the factory coming to get the big cannons. 
Hmm, I guess we just get more hand cannoneers for now. I wanted to be more of a shooting player anyways this game. And tinkers, we'll just keep one for now. Save the money for other things. Very easy, okay. Nice, they just fled for me, sweet. Uh, march, command, I have enough command spots, I think. Yeah, destruction actually sounds kinda cool. Let's get that. And get stone, and then we can head on over here, take this out. And they fled too, yeah baby, let's go. Give me those free items. We got a buckler. Plus seven defense, where do I even equip this? Oh, I have a two-handed weapon, so I can't equip it. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah, this would give me more tinkers, which is probably worth it, honestly. Do I have a shop in this region? I do. No, I need a stone pit to get tinkers, though, so it's probably not worth. And yeah, so I can get these, like, assassin units. You guys see these? These assassinids? So each faction has two races of units, right? So I have like the Piper, who's like a little goblin. I have the Hyena. I have the uh, the Ogre Lady. And then I have the Assassin character who literally can fly across the map. He's got like a million speed. Ooh. And, um, but I'm going with like a powder build using like cannons and shit. So it's, it's, it's different guys. Yeah, it is different indeed. Ah. Uh. Hmm, cannon is finishing soon. Not good. You get in, you're like just at the Chad units at the end. Here. Only one. I can't even recruit them. I can't afford them though, so don't don't stress yeah, it too much. Right. I'm not falling for that. I mean, I, they require um. Uh -huh. they, they require a special resource like that. I have to have that like the the purple ore stuff, which is kind of hard to get. So why can I not buy ancient amber and glim wheat, but I can buy celestial ore? That you're looking at the selling option, I think. I am. You are correct. Yeah, because that that, <laughs> Damn, that that's expensive. It tricks me every time. Yeah, those ones are expensive, dude. They get you good. I got the the beak, dude. The first beak. Okay, which way do I want to break? Can recruit some tinkers and then push. I think we come back this way and get the middle. Yeah, this looks like a nice spot, and then I can like portal around. Okay, so this portal will take me right here. Actually doesn't look that promising. Then I'd have to come all the way under here. Shit, okay. This definitely seems like a solid successor to Hom. For sure, I, I really like this game, guys. It's a lot of fun. It is uh, definitely definitely a blast. Like the army comp thing is really interesting to me. Like like what units synergize the most efficiently together and like what research should I... I haven't even shown you guys research yet. Because um, I haven't gotten research building. I'm just kind of going straight for the tech. Pwn has to face the wrath of a great cannon. Don't shoot me, bro. You're gonna get it, dude. You just wait. This this area looks just juicy as hell. Oh, if I could get there somehow. So if I take the portal, I can go oh, here. Oh, help me. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, the, the cannon building is still finishing, team. Okay, let's just go buy like a sweet army here. Okay, so the tinker is in my other settlement, so I can buy 10 of those. Pricey, pricey, man. And then, do I want to max out the hyenas? I could actually almost max them out. Let's get a couple more hand gunners, spears. That's a good enough army for this little excursion we're going to go on here. Okay, let's put you guys back, get back, and then manual battle. We're going to get some, we're going to get through this and go through the first portal and see what promised land it takes us to. Right, turn while while there's downtime, you know, because uh, I have a feeling your turn's gonna be ending soon. Oh, I'm in a battle right now. Oh, okay, I I'll wait. I'll wait. Dude, it, oh, do you have a question for me? Is it what I think Dude. it is? <laughs> it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, one, two, three. So I got to stay out of their 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 shooting range. Seventy one steam pipers. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, these ogre ladies are huge. Man, they're coming in with those maces. Okay, so she's she smacks hard too. Yeah, these things these things hit very hard. Um, take down one of those guys. Can I actually shoot them? Yeah. Nice. You need to get back though. Oh shit! Are they going to be able to reach me here? 
we're going to take aim to get bonus damage. And the hyenas can move up here and get ready to strike these handgunners down. Dare they, dude. Okay, so I could pop them. Looking at the turn of... I don't want to get hit by these. But I don't have to. So let's go ahead and just move just far enough to strike, but not within range of the ogres. Because I think they hit pretty hard. Okay, I can hit them from a distance with my halberds. And he's reloading. So I need to get away. How fast are they? I don't think I can actually like create enough distance. So we're going to cast Quicken on you. So he gets an extra movement, and then he's out of range of the ogres. Now this guy can shoot. Let's see if he can pop him. I use the aim ability, so we're going to use Justice. And then we're going to see if we can... Nice. Last Total War 3 textures patch. <laughs> <laughs> Total War 3 has been updated, yes. Um, who's next after this? The ogres are... Ugh. This is the new game on Steam called Songs of Conquest. Just came out today. Hours ago. So I can move through this guy's hitbox, but I'm going to have to take two attacks of opportunity. It's the only problem. Whatever. Hopefully he'll attack the halberds or something and not my handgunners. Oh. It actually didn't even do that much damage. Okay. So those are two of the other units that are in my army that I could have I could have taken. Alright, let's see here. Okay, looking good. Didn't lose too much. I see the tunic of the forest court. Uh, although it's guarded by things that I, I couldn't help but no way I could defeat. Nothing worth taking here. I have another heart. I have another battle here, which is not not easy. Um, switch position with you guys and horn ones and face spirits. Got to watch out for those guys. Are yeah, uh, gathering intel on me. I, I'm pretty close to you, actually. I'm not gonna attack you though. It's not like it wouldn't be a good time. Oh man, there's like ramparts here and shit. Okay. Thankfully, the beastmen are just gonna get in range to get wrecked right now. Um, if I attack like this, I think it'll only hit one, unfortunately. I wish I could just, like, wait. But the, the Tinker guys are so strong, I really should get the jump on these. If I could get down here and attack, I could get an AoE. Because these guys, like, hit, like, through. Okay, let's go ahead and soften them up a little bit. I think the guns will one-shot the second one. Okay, so the pikemen are coming. Yeah, kill the fairies for sure. Those things hit really hard, actually. Use justice, soften you up. Headshot, baby! Hyenas of doom. Yeah, let's go. Hyenas are definitely a little bit more expendable. Plus they retaliate first. You saw how they just attacked right there. Get off my army. Let's go dunk on them. Dude, the halberds poking over the rock is awesome. They can attack through terrain, wow. I'm coming for your treasure pond. You also love my my Nick Brad Pitt Lord. Dude, I Brad Pitt Lord is that, so good. That's like one of the greater was names. Totally wasted. I remember that although it was totally wasted. What, what is that you? Yeah, it's Brad Pittlord, dude. It's him. You're Brad Pittlord. It is. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a great name. It's one of our favorite. We always laugh about it every time we see it. Yeah, my my name's Brad as well. So how could I also not love that? <laughs> hmm, Guardian. Okay, so let's many archers. Let's take an auto resolve here and see how this goes. A little bit nervous about it though. Sappers, archers, and troubadours. You know what? Auto resolve's a little too risky. I could just get owned. All right, this will be quick. Yeah, you're gonna get some friends to join you tonight, Melody. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Yeah, auto resolve probably would have dunked on me here a little bit. The troubadours are so funny. Um, I like the high ground stuff. Yeah, it's. I like how the train has a little bit of impact. So we're gonna it move here. Increases your range and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and take aim to get a damage buff. Pop these archers. Hyenas of... Oh man, there's 48 over there. Jeez. 
That's actually kind of scary. Ouch. I'm definitely taking a lot of losses in my, my exploration, though. Um, so we got these guys. We have 11 archers here. So what, like, yeah, what big spells do I have? Nothing too fun. Get the archers. The archers don't have to reload. They can just keep shooting round by round. Okay. Oh, rapid fire is so good, guys. That spell's incredibly strong. You guys are going to see it in just a second. So it's just, like, heavy. So now we're going to use rapid fire on, on these guys. Oh, it's shit. It's my whole army. Are you serious? Oh, he's reloading. No. I screwed up. Yes! No. Time for the AI to strike back. The AI comes for blood. They're playing They're playing all their, their instruments on me, dude. <laughs> Where, where's the army of, like, every musician? <laughs> That's basically what I'm fighting right now. It's like a musician horde. It's like living in my old apartment in LA. Oh, is that your brother next door? Yeah, and, I mean, and other musicians. It wasn't just him. It was, we were surrounded. There was no escape. <laughs> there was just the base, base in the deep, dude. Oh my god, I would just be like trying to record and you're just like cranking it and like, oh. Luckily, I, we, we like could almost never hear it. Yeah, they, it was just like stra like hard for me to focus more than anything. Right. Um. Okay, so that was good. We're chilling there. Mercenaries quarters. Between the fat beat drops and the Wookiee. Yeah, good old Wookiee, dude. He was, he was a noble beast. Let's get a mercenaries quarters here. Yeah, why not? Yeah, Wookiee was quite a legend. Shat on me on stream once. That was that was pretty great during a Blood Bowl stream. <laughs> All right, turn. How many third graders can you take? How many could I take? Yeah, so we talked about this what last time. What is one time. third grader too many? How many third graders could I take? And okay, let's. We need to set the so, terms. Is this so like a UFC first, cage? Okay, so first scenario, we can do a UFC. No, cage. or, or uh, is or, it like okay? No, let's do a Roman gladiatorial oh. pit. Okay. Because that's like, I got yep. some room to work with there. Sure. And am I in my prime or am I like right now? Yeah, today. Today. Oh, that's not good, dude. Can I at least have like a couple weeks to exercise or? No, like you, it's saw style, bro. You 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 go to bed, you kiss Anna goodnight, you wake up, and you're like, what the hell? How, how did I wake up in the middle of this gladiatorial arena to the roar of the crowd and like, you know, Jigsaw comes over the intercom like, Turin, all your, all your life, you've thought you're way more Chad than third graders. <laughs> and it just happens, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, dude. Uh, you're not even going to give me my athletic prime. It has to be, like, my worst shape I've ever been in, which is right now. Ah, oh, shit. Because I'm pretty sure in my athletic prime, it, it would be, like, a massive number, dude. Like, massive. Hmm. So we got to get the notepad out. Hold on. So Pone and I have talked about this. So let's put it to a poll first. <laughs> I'm curious what you guys are going to say, and then I'll give you my answer. How many? Take in a... Hang on, I'm making a poll. Uh... Ten. Okay, one sec. Between one and ten. Between twenty and thirty. All right, guys. There you go. I'm gonna answer the question, but for myself, I think right now in the current shape I'm in. So let me give you guys a little background. I uh. I, I ran I ran track and field. I was an all county sprinter in the hundred meter dash two hundred, and I also ran a very competitive four hundred time. I've done jujitsu. I did boxing for several years. I've only, I didn't spar too much, but I did got some sparring experience. Um, I think all at once. So they're like surrounding you and like swarming you. That's kind of the thing, Pone. Like you didn't you didn't put up between ten and twenty, which is where I think. Yeah, yeah, one in ten. Yeah, that's true. I think most people like are pretty reasonable there. Like 50 plus is a lot. Um, but like, here's the thing, Pone, like how many are in the arena at once? Is there just like a million of them? And like, yeah, how, it, it's as many as you think, like from the start. As or many or as is there like a set, is there like a set number? Out. And they just keep pouring in as you like clear them. No, 
if, if you think you can take X amount, that's how many are starting in there. Yeah, and it's there's no weapons or anything, right? Nope, nope, just your fist. Dude, I think I could take, I think I could take between twenty and thirty, for sure. Like, in, cause here's the thing. Let me let me go ahead and give you guys like a little. I did this with Pwn the other day, so I need to get like my Microsoft Paint out. Hold up. Paint. Okay, here we go. I just need to get OBS. So here we are, right? So we're in we're in the arena, okay? One second. I need to get like a brush. Hold on. This is how I make my thumbnails, by the way. If anybody ever wanted to see like behind the science. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna take forever though, but it's okay. So here here is me right there, right? I'm just like there. Just looking very Chad. And then like you're surrounded, okay? Here's the thing, right? Like these are like seven or eight year olds, I think, in terms of the numbers, okay? So let's see. So one, two, three, let's just keep going. I, I like I'm a pretty athletic guy, at least I used to be. I'm very out of shape now. Okay, so like you're fully surrounded in the arena, okay? So obviously all, all like you're gonna get converged on. Like everything is gonna like like converge on you from every direction. They're coming for you. Now I played running back in high school and also was was I think that like you need to break you need to like find the weakest point. So there's like what, twenty or thirty here, okay? So the first thing you do is you find like the weakest point in the formation and you break through. You need to get your back, like, so you're not, your back is invulnerable, right? So you would essentially like, you know, like maybe run this way first and like they would converge on you, which would create an opening over here, all right? So then once you do that, you turn, you just do a quick, you know, running back cut and bull rush through like this side and just plow, plow over like a couple of them. And then from there you have like your back to them and then you can create kind of like a circular, a circular pattern. It depends on how good your cardio is because your cardio is going to be pretty good. But if you're constantly moving and, you know, especially if you're someone who has like running experience, like, you know, like whether it be football or like track and field or something and your cardio is really good. I feel like I could like do enough circular patterns once I broke the initial encirclement that I could take 30, I think. Are they robots? Yeah. Pone, that's another good question. Are they robots? Do they like feel fear? So No, they're... they're Th these like these third graders are just out to kill. They, yeah, they, so they're you like can't mindless. Scare them. They're like berserkers. Yeah. yeah, there's no morale. There's no army breaking. Yeah, I think I could take. I think I could take between twenty and thirty for sure. Maybe even. Maybe even. Uh, yeah, it's hard to say. Cause here's here's the thing a lot of people don't understand about like fighting in general. If you if you strike some, something or someone with like uh with like and you're not wearing like a glove or gear like that, you could you could break your. Like your hands get broken very easily, very easily, right? So I think like a big part of it would be like either like a combination of like slams or like straight kicks or like knees, things like that. Like, cause if you're using your hands, you're gonna break your hands and then you're in big trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's just like, I mean, you, you've obviously been in a, a profession pun where that's like a factor, right? Like people's hands get broken very easily, especially in fighting and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you've ever hit some hit like been in like any sort of a street fight or a brawl or something like that, like you're you're dude, if you catch someone like on the forehead or something, dude, your hand is straight up going to be broken. Yeah, biting is a problem too, Melody. That's bad because then it's like the Komodo dragon approach. You know what I'm saying? Because like you're going to get like poisoned and you know over the course of a couple days, even if you can like, let's say you're like a professional marathon runner, right? Like you're gonna you're gonna be. You're gonna be in some trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you can use the fallen okay. ones as weapons. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so, so scenario one, you think you're taking like thirty, right? That's yeah. What you said. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, okay, two. right now, right now, maybe less. Maybe like, because I'm in terrible shape. I was kind of like articulating more like I'm in like actual decent shape. So maybe less, because my cardio is dog shit right now. So I'd probably be in trouble. Scenario two, you're like. Damn, dude, Pone hit me with that rough question, and I realized I am out of shape. I'm going for a jog. You head out to the local park. You're on, like, a trail. It's just, like, a one little lane trail. Sticks and shit everywhere. You get jumped by a bunch of third graders. How many of... So, like, they come at you. They come crawling out of the bushes, and, like, you're basically just in a <laughs> line of third graders. How, they're going to hit you from both sides. How many 
how many do you think oh dude take? that's way harder like you're just trapped basically like, yeah you're yeah you're, you're trapped. trapped it would that would be far less and it depends are we talking like athletic third graders or these are are these like you know it's your average third grade are these like modern american third graders <laughs> probably just like not fun like at if all. you drive down <laughs> to the school right now and you gra- you just start take pulling kids out of class yeah that's that's what you're <laughs> up against Ooh, that's... And if anybody in chat has third graders in their family and want to donate for the sake of research, yeah, then then you're good. <laughs> Hold on, dude. That these are these are tough questions, dude. That would be far less. That would probably be like half the original number, dude. You know? You think you could take like fifteen? Yeah, because if they're fearless too, that's like a whole nother layer. Because like your normal advantage against that would be the fear, like the psych- psychological aspect of it. But like fearless, like biting, scratching, like. And you're encircled and you can't move, dude. That's just like that's some like straight up Game of Thrones shit. When, I, like, I think I'm thinking like twelve third graders. Yeah, yeah. Before I don't you know. get overrun, the 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 stamina aspect kicks in. It's like, all what, stamina because they're gonna be grabbing you and biting you. Once you go down to your knees, it's game over. Yeah. Then when you're on the ground in general, that's like it just you just get swarmed with like zombie stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the end of the road, dude. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, time to go back and, and buy some units, guys. Dude, stamina is everything. Like, I remember when I was like doing jujitsu classes, and I would be, you know, rolling with someone. Like, there, there would be guys that, you know, I was stronger than, I was bigger than, but like when your stamina goes and your body just is at that point of like, you know, the oxygen just is like done for, dude. Like, you will get crushed by people far weaker and le- like less, less like talented than you. Like, man, it's crazy. Like, that is such an important thing. Like stamina. Fearless also means they have no self-preservation. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, we could basically just say undead. <laughs> undead, basically. Almost. Almost, yeah. They're not, they're not actually eating you, and, and you don't have to crush their head for them to go down. <laughs> so ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Didn't you say you heard this on some radio show? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's like the classic one of like how many like horse-sized dogs or like things like that. Like That's one of the many questions. Yeah, biting. Oh my god, biting is a rough, rough thing, dude. Biting, getting bit hurts so bad. I mean, I even getting bit by Wookie was painful, and he had no teeth. You know, he just had like, like a, the jaw of a pug, which is. Do they get a commander? Yeah, Professor Pone's gonna be their commander. <laughs> he will lead the legions. Oh, that is a big, big unit there. So, guys, we're gonna go buy a little bit, like get, get like a big, get a big gathering up here and see how this goes. I used to be able to go for like 12 minutes in straight judo, and now I'm like 3 minutes in BJJ. Dude, BJJ is like so tiring. It is so tiring. Um, and yeah, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is great for one-on-one fighting, for sure. Like, if you know that there's not going to be any friends coming at you, but like, obviously, uh, it's pretty rough for like street fights, bar fights, things like that, because you're going to get, you know, cheap shotted. All right. I'll give you my steps. <laughs> Thank you, dude. It's in the name of research. Yes. Oh god, yeah, the Sigmar cannons. Bone, you're in some danger, bro. There's glorious cannons coming for you. I think little tyranids. That's basically what it is. Okay. Uh... No, they're not immune to pain. So, like, I mean, if you get a nice, good shot on a kid. No, but if they're fearless, like, they just fear- he's fearless, but he, but they take pain. So, like, you know, they could writhe on the ground there for a bit. Okay, fair play, fair play. It's just getting real dark. <laughs> Okay, let's upgrade that. Now we can go move with our Sigmarite Great Cannons. Um, let's go ahead and split these guys up. Yeah, that looks better to me. Do I have enough for any of the doggos? I think I do. It would get brutal fast, absolutely. Just like the old gladiatorial games. Yeah. Ooh, man, that is actually... So, the... I've... the... Every time you do something like that, my screen like shifts over. So like, I, I don't know if it's just trying to alert me that like, hey, he's like just outside your fog of war. <laughs> so the army that I have to fight to get into your lands is at, like actually a medium threat. And I have like a really good army. Oh my God, 26 to 50 brutes. And then they have five cannons, dude. Screw that shit. <laughs> I do not want any piece of that. How can I get through other than that? I do not want to go through those guys. So this mob here, guys, it has like a bunch of upgraded cannons. Uh, 5% of Americans thought they could beat a grizzly bear. Are you serious? In some research study? Dude, that's that's ludicrous. They that's... just bite bite you, you're done. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, dude, bears, bears are just godless killing machines, dude. Those things are just 
They're just the Terminators. Bears are my favorite animals. I love bears. Yeah, but you hate Kislev. I like Kislev a lot. I just don't <laughs> like their playstyle that much because it's so dependent on the sleds. It's so dependent on the sleds. <clears throat> no, bears are bears are so cool, dude. I've often had that debate, like what animals would win between like uh, like the biggest, like if you get like the biggest, like like big cats versus like a, a like a massive Chad Kodiak bear. Like I feel like the bear would win, for sure. And there was also like discussions about like who would win between like a big cat versus like a huge gorilla. And apparently the cats have like an advantage because they often like ambush them and get the jump. Uh, simple axe. Okay, we don't really care for that. Dude, do you remember the game? Uh, or game? The TV show? Man, what was it? what was that show called? Where they they like pit animals. It was kind of like deadly. Oh yeah, and it's like super animals. shitty looking. Yeah, dude, I remember that. Yeah, it's glorious. I, oh, me and my dad used to watch that. It's all so time. good, bro. Oh, oh, dude, the middle. Oh, look at all the loot here, dude. Loot. Okay, we're coming for this. It was this. just called Animal Face Off. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Season one, episode one, right off the gate, saltwater crocodile versus great white <laughs> who would, Gojira says, who would win, a gorilla or a bear? Wait, a gorilla or a whale? Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Uh, are they on water or are they <laughs> yeah, in like, water um, or out of water? I, it's going to really determine who I pick here. Okay, guys, we're fighting this because I want the big loot. It's a medium threat. Okay, I need to actually abuse the terrain here I'm a little bit. Bear me. Sounds good, Doug. Yeah, this will be a big fight, so take your time. Hmm. Okay, they only have one unit down there. I could, but it could be something really quick. All right, guys, this is a hard fight. This is a very, very difficult fight. <clears throat> it is time. No, no, Sipe, the show, the show was, uh, it was like, they were like haggard CGI animals. Oh my God, look at this army, Jesus. Oh man, this is, this is actually kind of stressful. I don't know if I can win this. Okay, the cannon is here. Um, it does splash damage, but they're not like close enough to, to get me any big value. So we'll probably go for this guy. <laughs> I mean, that's still good. These guys are super tanky. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, let's use aggression. How many do we kill here? Three to five. So let's go after this guy, see if we can take him down. Oh my god, these guys are just linebackers. Mm, let's go ahead and shank these guys down. Hand cannons. Fire, reload, fire! Oh man, okay, we need to shut down the, the shooting over here. So we're gonna try and lure the big guys up here after the hyenas. Okay, we're just, we're just barely getting this. Those, these are the ultimate units for Pwn's faction. Ah, oh, jeez, dude. Okay, the cannon's reloading. They did not take the bait, but we can attack here and it'll hit both of them. So you do justice. Nice, that's big value there, the fact that that went down. So I'm just gonna use spear wall. Uh, move down here and take aim. Hyenas of Doom. Hmm, they're probably gonna have to attack here, so we'll just go after the weaker ones. Whoa, what the hell was that? Oh man, guys, this is some damage. I don't think it'll friendly fire, let's see. Okay, it doesn't look like it could. Apocalypse, obviously not great. Let's use Justice. Blood boil. As long as they don't get my cannons, I'll be pretty happy. Hmm, this guy will get to go next, and then hopefully they don't get the cannon. You know, I'm gonna send the hyenas through the hitbox. Just cause uh, if I don't, then they'll get my cannon. Holy shit, this thing do like AOE damage, wow. Ooh, that was a hard fight. But that that uh, was worth, because it unlocks the middle of the map, which has a ton of good loot. It's very similar to like Hom, how Hom used to have that. Jeez. Those were like Professor Pwn's endgame units for his faction.
Does terrain? Yeah, terrain does have an effect. Yeah, like damage resistances and all sorts of things like that. Okay, uh, march. And now we get the... It's, it looks like it's the same item I have, unfortunately, so... It's the Beak of the Beast, yeah. Okay, uh... What is this in the middle? Essence Anomaly? Wow, oh my god, I'm getting a huge reward. Oh, that's only for one battle. Okay, so that's not very useful. So we're chilling here. And uh, I can't quite afford to upgrade this. So I need a tier two workshop. So I have to like get a workshop in the city? I could get rid of the bazaar. Mercenary quarters. Tier two shop. I want the tier two workshop? What the hell is that? Tier two workshop. Oh, okay, so it wants that building. Hmm. Might have to switch that over here then. Yeah, get rid of the mercenary scorter since we already have it over here. Maybe we do do that. All right, so we're gonna sell this. And then we are gonna get a workshop here. Because that will allow us to get our ultimate cannons. All right. Going good for you or? Dude, I just had a super hard fight, but we won it, just barely. Well, that's a bummer to hear. Yeah, so in the middle of the map, Pone, there's like a really hard camp and there's like some good treasure there and stuff, but um, I don't know if it was worth it really. There wasn't like anything like spectacular and it definitely took a bit of a beating. The Bones of Cornelius. Ooh. The Gloves of Eternity. Right, I'll be right back. I'm going to get some more water, brother. It's your turn, yeah? Yep. Cool. Oh boy. I am... Sounds like Tartan's doing far better than I. A dead commander. <laughs> There's this guy laying in the middle of the road called Dead Commander. <clears throat> uh -huh. It is. Dude, that Slanesh bot keeps coming back for more. It's like round two, baby. Uh, well, this one... <laughs> you remember how it said even you earlier? Now it's, hey, I'm waiting on you. Oh, this one's this one's getting... I'm I'm waiting you... Oh, okay. I'm waiting you on 18 plus three streams. So tribute to order. Okay, so that's like saucing me up for the next battle. Grab all the resources in here that we can. One polar bear versus 100 weaponless third graders. I will give that to the polar bear. Polar bear, yeah. I think it, its claws will just absolutely break. <laughs> it. It, yeah, it's the, a cleaving effect. Yeah, the claws are brutal, dude. That's they, just like... They, their hide is way more absorbent to pain than ours. Like, the third grader hits and stuff aren't gonna, aren't gonna do the damage they need to. Yeah, it definitely sounds like some GG. Okay. So, do we get the shop? We can upgrade this now. This is still building. Do we want to upgrade the stone mining pit? Is it even worth it? Yeah, why not? We can always sell stone later, too, as like a as a source of alternate income here. All right. Are you the stone lord? Oh. I have a lot. I have like 60 stone. Yeah. Plus 700 gold. Thank you. You just look at you just getting all the freebies, dude. Just living your best life, huh? I need it. Yeah. You're Worthy. Good. Oh, my gosh. I'm not... Not falling for that trick again. Oh, these these are my assassin characters that I haven't built. The uh, the shadows, they're super cool. I I feel like I should have gotten them in the army too. Oh, look, it's Pwn. Oh. I see him, dude. Nah, the high chief of the Fey. Oh, it is I. Oh, it is Nah, dude. I'm are going you... for that dead commander right there. Yeah, he he looks like certainly quite a prize. He's like, eh. can I just like get this city real quick? Yeah, that. What does your army look like? 
I can't see it. Not much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it says between one and twenty-five. I'm like, oh, all right. Guess I, I did. I had a fight earlier. It lost some, a couple boys. I just lost a bunch too. Yeah, I got karate chopped a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna take this. Um, that looks like a nice little beachhead right here. I like that position quite a bit. I wish I knew what these items did so I could prioritize like going for them. You know, dude. Buy it, Disco King. <laughs> Let give in to your nostalgia. Do it. Okay, let's take out these. Do I not have a movement? Can't quite get here. So if I'm trying to move past. There we go. Okay. So we have the Sigmarite Great Cannon in the back, which is going to blast some. It does Not have to, to mention reload. Polar bears actively hunt humans for food. I don't think that's true. <laughs> I don't think they're out there hunting. <laughs> I mean, I think if they were hungry enough and there was a human nearby, they'd be like, "Yeah, I'm down." Yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll eat you, but they're not out there like, "Dude, how about some human today? Let's go on the hunt." Here's the cannon, guys. Check it out. Oh yeah, dude. Faith steel and gunpowder all day. Okay, so the hyenas gotta like get in position to strike. How many third grade? <laughs> How many third graders are needed to take out a polar bear? Oh man, that's gonna come down to stamina. I don't, I don't know. Well, it, I, I guess once the bear happen. goes down, they can start like gouging out their the bear's eyes and shit. <laughs> yeah, like, but, like you got, you got need an army. Ooh, fireball. Oh, sweet. Okay, that's something new. I haven't seen that one what? yet. I want a fireball. Dude, you don't get fireball, bro. You get nothing. Share. Share the load. <laughs> Mr. Turin. Yeah, Shanky, dude. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. That's right. Attack of opportunities. Got to get used to that. Oh, God, they were... Yes, get wrecked. I wish I could attack ground in this game. I wonder if there's a way to do that. I don't think so. Oh, you can. Oh, that's OP. I think. Hold on. So, I hit alt. It's like miss on purpose for a for the better AOE. No, it doesn't look like it's letting me. There might be a way to do it, but I'm I'm definitely missing it, so. It's fine. We'll just blast you guys for now. Oh yes. Um let's get these shanks going. Yes, welcome to the Songs of Conquest, Disco King. Hmm, a target Maybe friendly song provide you with conquest. So many cool Pins. spells. I guess that's why all the factions have minstrels. It all makes sense now. Oh, can I swap? Oh, I can swap units positions with this spell. That's pretty rad. Tempest and then pacify. Let's go ahead and do quicken. I still don't think they can reach. Damn. Now he's gonna rip a shot. Swaddle the cannon. Oh, I think I should be able to get him this next turn. Check out Planet Earth 2 Diaries. They attack and help go straight up. The guys shoot blanks and the bears don't care. <laughs> bears give no shits, dude. This is goes back to the mindless. <laughs> mindless, mindless killing bear. machines. Oh my god, there's oh, so many. Third greater size polar bears could you take? A lot less than regular. Oh, <laughs> That's shit, those cannons do friendly fire damage. Okay, I gotta be careful with that. Basically, pol polar bear cones. Hmm. I'd say like four. I think five is where I go down. What are you talking about? Polar bear cubs? Yeah, but Goji said third grader size polar bears. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like they, they were brutal. The claws. It's kind of warping it. Yeah. Yeah. Claws are nasty. You'd really have to take one out quick. Okay, we got a lot of treasure. I don't know. Probably not, actually. Because, I mean, I. <laughs> There's like dogs, right? That could just like one dog will take you out. So, yeah, animals are a whole different thing. Like, dude, the craziest animals are freaking chimps, dude. Like, yeah, dude, they'll they'll got your eyes. <laughs> they'll they'll do. There's the the They're strength mean. the strength to body weight ratio of those things is nuts, dude. Um, celestial ore, man, I want to get that, but like we just we just can't. I'm it's curious if if my full punch would like hurt. A silverback gorilla or if I just like break my hand yeah I mean like if you got it right in the nose it might like you know but then it's just gonna kill you like 
<laughs> like instantly, you know? Dude, it's insane how strong like apes are though. Like, okay, let's I'm curious about this. How much could an how much could a silverback gorilla <laughs> bench? Okay. So what do you think the answer is, dude? I ah uh, man, I, I think over a thousand. Okay. Am I right in that? World record bench press. So the world record for bench pressing in humans, uh, let's see, is 782 pounds or 355 kilograms. Set by an American, Julius Maddox. Okay. So a gorilla, like a silverback gorilla can apparently bench, like could theoretically, or I don't know, they, uh, they've done some testing, but apparently like 4,000 pounds, dude. 4,000 oh pounds. God. I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> dude, that is nuts. That like proportion. And how much do they no, weigh? No, turn. That's bananas. <laughs> that's bananas. Does a silverback weigh? So silverbacks weigh three to four hundred pounds, which you know Julius Hafthor Bjornsson, the you know the world's strongman, he weighs like around that much too. And like the gorillas literally can bench like so much more for their weight, their strength, dude. Oh my god, that's nuts. That's freaking nuts, bro. Yeah, gorillas are are pretty wild, dude. Imagine if humans evolved as gorillas. And we were just like that strong, dude. How crazy sports. You just couldn't have sports, I feel. Like, imagine having okay. a bunch of silverbacks playing football. Dude, people would just, like, die if you got, like, plowed by one, you know? Okay, new question. Okay, what is it? What do you got? It, well, <laughs> not not as controversial. Well, I guess it's... Con I would say it's more controversial just because people actually talk about the subject. Hmm. <laughs> baseball. Oh, would, baseball. Do you think that they should let the athletes go back to juicing yeah that's an interesting one i like just so like everybody's on the same cage i've i personally always like because 90s baseball was pretty fun to watch like personally i don't care as much in sports where people aren't like trying to hurt each other like steroid use and um mma yeah and like things like that's really like messed up because like people's lives are on the line you know but right okay so that base like ba baseball is a good good one because you're not physically contacting another person yeah it's, like in hockey and football or american football i should say yeah well yeah. i guess you could even argue soccer like people still clash into each other like you don't really get that in baseball yeah i don't know in baseball i'm trying to think they just, dude. Hit, they just hit dangers like i care so little about baseball it's like i don't know i as a kid i thought it was fun my dad my dad is from new york and we used to go to games out there and it was a lot of fun but when i got older it's just like i don't know a silverback would suck at throwing a football, but do you think if they silverback, <laughs> if they grew up throwing a football though? Imagine, dude. Let's see. Um, okay, rally point. We got one cannon there. Small settlement. Perfect. So Sigma right handgunners. Man, my handgunner numbers are really, really low. More tinkers. Yeah, man, I, I'm not getting a, a high supply. Dude, what does this cannon do? Okay, factory tier two. That's pretty rad. Baseball, yes, since the sport itself sucks. You lie. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So there's more. Yeah, so there's more excitement. Yeah. It, it's it's crazy though, man. Yeah. That's a tough one. Because I've always what been pretty against, I've always been pretty against like cheating in sports and like the perception is like growing up is that's cheating, right? So it's more of like a, a mental block. Is for it me. cheating if it's open though? Yeah, exactly. Then it's so, then it's so like, like how about how about the Olympics? It's just like guys. You are the top athletes of the world, but we want to see the superhumans of the world. You know, I think I'd have to say no, because the problem is, like, not everybody can do those, you know, because, like, it has varying health effects on different people, you know, in terms of, like, how it affects your heart and your organs. And, like, some people could do it, and some athletes probably, like, couldn't quite do it. And I still feel like the chemical reaction in some people would be, like, stronger than others just based on their, you know, anatomy. And, like, so I would probably still say no, just because I feel like... There would be some athletes who could really like abuse it and get away with it and their bodies could just handle it better than others and it would just be like unfair but like yeah that's like you know that's how you get space marines you know like everyone just takes that shit and <laughs> then they do you know get more advanced versions of it Ice marines. how far could a chimp throw me oh probably pretty far i don't know how far do you think a chimp could throw you like a silverback gorilla i feel like 10 yards oh. Well, I, he bench pressed four thousand pounds, so he's definitely picking me up. Yeah, and they're like they have low centers of gravity too, so they would be able to just like like lift you over the head and like just explode. Yeah, yeah pro probably like probably like anywhere between five to ten feet. Yeah, just 
I would say ten yards. Up a human is still just awkward. I don't think it, it would be it, for them though. I don't shape. think it would be. I think a chimp is just so strong that they could just like, dude, they can just hang like upside down from like their feet. <laughs> just like, well, I don't know about silverbacks, but yeah. I think they're probably too top heavy for that. Badger Knight says, I, I first started watching the stream two hours ago and thought the game looked cool and just returned to find it's now about how much gorillas can bench. <laughs> Sent out a 10 wood stream again, dude. Thank you, Badger. <laughs> Appreciate the donation, dude. <clears throat> if you could swap into any animal's body, what would it be? Hmm. Something that can fly. Like, can, uh, can I shapeshift? Like, I don't want to just be stuck. Wonder Twin Powers activate. I, I don't want to just be stuck in it. But yeah, like, it would have to be a flying creature, right? Because flying is just the coolest shit ever. Like, if you're just, like, in L.A. and you just want to, like, get somewhere and you don't want to deal with traffic, just, like, turn into, like, a bird of prey and just, like, fly super fast. Like, I, I feel like most people would choose a flying creature, you know? Yeah, that would be my... my I, think, I, I think it would have to be. Although a swimming creature would be pretty rad, too. Like, imagine being able to turn into just, like, a, like a orca and just, like... Just like explore the depths of the ocean. That would be pretty rad as well. But definitely a flying creature. Maybe like a bald eagle, just so I could be just the most There's American. There's always something bigger in this ocean though, right? So you turn into an orca and then you just go find uh, the the final, uh, uh, what's the super shark called? <laughs> the Megalodon. The Megalodon, dude. The Meg, just, dude. Just down there waiting for you. The Meg. <laughs> I love it, dude. All right, we're hustling There you this go. Way. What can we turn into it? Extinct animals, can I be the Megalodon? <laughs> Just a dreaded sea shark. Oh, man. Okay, I think I'm good here. Get T-Rex. So, guys, the game plan is to, like, take this guy down, get this little village, and, like, set up here, and just kind of, like, scheme scheme from there and see what we can accomplish. Grab the gloves of eternity. I don't think I even have any gloves. I do. Oh, they're, they're not very good, though. So, we'll go this way. Cool. Pass turn. Okay, so, can a gorilla referee... A baseball, game? baseball. I mean, it probably. I mean, probably not. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. No. I mean, a gorilla would be a great umpire, though. They'd Maybe a chimpanzee if you, if you like taught it. Like those yeah. guys are smart. Chimps are pretty smart. Yeah, it would have to be a flying creature, though, for sure. I think you'd want to fly. How's it still medium? If you become the megalodon, you're gonna have to fight Jason Statham. That's true, dude. i the funniest thing is I've actually seen that movie. Anna and I watched that, and we were laughing pretty hard at it. Megalodon. <laughs> Yeah, imagine turning into a fish and getting eaten by a shark or some eagle. Two out of ten would not transform again. Definitely not, dude. It's got to be like a, like an alpha bird of prey. You know, like an alpha bird of prey. It's got to be that. How do you set the rally points in cities? How do you set the rally points in cities? So rally points are uh, a building you can build in any city size, uh, Casey, and they, um, and then you can recruit units from anywhere over your empire. So if you want to like get aggressive, you want to capture a city near someone and then like get recruitment buildings there and then like start your attack from there type thing that's how you'd want to do it <clears throat> yeah yeah gorillas are pretty beast mode though for sure like what they're capable of like of course i think a bear like a, a, a giant bear would probably defeat a, a gorilla i think but i wonder how much a bear could bench press how much could a kodiak bear bench press <laughs> i don't think that's something people have like researched yeah no <laughs> They just ain't got the no thumbs, you know? Yeah, they, like, couldn't grip the weight. Like, I feel like it wouldn't be as much either. Like, I feel like the bear's, like, center, like, mass is really in its, like, torso. Whereas the gorillas are just, like, you know, like, they're, like, gym bros. Just, like, the buys and the... But the thing about gorillas, too, is they're really, uh... Like, they have that functional strength. You know how, like, a lot of guys who go to the gym just do, like, bicep curls and, like, you know... Like, things like that, and they don't work on, like, functional strength? Like, I feel like gorillas are, like, the kings of, like, plyometrics and, like, functional, like, real strength, you know? Yeah, that movie was fun with Jason Statham. I enjoyed that one quite a bit. I, I did not get to... I have not seen Megalodon, but just know that I am disappointed in myself. Yeah, it's 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 a fun one, dude. It's definitely a fun one. Yeah, so we got our factory back here. But can a gorilla with a double-handed sword de defeat a bear? So, I mean, I think if the gorilla knew how to use it, maybe. And are we talking, like, a, a gorilla-sized sword? Like, he gets, like, a huge claymore or something? Like, some Highlander weapon? Yeah. I think so. I think if you gave, like, a like a gorilla, like, 
like a big weapon and it knew how to use it. I mean, we saw that in, uh, we basically saw this in, in the King Kong movie, remember? And like Kong is like constantly getting his butt kicked, but then he like learns how to use like a, he finds like a sword, remember? And he like, just like dunks on the monster. <laughs> That's like, yeah. Gorillas have farm. Yeah. Like guys who work on farms and they can, they're just like lifting hay bales and like doing that type of labor. You know, like setting fences and things like that, and like gorillas have that farm boy strength, yeah. What zoologist wouldn't want to study a bear bench pressing <laughs> for their dissertation? <laughs> yeah, the Highlander silverback dude. Yeah. I mean, bear versus shark is just kind of silly because, you know, honestly, though, bears are pretty good in the water. So that's like an interesting one, but I mean, sharks have such an advantage there. A gorilla from Planet of the Apes with Excalibur. I mean, there's what game has like a battle gorilla in it? Doesn't Overwatch have a gorilla character? Yeah, uh, Winston. Winston, yeah, he's like he shoots lightning though. Yeah, he, he's a uh, well, his ult, his ultimate, he he like he goes ape shit. strength and yeah, <laughs> he it, goes ape shit. It actually makes sense for once. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, turn cut the monkey business, bro. I know, dude, Pwn, I see so much unclaimed treasure down in your lands. I know, bro. There's scary stuff to finish. I'm coming for you. The legions of the north march to war. Eventually. I don't know when, but we'll, we'll try and make our way. These assassin guys are scaring me here in the bushes. <clears throat> Braveheart gorilla. Uh, I threw hay half my life, dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you're strong. What is this thing over here? Oh, there's like some epic cloak that I can just go grab. Do I have like a special item slot for that? Because we're only playing with single heroes this game, guys. So normally you can have a couple. But we're playing the single hero mode just to make it, uh, you know. What what if, uh, what if, what if it's like Harambe? Yeah, yeah, Harambe. I remember, man, the Harambe memes really took the internet by storm. That, was, that feels like it was recent, but that was actually, what, like, five years ago or something? If not more? Right? I mean, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. That was a long time ago, man. Uh, I, that, yeah, that, that was probably pre-2010. No way. Harambe was not that old. Harambe was like 2011 or 12, right? No, that was that was after no, I graduated no, I, college. I, I think it was in when I was in high school. Really? I think. I could be wrong. But... When did it happen, dude? Uh, I'm trying to find the date for it. Harambe. Yeah, I don't know when it was. I have no idea. The zoom in feature in this game <laughs> looks amazing. Yeah, it's pretty rad to like get in there and like take a look at all the cool detail. The art in this game is just amazing. It's super good. Yeah, it was 2016, dude. That's when I remember it. I was working, uh, I was working, that was like right when I started doing YouTube stuff or dabbling. <laughs> dabbling in the dark arts. Many yes. Mo many moons ago. What's crazy is like looking back at the history of memes, like, cause you and I like are around the same age and we've been, we've been doing the internet thing since like what, the nineties and like remember like they had like Since it was born they had like the rage, they had the rage comics and then like there was the uh god damn an arm a fat battle battle army of musketeers here is gonna just dunk on me i'm gonna take so many losses is that cape like, over we there? had tvs that had antennas on them yeah <laughs> like uh, the very first tv that we had damn shame what happened to overwatch yeah overwatch i heard i heard strong i heard i heard things about overwatch not being great the new one but well, I, I think I just told you about Overwatch 2. I also saw a lot of videos about it, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I would give it a I try. I mean, uh, it's a, I think the big thing's supposed to be like the, the single player. Yeah. Oh, is it a which, single player experience? There, well, there will be. It's not, I, obviously it's not for the beta, but yes. And that, I think they're like, hey, if you bought Overwatch, you can play multiplayer for free. Got it. But you're going to have to pay like the $60 or whatnot for the single player. Guys, you ready for the cannon? Oh, Oh, Value City. Go Goji is absolutely right. Dawn of War 2 has a gorilla character. Does it's it? called the Brother Captain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that that guy good. is a giant silverback gorilla. Does not get... He's the worst because he can't be uh, suppressed. Like, what the hell do you do against that man? What does man do against such reckless hate? Uh, yeah, gorilla, whatever. We can just tie someone down here. Okay. Harambe was 2016. How far am Man, I from reaching? I, I got wars earlier than that, but where does time go? It's crazy, man, how time flies. 
Pwn is transcending time. <laughs> Maybe I just knew about Harambe before. I was just too young to warn him. Okay, let's go. Newgrounds, the the OG. Oh my god, that's spot. old Newgrounds. I remember that. Jeez, dude. I right, watch all the Flash videos. Yeah. Certainly some fun times. So let's do the chaos step. Do I have that? Just a reminder that Orcas occasionally eat moose. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that, that's a $5 donation. Hey, Dr. V, thank you, man. This dream is such a fever dream. It certainly feels like it. It got real wild here. Dude, Newgrounds. Dude, I it's... What was that video with, like, the end of the world? Remember that one? That was, like, one of the first meme videos I think I saw. Like, in 2006. It was, like, that song. It was animated. Okay, let's take the village. Sweet. Rally point. I, I, I mean, I remember several Newground videos. I don't remember end of the world one. You would recognize it if you saw it, for sure. Um, Brutes and Sassadins. All right, let's do a little recruitment cycle before we fight that. There was an old, old one called, uh, I think it was... Halo versus Counter Strike noob. That one was hilarious. I don't remember that one. It was like the counter terrorist guy going against Master Chief. Slush and up. like he just constantly keeps getting killed. <laughs> like right <laughs> off the start, he's like, oh yeah, baby. Saw! You know, which is like the super expensive LMG and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no professional would hurt by him. You know, he just like gets. Oh, like he, because he's sitting there shopping for a while, and Master Chief's just standing behind him. And he's like, finally, I know what I want. Saw! And Master Chief just like executes him with the back melee. Yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think I've seen that one, brother. I'll have to go check that out. It's called the Ultimate Showdown. Somebody's saying it's called Ultimate Showdown. End of the world. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The song. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I just had it. I had it backwards. Thank you. Ultimate Destiny. Um, Good guys, bad guys, and explosions. Red vs. Blue is pretty fun too. The the really early ones. Yeah. Um, I I own like one of the seasons over. Here. Dude, you remember Celebrity Deathmatch? Like how fun that yes. was with like the claymation they, they celebrities. They brought that back for a bit. They, when did they bring that back? Not. Uh. It not super long ago. I would revisit those. Hey, Action Hank, thank you for the fiver. Um, he says, do you foresee revisiting Bannerlord? Yeah, so here's the thing about Bannerlord. When Bannerlord adds private servers where I can buy my own server and then host events with you guys, I'm going to do it. Like, I've talked to uh, a couple other people. What if I yeah. told you huh. they have that? I don't think they do. No, because it comes yeah. out with the launch of the game. No, uh, I. What's his face is just... Well, I saw that they had a tournament on it the other day, like where clans, where every individual guy in the unit re, uh, regiment is a player, and uh, Pixelate Apollo just like oh maybe it's Pixelate a mod. Apollo and uh, what's his face just streamed it the other day. Okay, I'll have to uh, check that I, out. I, I think the update's here, brother. I wanted to do a call to arms where we get like everyone in our community to like join a huge like hundred man battle versus like some other someone else. Like that that would be super fun. Like that I I am so down to do. I'm, I haven't played that game in like a year, but. Um, I would be I would be down for that. So I don't know. I'll look into that. I'll maybe I'll talk to Pone after this. I'll talk to Pone after that. Yeah, Celebrity Deathmatch was a wild one, dude. Ah, why does everybody always shoot my fairies? Well, because you probably fly them up first, right? Or do they just start? No, them? they're they're way behind all my other units. They just charge forward to shoot them. Yeah, you had to pay the iron price, huh? I got a new little village here in your neighborhood. I think I'm pretty close to you, actually, dude. Probably. I don't know what you're doing, dude. You're, you're scheming over there. Uh, like Hayden says the ultimate showdown was by Neil. Some guy. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I see that. What were some other early ones? Uh, you know, Chuck Norris memes. You know what one of the most, like... Did you play World of Warcraft? I know I've asked you this, but my brain <laughs> just can't hold... I can't hold this much information. I, I, I have. I'm not somebody who likes playing the MMOs. So... Okay, on that note then, for all of you guys in chat, how many of you guys played World of Warcraft on, in vanilla and were played on the Horde and had Baron's chat? Do you guys remember the meme of Baron's chat? The old school, like, where people would just spam Chuck Norris jokes and, like, really, really, like, cringy stuff? Yeah, that was wild. That was wild for sure. Yeah, it's crazy that Bannerlord is still early access. It definitely is. Okay, let's see here. Definitely, definitely not going to be for a whole lot longer. I, th I think that they had the. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that they have finally. Uh, 
Yeah, I think Got it's it. coming out soon. I like. It, I was talking to Sparty recently. I think he mentioned like, yeah, it looks like it's like on the horizon for sure. You guys remember Baron's chat? Yeah, Baron's chat was like a enigma. It was like its own. Baron's chat was wild. Yeah, it was. Chuck Norris jokes twenty four seven. Dude, Chuck Norris jokes were great. That was a that was a very good early meme. If you held the captain's mode tourney, I would be all over that. If they had a spectator cam, I could see you being a great host. Dude, I would love to do that. I would for sure do that. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll look into doing it. Yeah, Leroy Jenkins, that came out in high school. I remember there was people who didn't even play WoW who were Leroy. like... Yeah, who found that funny. Baron's chat is 100% responsible for Chuck Norris staying relevant. Yeah, for sure. Dude, Chuck Norris I, I, is on Cameo. What were you going to say, Pun? Well, I, I think that just has to do with, uh, like, uh, l -l 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 Leroy Jenkins is, like, such a thing that happens in other video games, right? Yeah. Like, everybody can relate to it. Yeah, it transcends it transcends the genre. Yeah, it's just everything. It's glorious. Uh, corn, uh, cornbread, this is, um, this is basically, this is Songs of Conquest. It's very similar to Heroes of Might and Magic 3. It's a, it's a turn-based game. You get bases, recruit units, and Pone and I are playing a head-to-head -head right now. Yeah, we're having a duel of fates. I'm, I'm trying to make my way, like, slowly down towards his base, but obviously if I'm extended into his lands, it's a, it's a very, very dangerous uh, dangerous deal for sure, but I don't know what he's up to, man. Just yeah. collecting gold, got me a gold mine. Things are going great. You just got a gold mine? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was a spooky army, bro. Look, look at Nah. Here's Pwn's champion, dude. Look at him. Nah, the High Chief of yeah, the Fae. Be afraid. Oh my god. Damn, look at that. Gojira, Gojira getting the first... Uh... You know what would actually be pretty funny to do? Is we have like a competition on the stream where whoever bans the most uh, most bots gets like a... Like wins the wins a prize for the stream or something. <laughs> Just who's the, who's the quickest gun in the West? Gojira was pretty fast there for sure. Okay. Three of those. Yeah, I feel like I would kind of miss the Slanesh bots if they were gone a little bit. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, we got a gift. Very nice. Unfortunately, I have no room for them, so I will not take them. All right, so hyenas are maxed out. Get four more Sigmarite Great Cannons. Looking good. Let's go to our other settlements. So we need hand cannoneers, pikemen, and we have more spots for you guys? Not quite. Okay, so you guys need to move here. So we need to have like two equally sized units would probably be better because then we can lay more landmines. All right, our army's looking pretty mean, I think. It's definitely looking pretty mean. Um, do we go get these gloves of eternity? I don't think I have any gloves on. Do I? Yeah, but they're like old and... Are orange items like above purple, I wonder? Probably not. Hmm. Okay, let's see how this goes. So we got the two great cannons. We have the, the sh shooting over there. Let's go down here. Okay, and let's fight it. Simultaneous turns for this would be amazing. I, that's that's hard to do though, but like Hom three figured out a way to do it. But obviously, I think that could be like a massive feature. Like Pone and I would probably be done by now if we had that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That, that's like a that's like a mod for us to have done that though. Yeah. Or was, was that a that was the mod right? Yeah, because we had the uh, the pirate faction. Okay, let's blast these guys into the shadow realm. Yar. I could hit them, but it's not going to get any splash damage. I'm just going to... Dude, these cannons are so cool. And these guys can just wait, so I don't have to reload. We'll wait for the ogres to move. Dude, look how fast these assassin guys are. Holy shit. Um, they're going to come through the breach, probably, so we'll go lay some landmines there. Of course, simultaneous turns would be better. Okay, the Chungus is... Not an option. Mm, let's get here. Use the spear wall. And I can't quite click on them up here. Okay, there we go. Mm, yeah, they're going to jump all over my cannons here in a minute, guys. The Hammer of Justice. So like, during the uh, simultaneous turns, anytime a player fights, like it pauses the game. Yeah. And then whenever you attacked another player, this was just the Hump 3. 
whenever you attacked another player, it would kick it into... It would, like, restart everybody's turn, and then it would kick into, uh... <laughs> Okay, that one's reloading. Let's see if we can move it back a little bit. Oh yeah, here we go, baby. Sigmar's justice. Oh yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay, we have a fireball too, nice. Boom. Can I do this without running into a landmine? Let's find out. Okay, yes we can. Uh, can the halberds make it up there? If I quicken them, I think they can. I feel like it's slightly faster paced, Johnny, just because there's not as many resources that you have to get. Hom 3 has a lot of resources. Yeah, certainly does. Yeah, this game's pretty quick. Like, Hom 3, but we're, we're playing on a, like, a bigger map. Like, we, there's maps that are designed for, like, rapid, rapid fighting. There's one that the guy made, the, the, the dev, that's really quick. Destruction, what scouting, or command. Why did I just have a like lightning flash in my in my ears? Because my I think my character leveled up. Okay, gloves of destiny. Oh, yes. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh my god, hold on. This glove, the wielder wearing them can command his army to act twice as fast, but it also takes a toll on the troops, making them weaker in the process. So I can lower my melee offense, ranged offense, and defense by minus fifty. That doesn't seem worth it. I want my money back! <laughs> what is this thing here? Okay, let's go see where this takes us. Oh, okay, so maybe I can get this item. The Bones of Cornelius. Okay, let's, let's, let's rinse and repeat here. Cannons, cannons, tinkers, you guys. Yeah, let's just do all this. I don't know if, I wonder if that's worth it. All troops double attack, but weaker. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Double I attack? Yeah, all my stuff attacks twice, but it like massively... Holy shit! Oh, I did not see this. Oh god! Oh no, it's a cannon army. Oh, this is not good. Okay, we need you to... do 50% less damage? <laughs> I took a shit. So that me. way it's... No, not 50. It's not like that. It's not one. quite like that. <laughs> um, okay, wow, there's a lot of cannons. I have to like lower their numbers. Oh, Jesus. That's a ton of damage, dude. Okay, we need to like get out a little bit so we're not like blobbed up in the same way. Okay, so that should be a good spot. Like the fact that I start like that is rough. I think there's some bandits that are just wanting to die right now. That's my next target. Oh my god, that thing hit hard, dude. These are some hard fights. I hopefully these items are worth it. Um, aggression, I could do that. Let's go ahead and do this. So the cannons have to reload now, so hopefully it'll take a little time. Use justice to kill one. Need to go intercept this, uh, this unit down here. Those hyenas definitely do some work. Been talking these hyenas up a lot. They're pretty great, dude. Uh, alright, so let's go... Whack this guy down here. Yeah, this is PvP. We're playing uh, right now, but we're like building up our armies and creeping the map. That's it's very it's like how how that was in Hom Three. Man, I'm losing so much from these camps. I really hope it's worth it. Hmm. Now we could. All enemy troops get minus twenty defense. Okay, let's do that. Seems good. Oh, I can shank across. Nice. Having trouble getting like a critical mass of units. Okay, so at least he moved, so he took a bit of a penalty. Add the game's PvP slash E. Let's see. PvP eh. slash PvE. Killed my spears, but whatever. That guy would have clob clobbered him anyways. If the damage is only reduced by 50, the double attack is way better damage potential. Yeah, I'll consider it. And it says I can order them. I don't think I have to do it. I think it gives me like an ability. Yeah, the base building's different. Okay, so the bon bones of Cornelius, what do those do? 40% spell damage and spell resist too. Ooh, that's nice actually. Okay, we got some dough here. Let's let's get the hyena pack growing again. Okay, and pass through. So I jacked a lot of the good items, but I I, I don't know. 
I mean, HOM 3 and the other HOMs are kind of similar. This would, the graphics and everything just kind of date more back to like the HOM 3 era. Yeah. I really, I really like, the, I actually like the base building in this quite a bit because my biggest pet peeve about HOM 3 was having to go and, um, to go and just always go back to my base to grab units I, or have heroes like bring them to me. I like that I can build rally points and just summon them essentially, which is great. The dreaded pwn. I see his hero moving down there, but for what for what evil machinations, I know not. See, I'll I'll, I'll try those gloves out. <laughs> Turn is weak, prof. Now is the time to pwn him. I'm playing yes. I'm playing Barrio, which is like the Empire mixed with like mercenaries, like ogre mercenaries. He's he's playing Bretonia, like the Bretonia Beastman hybrid. I'm trying to put it in. References that you guys would, would catch the best, for sure. Yeah. Hmm. Could get that other town to boost your handgunner rate. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put some more handgunners in here. I need I need a bunch. I need to probably so I have Smuggler's Cove, Mercenary Quarters. I have a lot of tinkers at the moment. I could probably honestly just sell my bazaar. The helmet of Vanir, some sort of a Viking helmet. I know not what schemes Pwn has. The Undead faction is really cool. The Undead faction is rad. Like, they're badass. The Barony of Loth, I really like them. Oh, that was a pretty quick turn, actually, dude. Okay, so. Yeah, now I wanted to restock on some troops before I murder some bandits. Yeah, before we battle the bandits. Gotcha. The dread, the dread bandits. They're coming for you, dude. Okay, so no cannons there. So you can recruit like from all your different villages, as you can see here. Okay. So we got cannons, we got hyenas, tinkers, and I'm going to get more muskets at the mercenary quarters here. That's a medium threat, so I think I'm going to chill out on that a little bit. Let's actually go see where this portal goes. Oh, we can actually build a watchtower here too. Guard towers give you um, a bonus to your pikes and muskets in that town. There is a fortress faction. Yeah, there's a swamp faction, which is like lizard men. They're super yeah, like cool. Yeah, the lizards. They're they're in games a dragon. They have a Ragnarok spider. Frog people. Oh, so that replaces my armor. So twelve defense versus twenty range resist. Okay, we're gonna go for the defense for sure. Um, that is a threat. What tier is my weapon? That's pretty good. Many horned ones, several fey nobles, and knights. So I could just barrage these guys down real quick. Take the goodies. Let's get our great cannons in the corner here. Yeah, the portals are color matched. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. Arleon is like Bretonia plus, plus Wood Elves? Yeah, a little bit. Although they have like some Beastman type units. They're more like Elk. It's like, they're not like... Yeah, see, this is Pwn's faction. It's like Knights and... Uh... And that cannon... Uh... Oh, that, that feels pretty good, actually. Bretonia was a little bit of mystical creatures sprinkled in. Yeah, pretty cool. Could just blast the Knight. Doesn't feel worth. So let's just hold and let them like blob up first. Because oftentimes when they move, they move in like, yeah, pathing blobs like this. So, how fast can they move here? So let's do this and set up a landmine here. Oh, my poor hyena is getting blasted by foul magic. Gonna move you to the corner just to try and save you and then take aim. Um, how fast can that knight move? He will wreck the hyena, so we need to like just go over here. Okay, so now it's time to have some fun here. Shadow Realm these guys a little bit. Unleash the, the fury map, of the Empire. Maps are not randomly generated, but they're, there is like a map builder, so you can like download community made maps, and there's already a bunch. Really? It's wild, dude. I didn't look at those yet, but I'm not surprised to hear that. All right. Battle the goats. Uh, handgunner. Thankfully, they just targeted my shitty handgunner, so. Let's get aggression. 
Hopefully the hyenas can defeat the giant elk beast. Should be able to. Okay, cannons are reloading. You can still move when you're reloading. I'm trying to get some distance here. Mm, ice bolt. Now, how much HP do these guys have per model? So they have 40 health. So the ice bolt would actually kill this guy, I think. Then we can move up and torch this guy down. Oh, okay, they're trying to get their ranged attacks going. Good hyenas. Okay, uh, I don't want a cannon because it'll friendly fire my, my tinker. Uh, Crimson, yeah, we will. We will, for sure. All in due time. Hmm, so we, we won the battle. But not the war. No. The war against the Dread Pwn will will happen soon, I'm sure. Ooh, that's pretty good. Your troops gain 10% damage. That's not bad, dude. 10% melee offense. Let's do just 10% damage. That's good. All right, my dude, your turn. Where's the Dark Lord? 1,300 gold. You just got some free gold, huh? Yeah. We, I'll take it. I, I'm thinking of some weird builds, but yeah, like a mass rat build actually could be kind of good. Like, so basically, like, in Hom, you can only build one building slot for, like, unit production, but in this, I could use every single small building slot for rats. So I could just literally have hundreds of them and just try and swarm, which I think could be really funny. And then you can get tech in your research that unlocks, like, rats. Unfortunately, um, this map doesn't let you get a tier 5 settlement, so it's kind of hard to get the research also. Um, more treasure up here. Man, these, like, Arlian troops are nasty. We're, we're battling Pwn, dude. We're gonna soon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready to head down there. I don't know how long we've been streaming for. Holy shit, we've been live for five hours, dude. That's crazy. I mean, I think you joined about two hours in, so. And if the wife is down, I'm gonna see if she wants to stream this later tonight, too. We'll do, like, a late night stream where we do a head-to-head -head game. And I'll play, I'll play the Lord of Rats in that one. And she'll she'll probably uh, play Pwn's Faction, I think. I think that's her favorite. Yeah, the game's on Steam. Yeah, it just came out this morning, Jose. Like, uh, a couple hours ago. Hmm. The small settlement of doom. I showed up late to the stream. Are there rats in these games? Yes, there is. Yes, CP, I know you've been here. <laughs> They're my favorite, though. It's so funny. The plague rats are just so good. Imperialist mercenaries with heavy artillery. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, ABBA. Dude, that faction is sweet. That's the one I played earlier. I think I think one of my... I really like their play style. Just getting all the little, like, the fat turtle warriors who can channel magic. And, oh, it's so good. Art style reminds me of uh, Octopath. I don't know that one. Fortunate Sons. Yeah, this is the Fortunate Sons faction for sure. Um, several horn ones. Knights. That's actually a really hard fight. I wonder what the Creation Spire does. I see that Pwn hasn't grabbed all this treasure yet. Do you have your end no. tier units yet? Like your big Chunguses? Uh, not upgraded. Yeah, I have the basic ones too. Ooh, man, that's a, actually a surprisingly long run to get there. Uh, okay, so what do we need? Okay, this is still building, so that's why it's not letting us. We can move here, grab these. There's not rat men, so to say, death to fire, just, just swarms of rats. Yeah, the plague rats, yeah. It's just one unit. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, this is a good deployment. I can, like, go super far back here. The Hagger drums come. How would you define the playstyles of the four factions? Uh, they're all pretty diverse, because, like, the hero you pick, like, has unique traits that determine that, and also, like, they have two different kind of tech lines. Oh, this is actually not that easy of a fight. I don't know why it said it was easy. Jeez. Those knights are just nasty as hell, man. Okay, let's just blast him into the Shadow Realm here. See, this guy's getting a bonus from being on the high ground right here. Why is he shielded in this one? This guy just gets pounded, but this one doesn't. That's weird. Yes, there's currently only four factions. Hmm. Yeah, we need to just soften up the knights. And we can do three to four here. Ah, uh, can't reach you. Can reach you. Only one to two there doesn't seem worth, although... Yeah, we'll shoot downtown. Dude, if I lost this battle, I'd be so upset. 
That would make me so happy. I would be in some serious danger if I did that, dude. I would be inclined to agree. How fast are these knights? They can't quite get there. This guy can. So what I'll probably do is put the hyena going for the karate chop. Yeah, because these guys are going to hit super hard. Killing five to seven of those is good, too. Hmm. Tough choice, guys. Tough choice here. Got to make sure I don't get swarmed. These guys are both in range of the cannons. These ones aren't, so I think that's really the, the big deciding factor. Uh, so let's karate chop these guys down. Oh, and that actually did AoE. Nice. Okay, that makes my decision a lot easier. And the hyenas do a ton of damage. Five to eight on those. Jeez. Yeah, Tinker's gonna have to pay the price. Somebody is. Just move down here, flee the scene. And the hyenas, hyenas re retaliate first. It's super nice. It's buff. Do that. Hmm. Yeah, we'd have for sure kill these guys. Unfortunately, she's now out of range. So we can move up. The cannons only have one movement, so pretty troll. Okay, now she's moving into range, good. Go, my hyenas! Don't want to do that. Nice. Yeah, it's not the best army. I'm running a little bit bare bones. I haven't bought in a while, so it's it's kind of like... Is there a weight function? Uh, so, the, ABBA, that is, that is a special ability in this game. There's units that can delay combat. The hyenas can do it. But um, it's not like standard. Okay, so let me go to my other village here. It's still building. It's still going. Got to get all this gold. Gold's tight, guys. Okay. You can speed move, too, just like I did there. How many army slots per army? You start with three, and as you level up, there's ability you can unlock an ability called Command, which you get no matter what. It's an option every single time, and you can um, increase your spaces in your army. Yeah, the, the Hounds are really good. They're fully upgraded. The the Dreets, or whatever they're called, they're, they're pretty beast mode. I think I'm going to build a... A doggo camp here as well to increase my supply. How many cities are you rocking, by the way, Pwn? Uh, three. Yeah, yeah, so you're pretty much the same as me. It feels like in some fights having high initiative is actually bad. It depends. It depends on how your army is built, yeah. Like, obviously, if you have a fast army, it's pretty good. And you have spells that can, like, speed you across the map. I haven't, I haven't seen Pwn in a while. He's been pretty mischievous down here, dude. Well, the hyenas have two abilities. When you fully upgrade them, they can wait and attack at the end of the turn, so you wait for your opponents to move into range. And the other one is they get the first, they get auto retaliation before they get hit. So if somebody attacks them, they always get to strike first, which is very strong. Um, let's build the hyena den, and uh, we can update you. Although, oh, we need a shop in that region too. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, we might need to cancel this then. Or else we can't even get those units. Yeah, so cancel construction and we need a shop. Otherwise, I just can't upgrade this. Right, and it's just, it just sucks. All right, so let's start recruiting. Population seems to be daily, except for, I guess, maybe the end. Yeah, the end game units aren't daily, at least as far as I can tell. Yeah, I was like, because I, I bought mine and I haven't had another option to buy more. Okay, Tinkers. Why'd they have to go and make population so complicated? They did, dude. They did. I think I've purchased most of the troops I can get. We'll have to upgrade those in a minute. And 11 Tinkers. Those guys are just absolute beasts. And fill out the cannon spot. And we'll be able to upgrade next turn once we upgrade that. What are these guys? Medium? Damn, those guys are a medium threat, dude. Like, jeez. The hyenas are really good. The rats have poison though, and they can be brought in bigger swarms. The rats, like poison is really strong. Like it just drags down big units. So it can be pretty brutal for sure. Yeah, you can't abuse the AI quite as easily as you can in Hom. In Hom, you can like run circles and, and do really nasty stuff. And this is a little bit, I mean, obviously older games are a little bit more vulnerable to that, right? So what is this? A, a shadows, shadows, and scarred brutes. Okay, shadows are the ninja masters, and then like the big, the big, uh, the bigger ones. Okay. 
These these are an undead unit. The pile of bones. They're like a really like almost end game unit. These are crossbows. These are uh, I, these are ogre units that I can build, but I'm not going that route. I almost think, I almost think I delete the cannon building now and get upgrades. Cause like I can, I only have one spot for high tier buildings, and um, I feel like I should just delete this cannon building now that I have so many, and just go for uh, go for something else. Upgraded hyenas can also uh, retaliate in an unlimited number of times, which is beastly. It's true, yeah, they can. Mm -hmm. They can indeed, but I need my pikemen and my shots and all that. Is there any limit to how many you you know? There's not. You can just have like full rats or full hyenas, whatever, like full handgunners. And you can get upgrades, which I'll show you on my next turn. I haven't been doing it. I've been a bit of a potato. Because this is a weird map where the, map, the the base can only get to tier 3. Okay. So, yeah. These guys are really fast, and they're upgraded, too. And this is the gateway into to Pwn's land, dude. Yeah. dragon. There are dragons in the game. They're only for the swamp. The swamp dwellers get the dragon. It's their end tier unit. It's really good. I, my favorite thing about the swamp is the turtles, the ninja turtles, how they can channel magic and just get you fat spells like in the first round, basically, which is really cool. You could be dropping big AoEs and all that goodness. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting fight. Yes, tell me when you're taking hard fights so I know it's worth the risk to move into your lands. <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, maybe I, at this point, I should be cutting all of my, like... Like, now that I have enough map control, maybe I cut the shops. Like, since I've already used them as a prerequisite, do I still need the shops there? Is it going to let me, like, get keep producing the units? Probably, right? And then I can just, like, spam out the hyenas, right? And, like, get, like, those. I feel like that could be a strong play. I'm going to kind of test it out. Unique unit per stack is in. Can you have more than five cannons? Yes, you can. Uh, the way that you stack more than the limit that you see now is through upgrades. There's no army upkeep. Yeah, there's no army upkeep. That's not a thing. Okay, I'm gonna have to push through here soon. Yeah, I think that's that's how you do it. I gotta have more like production buildings. Like we can delete the rally point here. We don't really need it anymore now that we have the, like this forward one. So I think I think that's what we do. That is the solution, my friends, is to get the houndos in mass. The dogs who let the dogs out. Woof woof. What are you fighting right now? Are you fighting some big Chungus Dragon or something? Nah, just a fat stack. Yeah. Some good treasure laying around. Most of the map has been explored though, guys. You can see like I'm in the center and Pwn, you can see this little uh, like brownish icon down here. That's like, that's one of, like Pwn controls those, I think. Does he? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll show you guys all the research right now. As soon as, soon as Pwn survives his fight here. We gotta we gotta re rebuild our empire too. The entire map. So this is yeah, this is the entire map. And like Pwn is down here, like somewhere. You can see the mini map in the bottom left will kind of give you an idea of like the layout and everything. There's bigger maps, there's there's super tiny maps. There's one that there's one that you fight your opponent on like turn three or four. And you're constantly just like wrestling with them from like the second or third turn. There's like some ridiculous maps that we'll mess with. They should add bats. I don't know if there's bats. No, I don't think so. I think there's a rat. <laughs> the undead are really oh. cool, though. They have, like, necromancers and all sorts of neat stuff. It's pretty great. Like, you could just straight go a rat build and then, like, get the upgrades for them to make them hit harder and have more defense and just have, like, a million of them, dude. Yeah, the music's very comfy, for sure. Yeah, this map, this is a two-player map. But you can... There are two-player maps that are even smaller than this. There's one that, like, you would start here in this corner, and Pwn would start, like, over here. And you would just fight over the middle and then, like, go be going back and forth. So, if you want to get, like, a quick game that's, like, an hour, you can you can do that. Or even, like, 30 minutes. And, uh, yeah. There's all sorts of stuff. You can even, you can set the creep difficulty so, like, the creeps aren't, like, are weaker, stronger, whatever. You can do all that stuff. Yeah, the rally point is so cool. I really like that building. Alright, that was a tough fight. <laughs> yeah, did you win? I did. Good, good. You didn't you didn't fall. I did not wipe. Yeah. We both wiped earlier, by the way, if you guys want to go back and see the suffering. <laughs> we both paid the iron price. It never happened. 
Uh, Spirit of the Sands. Yo, that axe in the corner looks good. I know it does. I, I kind of want to go after it, but I'm like, I'm a little bit focused on this area now. Want... Didn't you say you have Beak of the Beast? Yeah, you have one too, right? I do. There's like three of them on the map, so it's like... I think orange is stronger. I think orange is stronger. I'm afraid to put those gloves on, because it, it. I don't know if it does that to my army automatically, or... How that works. Yeah, those like orange gloves that I got that let me attack twice. Oh, the publisher of this game did Vanheim or Valheim. Yeah, I I enjoyed that game. That was really fun. The wife and I played that quite a bit. Yeah, the dev of this game is really nice too. He's he's been answering a lot of questions and he's he seems like a great guy. Okay. I think I have a plan for next turn. As do I. Can I destroy this in the hmm. same turn? No, you cannot. I did. You lied. Test out the gloves. I'm a little bit nervous about the gloves because they lower your stats pretty considerably. Like, I don't want to lose a battle because of them. What's the strongest unit? Probably the dragon, I would say, for the swamp. It's really good. It has, like, is it RTS? It's turn based. Yeah, it's turn based. Mm hmm. It's just like Heroes of Might Magic 3. It is the only one. Yeah, the Essence of Anomaly. It's pretty cool, all these things. I could like grab all these in the middle. Ooh, that actually seems like a power play. If your units have more than 50 attack power, the gloves should be worth... <laughs> Let me see. Ah, oh, okay. So yeah, my units have... Uh, melee offense is 50, 86, 72... And also the cannons, so the ranged offense is 100, plus 42. So the gloves of eternity, plus one attacks. I mean, we'll try them out, screw it. Man, look at how it lowers my stats though. Let's see what the stats are now. So yeah, now the cannons stats are 49. My defense on everything is just like bare bones. Uh, we'll, see. we'll have to see, we'll have to see how it works. Okay. So, now what we can do is we can go do a little bit of housekeeping. Looks like when you do this, it gives you your uh, gives you your, your resources back. We'll build a little hyena down here. And I don't think we so, need this anymore. So, Lumber Poet, the wind conditions of our current game are Annihilation. I don't know if some of these maps have other wind conditions, but like in HOM 3, there was like certain maps where you had to like kill certain creeps or capture certain cities or something. Yeah, yeah. It's all sorts. Um, all right, guys, so here's the thing. To get my upgrades, I need either a foundry or a merchant guild, which I can increase the maximum troop size, uh, which is nice, or I can build the foundry, which increases the ranged offense of said units or like their their actual damage stats, right? How do I get my cannons upgraded? Do I need the merchant guild for that? Can I upgrade my cannons? Yeah, you can, so you can see I can I can spend resources to, to juice up their stats or I can get upgrades for humans in general. Uh, yeah, here's the human upgrade. So I can get 10 defense, HP, melee offense, ranged offense, etc., etc. And I actually don't know what my cannon counts as. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and upgrade you guys. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and upgrade the troops. I'm a little bit tight on money at the moment, so no problem. So I'm pretty sure I purchased, like, everything in my empire. Did I? Yeah, we, we, we geared out there. We geared out, so I only still have six handgunners though. My army feels so small. I guess I have twenty tinkers, which is pretty metal. And once I upgrade these musketeers next turn, I should be should be in good shape. All right, let's try this out right here, guys. Uh, hopefully these gloves don't get me killed. I know Pwn would enjoy that, but <laughs> just some scary drum music going on. Oh, it plays the drums every time I play something. Okay. So medium threat level. That's not good. Manual battle. Okay. Well, hopefully I don't die. Because this, those gloves like lower my defense super hard. Oof. Oh, this is nerve-wracking, dude. Hopefully they, they're like pleasantly surprised. Okay. So I get two attacks now, but it only kills one to two. Shit. I could die here, guys. And they're going to move up. 
This guy would kill two to three. Let's try it on this guy for, for reference. I could just move back two and create some separation. And then I could just shoot when they bunch up, which is probably better. So let's move you back. Yes. And then we want to move you back as well. Just kind of keep hustling away from them. Why did I take this fight? <laughs> I feel it's like this- Instant regret. Yeah, they're like all these fully upgraded ogres and I'm just like, dude, they're, they're just gonna take me to Poundland. The Pound is gonna be stretched. Okay, that actually wasn't like a great split. So three to five, four to six. Okay, so let's get you. Somebody needs to hold back these ones. Oh, I get to buff two troops now. That's pretty rad, okay. Because I like got higher level magic, rad. I need to cannonball these ones down. The hyena can go battle them. Oh, high ground. I get plus 20% damage. Okay. Ouch, dude. Oh, I get the double attack now. Cool. Okay, so the spearmen need to go be sacrificed. And put them in whatever. I guess we can shank you from a distance. Interesting. Um... Yeah, the double attacks are definitely pertinent. And then we shell you, but yeah, they're not blob. The AI is actually being smart. Hmm. The hyena can wait. I can wait for these guys to move up and then strike them. Nah, let's just go for it. Oh god, they hit hard, dude. Man, even, even the guns in lower numbers, dude. Holy shit, he gets to go anime attack me, dude. He just like flew at me twice. <laughs> shit, dude. Okay. Yeah, we need to kill that guy. Yeah, the hyena. Oh my god, dude. No. Ugh. Dude, I am just getting destroyed right now. I'm gonna win, but at, at a great freaking cost, bro. We're gonna have to go lick our wounds after this one, brother. Hopefully this doesn't friendly fire my own cannon here, geez. Hmm, so 10, one, and eight. The cannons are just gonna have to flee, dude. Yeah, we have to do this. Oh man, okay. We need to just kill whatever we can. This cannon needs to flee. Dude, these upgraded ogres are just monsters. Oh god! My army has been sent to the Shadow Realm! Okay, I think I'm gonna get a cannon shot now, so hopefully it can kill. The gloves made me pretty squishy, I feel. Okay, so let's just cannonball the shit out of you. And then we can use justice. Holy shit. Is this game out? Yeah, it came out this morning. Oh man, dude, that was that was stressful. The ogre wives are wrecking you. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, at, least, at least we survived and won, but Jesus. I'm gonna have to lick my wounds for a while after that one, guys. Took a big beat in there, huh? Yeah, dude. I got a hell of a lot of experience, though. I mean, look at that. The experience counter is still going, guys. 6,000 experience. Okay. The game is out. Uh, you, you range troops gain range plus one deadly range. Okay, and then troops gain. I like that. Sounds good. Okay, that was nice. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess we're chilling here now. So, let's hang out. The bots are being relentless. I think I need to change the settings on the stream to keep them at bay. Dude, that was a hard fight, guys. That was a very hard fight. So you can see like how difficult some of the mobs are. If I think if I was playing my swamp people, I could have just kept them in a cage and probably beaten them without like barely any losses. YouTube is cursed with these bots. I know they are. It adds a little bit of spice to our lives, but you know, <laughs> not the kind of spice we're looking for. The spice. Let the spice flow, dude. 
It feels like one of those, yeah, the gloves are interesting. I mean, you get to attack twice, but it lowers your defense on everything. So like, my units kind of got smashed a little bit in melee. Hang on, I'm gonna go use the restroom, dude. Be right back. Marathon stream, bro. I need the resources. Chip. Can you extend it? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that Eledron, I think so. The Assassin unit was really good. I think next time I play this faction, I'll probably get some of those. Right now I'm kind of set in my ways, but that Assassin unit seems really good. I kind of wanted to go for like a Sigmarite powder build, which I don't know if it's actually good. <laughs> but it is thematic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is indeed, my friend. It is. But that assassin unit seems really good. It just like anime ran across the map and just like killed something. <laughs> I think it like double moves or some shit. I don't know. They come from the same building that builds the uh, the ogre wives, as you guys have, have uh, decided to call them. So let's upgrade this. You can play the undead, yes. You can. The undead are pretty good too. Well, my army is very small now. The stream is not over, friend. No, many good times to come. Okay, I can get more cannons now. I don't know if it's worth it, to be honest. Get some houndos, get some rifles. Tinkers and rifles. Pone is down here somewhere. I know I know he's creeping. This just goes to show you that games that have, like, old graphics can still be great. Like, it doesn't have to be the most realistic thing you've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, definitely not. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get a little crazy here, guys. We're gonna sell a bunch of this. Because, like, we have so much, it's, it's pointless to hoard them. Hold Drop it crazy. Great. That'll let us kind of refresh our army a little bit. Okay. Start the hyena stack again. Sinkers. I feel like that, like, one batch of cannons is enough. We're just never going to get enough halberds to <clears throat> have it be worth it. Tinkers. And handgunners and halberds. Okay, cool. So, research information. I think we're set on cannons. I don't think I want to get any more, nor do I want to upgrade them. So, I think we're going to can this for now. Although, hmm... Take the gloves off. I think they're just a little too risky. Because that's a lot of stat penalties you have there, guys. It's a lot. Oh, where do we go? What is Pwn up to? I have no idea. He could ambush at any time. What if I told you I'm already in your base? I can see the map, though, so... Oh. <laughs> you, have, you would know. No, you wouldn't believe... So you're calling me a liar! Yes, dude, yes. Um, okay, so maybe we do this and get the defense for human units. See, this is how you increase your unit capacity, through human and troop improvement or non-human troop improvement. And then you can also get the training to, uh, yeah, so there's there's improvements across the board. I guess we'll hold on to the cannons for now. We're still going, man. Did we, we never did an eight-hour stream for Age of Empires 4, did we? I don't think an we Eight-hour stream of Age did we, did we really go that long? On Dead Next oh. Stream? Yeah. I'm going to be trying to... Uh, if my wife is down, I'm going to see if she wants to stream it later tonight. So we'll do like a double header. Since this barely taxes my hands at all, um, we could do another stream later. Wait, when did Terran do eight... I don't remember doing eight hours. I think it was like six, six and a half was like one of the longest ones. And that was like right when the game first came out. Some riding boots here. Okay. Is there any other treasure we want to go truffle for? I don't think so. Could go for the sword, but I've been taking so many hard fights and losing so much. Well, there is a lot of gold here, so maybe it's a good idea. Hmm. 
Where where are you at? So you're down in like the southwest corner doing something, aren't you? I am killing stuff. Yeah. Is your army huge you or what? Not no more. No. It's it's being rebuilt from the last great war. Yeah, me too, dude. I ca I kind of like the army limits. Oh, the stack uh, limits. You're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so like I don't have like you know ten thousand. <laughs> Yeah, there's upgrades for that. You can like upgrade to get right. like plus five or something. Like, I think the rats. Yeah, but like you won't be seeing like over a hundred of. No, the most I've seen was a hundred rats. I saw a stack of a hundred rats, and they literally one shotted my dragons. <laughs> I had like two dragons. I was like, oh, they'll be fine. And the rats just like one shotted them. I was like, oh shit, okay. Ah, uh, so it's not Hom rules where yeah. one hundred it like does damage, but it doesn't insta. It was brutal. It was brutal for sure. He's thinking up sneaky schemes, probably. Yeah, Hone still got some treasure around here. Oh, they just took money from me. For no reason. Okay, so Tinkers. We want to get some more you guys and you guys. Hyenas. Or the game just came out today. Yeah, just came out this today. This morning. Mm -hmm. Called Songs of Conquest. All right, I think this is enough to push up and have a little bit of fun. Tribune to Chaos. Ooh. I don't... I don't think the undead have a death knight in this game, do they? Uh, I'm not sure. Look, it's Professor Pwn's base. <laughs> hey, turn. Ah. Ah. My building. <laughs> what is that movement? <laughs> so I just put a couple of Pwn's buildings to the torch, so you can pillage buildings and then run away. It's just super troll. Oh man, dude. But if Pwn shows up, he can just straight up kill me, probably. My army sucks. Yes, Pwn, yes! Well, I guess... Time to march off to war. <laughs> oh no! You were close enough to strike! Oh god. Okay, threat level's medium, which means like it's an even right. battle. Like, this is gonna be a decent fight. Oh man. What is your character? Okay, I can actually look at your essences. Like, if I actually knew what they did. Hmm. Okay, we can get you. Like this. It's a little bit ballsy, actually. All right, guys. <laughs> We're fighting. Can I do the quick battle to auto-resolve this? Can I get the auto? Pillaging, like, those buildings aren't going to work until he pays to repair them now. And I get money, too. So even if I lose this fight, it's potentially worth it. Uh, well, if he wins, it's game over. If, no, because <laughs> I probably will lose so much that I can't, like, get into your base. Oh, the Chad Centaur, dude. Look at him. Okay, both our armies kind of suck. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, we've been playing for, like, three hours and... And, uh, but yeah, it's Pwn's turn to move right now. So he's, he's got his troubadours. He's got some, some bull people and some archers back there. Beware their charisma buffs. The bulls march to war. Uh, Pwn's got schemes, dude. You never underestimate him. Okay. Then you got this, like, cow lady. She's pretty cool. I'm a little higher level, which is good. So that means my stats are probably slightly better. Let's see. He's got 36 offense, 36, 13, and I got uh, 28, 30. So he's got a little more offense, but I have a lot more defense. Oh, I can see the items too. Can I see his items? Oh, cool. Spell power. Stop looking at my schemes, bro. Okay, I have more spell power. Bulls on parade. I know that's what this is right now. Bulls on parade. So now Pwn's deciding what to do with his, like, cow lady. He's scheming, dude. Yeah, your archers are really good, too, I feel. They don't have to reload. They can shoot, like, every round. Yeah, the elk sorceress. Oh, the blood boil! On my hand cannoneers. Okay. Pwn doing some witchcraft. Oh, they are inspired. Okay, Pwn, it's time it's time for Gotham's Reckoning. 
fire. <laughs> oh, look at that. You're getting like a, a defensive buff. Get a lot of defensive buffs. Wow. I barely do any damage to you here. <laughs> Still worth. Ouch. Okay, how fast? Dude, th that bull man can move super quick. Jeez. Um, X gonna give it to you. I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> I feel like your army is better. Oh no, dude. Okay, so I can't reach you, unfortunately. You get plus 30 defense from that defendability. That's sweet. X is for sure going to give it to me, dude. Hmm. Who's next? We got the archer and then the spearman. Okay. Let's move back like this. And then he can move there. Because that, how hard does that Chad Bull thing hit? Let's see. So his damage is 22 Very. to 24. Oh, man. It's way better than my guy. Jeez. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Dude, no. I tried to tell you about the the fear that is gnaw High Chief of Bay. <laughs> High Crag Chief. hack. High Chief is going to get all my items, too, if I die. That's that's the big money is getting all my goodies. So I'm just like level one characters. Oh no, my greed has has, has done me in here. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> the troubadours, huh? Okay, you hit my boy. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole the <laughs> I, whole game. I was like, you know, you could. Because you would just one-shot me otherwise. It would just be a karate chop. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can see, I can see your mind. <laughs> you can see what I'm thinking, yeah. No, I, I can see the mind that you place. Oh, you can see it? It's, just, it's, oh, even no. like, it's like shiny and shit. I was hoping you wouldn't be able to see. Yeah, it's like glistening, dude. Um. Yeah, that's pretty good. We would kill a couple of those troubadours. His riflemen do need a turn to reload, yes. Yeah, unfortunately they do. Okay, hyenas, you guys keep chilling. Plus nine 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 retaliation. <laughs> oh the hyenas, yeah, they they go crazy. Yeah. Okay, uh Can't quite reach what I want to reach. So who's next? Your Minotaurs get to move and then your troubadours. No carrot, I I I don't know if you typed that before. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> it does create an obstacle. That would be the point. The landmine is there. No, yeah, so you can create like a little rat's nest of like things for them. Well, <laughs> I was expecting that to happen, dude. Oh no. The mine literally has a warning light. It's like, yes. Do not step on this. Oh. Oh, how dare you, yeah. dude. How dare you, Pwn. Pwn is a cruel tyrant. I wish my cannon was better. I feel like it's not that good. <laughs> it looks cool, though. Maybe the upgraded one is sweet. Your dear ladies aren't upgraded either, are they? No. Hmm, got it. How about you just run your giant guy into my, uh, into my landmine there? <laughs> Tempting offer. Alright, so the cannon will live. The bull the bull will uh for sure reach me soon. Hmm. How far can we flee? Uh Well Very. Dude, your guys are so fast and furious, dude. Yeah, all oh, like I this uh my unit, like anything next to it, uh Friendly units get plus five melee offense, plus five range offense, and plus five initiative. Oh, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty damn good. Okay, chaos step. So I go here. Oh, but then he might just teleport back. Shit, okay, that's not very good. All right. We're turtling in the corner. <laughs> that's all we got. <laughs> Those big beast people are too strong. The, the, the Lord Nah, the High Chief of the Fae cometh. 
The Fey Nobles, they're pretty good because they give you a ton of uh, they give you a ton of essences too, and they also inspire nearby units. So like she's giving melee defense and ranged and like initiative to nearby units. Damn, look at that Misha with the steel chair. Oh! Here comes the pwn, dude. There he goes. Why is your defense lowered? Oh, because you have a Berserk thing active. Okay, interesting. Uh-oh. Oh no, he, he draws closer. <laughs> so to do the Troubadours. Oh. Can you get up that cliff and like hit me from the top of it? Holy shit, what was that? Oh, you, you did the essence thing, yeah. Dude, and he's like playing music and shit, and I don't have any sweet music. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you can get over there? Oh, no. I didn't think you could. Oh, Atticut, I'm too weak. My poor guy is just the last, last vestige of hope. How much damage would this actually do? So they have, what, 60 HP? So this would do 70. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> Maybe he'll be stupid and move through that. Are you, you're saving up for a fat spell, aren't you? I I only have four chaos essence at the moment, so it's it's a little grim in that regard. Oh, I was hoping you'd step in that landmine. Yes, I as as mentioned earlier, I can in fact see it. <laughs> Oh, you still caught me? Oh, no. Okay, I have blood boil. Oh, you ready for the big plays? Here you go. Ready? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Goes for the assassinate. Yeah, I did. Yo, dude, the cannons are squishy. Dude, I got pounded by those goat people. They were, <laughs> they were so The queen's god. I can see why, like, going for pure handgunners is risky in, like, range units, because if they get on you quick while you're... There's a lot of reloading. And if you don't have, like, the wall to hold it... Dude, your spoils of war are crazy. Jesus, dude. I'm rich, bitch. Oh, you're rich now, for sure. And it's it'll take me a while to rebuild. We could even probably just call it for there. I think you got the good karate chop. And with all my items... Okay, are you repairing those? How is that going? So when they, when they get yeah. pillaged like that? What? Uh, select, oh, there we go. I just gotta click on, oh my god, that's expensive as hell. How much does it cost to repair them? Well, the the one building that gives me my Fey guys costs 2,250 gold, Jeez. four wood, and 12 of the glimmer weave. Yeah. So how, uh, how, like, how much gold are you getting per turn for? for oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that was to sell. Okay. How much gold are you getting per turn right now? I'm getting 3,200. Okay, so not that much le less than me. Yeah, you're doing pretty cozy. Dude, Nah, the High Chief is unstoppable, dude. He's too strong. What is this? I have to right click on it to repair it, but whenever I go to it, it. Maybe, maybe like you need option. to wait like a turn or something to repair it. Yeah. So, at this situation, guys, like, obviously, like, he would have to come north and attack. It would take a while. He'd probably be in a winning, uh, winning position, though, considering he still has a lot of his good units. I'd have to, like, build from scratch, and uh, he got all my items, too, because it's, like, spoils of war. So if you're going to, like, take a risky play and, like, raid someone like that, you would want to have, like, a second hero to go do that with, like, some shitty units. That's probably your best bet, for sure, instead of, like, overextending are, your main army. Yeah. Are we are we calling the GG? I think the GG, dude. I think the goat people got me, dude. Bah. Is that your new main? Is Nah Nah the the Goat Master gonna be the terror on every stream that I, I tremble? Uh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll go to the undead. I just wanted to show off the uh, yeah the faction that they didn't get to see in your earlier. Dude, those Goat Chad Chieftain guys are so scary, dude. Like yeah, they're, they're fast and like. Did you have some double move mechanic where they could like move again? I well, I use that one. I use the rejuvenate spell there. Okay, they what does that do? gives them another turn oh shit that's how you kept catching me i was like i thought i was out of your range and then like they just like would teleport i was like oh god uh, that's a bad spell let's see what that was under yeah uh, could you go ahead and pass turn so i can show people uh somebody had a question absolutely not Bro. suffer <laughs> so yeah if somebody's attacking your city what you can do is you can go um 
and you manage the defense and you can draft troops for the defense. So you could recruit them and they stay in the garrison. Um, and you can also build towers and ballistas. Build towers, are, yeah. Which is really good. So like, if we wanted to drag this into like a 12 hour game, it'd probably be a little bit of back and forth and I might be able to survive at my main town, but what Pwn would want to do is just go take all my small cities. And then like, I would be in my rats him out. Yeah, and like, and starve me out and take all my resource nodes and things like that. Which is really fun, like, comms for it. yeah, you could have like some great stuff, but, um, you know, I can build walls. There's all sorts of stuff you can do for defense, but, but yeah, it was fun. GG's dude. Thanks for playing. Yeah, GG. yeah this game's great. It's great. It's we'll, we'll, we'll play again, dude. We'll, uh, maybe we'll do this like, you know, once a week or something, we could fire this up and play, play like a, we got to get a, a 2v2 on a smaller map could be good. I think I'm going to spend some time to make the Thunderdome map. Like that would be a two v two smaller map where we could do like teams where they creep together and then there's like a center point where they meet in the middle. I think something like that would be awesome, for sure. Anyways, brothers, GG. I've been slain by the goats, but we will try and get our revenge for Sigmar next time. Hey, GG, dog. Hey, take care, brother. Thanks for playing. All right, so let me go to the main menu, guys. I wanted to show you one more thing before we call it a day. If you guys did enjoy this, do drop a like. I think it'd be something to do like once or twice a week. I, I I had an absolute blast. Now, here's the map editor. The map editor is right here. And I want to show you guys what you could do. It's really cool. I, I like As a kid, I used to love building maps. So uh, it's loading right now. So just give it a second. All right, so you start with the map. You can obviously change the size, um, create new level, load levels, quick save. Oh, so I can make like underground. That's pretty cool. Draw road, draw theme, draw height, draw effects, draw tiles. You can change the brush size, obviously, to be quite a bit more substantial. Um, let me click around and figure this out. There we go. So draw entities. This is how you would do like like bandit hideouts, things like that. So I could like start like placing these buildings around the map if I want to. Uh, I can dig water. So if I wanted to make like a water situation, I could like have like someone on an island like this. And then there would be like uh, a landmass where, hold on, oh, okay. So I can like change the, the earth. I'm gonna have to play with this more, but I would have like each player on an island in the corner. And then um, I would like set up a creeping situation for them. And how do I actually put creeps themselves? Troop dwellings, triggers. Oh, what is this? Is triggered when the wielder walks into the radius and it shows a message. Uh, Dart says, have you checked out Heroes Hour? Like, um, no, I haven't checked it out, I will. Alejron, GG Turn, would uh, def like to see more of this game. It's really fun. Dragon Remnant, what the hell is that? Oh, what does that do? Message camera target. Okay, so there's like trigger events I can do. Now, how do I put units down? A theme, road, standalone tools. There's gotta be a way to do that. Hostile, petrified tree, okay. Yeah, this is, it's pretty complicated, right? There's a lot, there's a lot to learn here, but I'm pretty excited to dive into it. Event editor, oh wow. My new random event, holy shit, look at this. Yeah, this is some, this is some complex stuff. Like you can make events, the chances of happening, the event trigger, like you can determine what's gonna be happening. Wow, okay. Yeah, this is, this is like 90s. Like in the 90s, the games used to have like editors like this where you could do a lot. I, I haven't really looked into this yet, but pretty exciting. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed it. That's going to be it for today. I am uh, out for now. Appreciate all of you guys. Electron and Darth, thank you guys so much. And maybe it's select entity. Yeah, draw entity and artifact, developer effect, experience hostile. Random hostile. Oh, okay. So I can like deploy hostile units here. Yeah, okay, so this sets up a random hostile camp. And then you can select it and you can determine the value of said camp in terms of unit quality. Okay, so this is like a 10,000 camp. Troop dwelling, okay. Oh, okay, these are troop dwellings, okay. Man, wild shit. All right, guys, take care. Gonna go hang out with the smoking hot wife. Appreciate you all. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you back soon. Take care.